It's gone berserk, but there should still be time. I'll make you settle down. What's with you, you hypocrite? The way you've been acting pisses me off. How can you be so kind to her? No matter what you do, it won't erase your sins. Fine. Since you're a Kirijo, why not tell you exactly what your family did to me? What they made me do? Remember those spectating students? What did you think those human-shaped silhouettes were? Hmm? Those were shadows, too. Shadows of the prototypes you made her destroy. When they were destroyed, their information was transferred to the victor. What's left of their hearts remains deep inside Labyrinth. That's right. They all had a soul. But because they never fully developed, their shadows helped her play school after they separated from her. Do you see? Those spectators you saw everywhere were her sisters she had to kill at the Kirijo group's orders. I haven't forgotten. I'll never let their memories or their pain go. I won't forgive anyone who tries to take my freedom. I acknowledge your anger and grief. Setting things right here is my way of atoning. This fight will release you from your curse once and for all. Am I gonna be alone again? What am I saying? Of course I am. After all I've done? No. No one will lock you away ever again. Huh? I thought I had a firm grasp on things. But in the end, all I did was drive you into a corner. I'm sorry. Why? Why is Akirito apologizing to a machine? I mean, I, I hurt people. Dragged them into my own mess. I'm just like I was before. There ain't no reason to forgive me. That is solely your opinion. Huh? Kujikawa, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Is that... Rise-san? That's right. You've met her too, and... You are a machine, unlike us. That is undeniably true. There will be days to come when you are tormented by solitude and caged by your own weakness. But one thing will be very different. Starting today, you are not alone. Companionship is the greatest guide. In my mission here, I've come to be reminded of that. We hope to become that guide for you as well. If you're not alone, you can stand to face the most painful of truths. Face the truth. I see. I get it now. Is something the matter? I'm not good at relying on others. My responsibilities are so heavy that I don't even think of trusting others with them. I've been told it before, but it never gets easy. Why not think of things more simply? Hmm. When something cannot be accomplished alone, there is no other choice but to trust in others to help. Good or bad, it is inevitable. Then why not accept it and move forward? You aren't alone either, after all. Uh, you're right. It's not difficult at all when put that way. It's just as I was saying about companionship being a guide. Was Labrys truly the mastermind here? Huh? What are you getting at? Why did Labrys choose them? Where did Labrys learn of them? Even we didn't know about them or about this world inside the TV. How did Labrys discover all this? Yeah, I can't explain it either. Well, the fastest way to find out is to just ask her. Hey, Labrys! Akihiko. When did you wake up? How did you find out about the TV world? About... this place? Uh... <laughs> Who 
Labrys! Get back! Is she malfunctioning? No! Someone's hijacked her! What? I know you're there. Who are you? Show yourself. Show myself? <laughs> How, How cold. cold. You, you treat, treat me as, as if, if I were a stranger. stranger. That voice! No way! Kirijo-san's shadow? <laughs> Do you Do not, not recognize, recognize your own face? face? I am you. You seem to have a penchant for deception. Unfortunately, I already know that you're the mastermind here. You were after Persona users from the start. That's why you chose this school and tampered with Labrys' memories. And you just demonstrated how you controlled those hijackers. <laughs> Very good. No, no wonder, wonder you managed, managed to drive back, back a god once. once. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I, I want, want them, them even more now. now. You want them? Explain yourself. Personas, Personas and shadows are one, one and the same. same. If, if I poison your hearts, hearts I, can I can recruit shadows with unparalleled strength. strength. Wait, what? You mean turn our personas back to shadows? The, the heart, heart is frail. Its, its weaknesses, weaknesses are never fully vanquished. vanquished. Given, Given the, the opportunity, opportunity, it can betray you and return to darkness. This one's desire to make people suffer was perfectly suited for such a plan. Plan? You caused all this to gather strong shadows? Who are you? Sadly, it seems things won't be going according to plan this time. But I'll make use of what tools I have to the very end. This is my last chance. No, more like a marvelous entertainment. Stand, my puppet. You bastard! This form is exhausted from constant battle and will be useless as an asset. But unless you destroy it, it will keep rising up and attacking you all. What will you do? <laughs> we'll just knock her out one more time. No, don't attack her! Further damage to Labrys could put her in danger. Now, may, may you suffer, suffer and curse, curse your fate. fate. Relinquish, Relinquish your personas. Your personas. <sighs> huh? Don't listen. Everyone, concentrate on avoiding her attacks. But we can't do that forever. Just try and hang in there. Trust me. I trust in you. Everyone, we can take this much. Yosuke, you ready? Hell yeah, partner. Let's let Mitsuru-san do her thing. Akihiko, I guess. Back them up. You got it. No one will force my sister to hurt others ever again. <laughs> you had best hurry and decide. Who will be destroyed? The shell or the lot of you? Sad to say, but this show is over. What? what? <sighs> <sighs> Looks like you made it in the nick of time. You saved us, Yamagishi. Are you all okay? <laughs> Fuka-san. <laughs> so you had a third assistant. That voice. It's not coming from in here. Whoever it is is out there. Seriously? She can use hers in reality too? It's just it's as you just thought, Mitsuru-senpai. The, the enemy is only mimicking, only mimicking your appearance. Your appearance. It's, a it's a fake. Very impressive to guess correctly from such a long distance away. So these are the limits of a half-broken puppet. Well, no matter. This was only ever for my own enjoyment. You despicable monster! I, I didn't, didn't expect, expect you to fight, fight back this hard. But, but didn't you have fun? fun? You were all taken, taken in by an illusion. illusion. This, this place, place, these traps, 
everything came from your own minds. You dread yourselves most of all. <laughs> A beautiful plan, wasn't it? Your idea of beauty is rather warped, as is your plan and your assessment of us. But your biggest mistake was that you took my form in the end. I will... <laughs> Are you angry? All right, I'll play along. The show must go on, right? Don't say another word while wearing that face. I'll teach you just who it is you've made an enemy of! Check. <laughs> this is fine with me. Good enough for my purposes that I confirmed you have enough power to meet my expectations. This is only a temporary form. I doubted there'd be any meaning in changing my appearance. But sure enough, it made for a very enjoyable game. All that irritates me is having to feign cooperation with that foolish human until I obtain the one true vessel. I will see you in another guise next time. Just wait until then. The real you will face the same consequences soon. Choose your last words carefully. <laughs> Yamagishi! Of course, you should be aware that the enemy is out there. Akihiko only means that there is no need to abandon your lives to pursue it. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. That is, after all, our duty. But... How's Labrys? There wasn't much damage to her motor functions. I don't believe it will take much time to repair her. Still... The stress on her cognitive functions must have been severe. It may take some time for her to awaken. Here you go, Mitsuru-san. Ah, oh, thank you. We will be leaving Inaba tomorrow. Keep that in mind when making preparations. Understood. It's me, Fuka. Come in. I'm sorry I had to summon you on such short notice. Oh no, it's all right. I was on vacation too, after all. How is Labrys? She's still resting. There was a lot of stress on her, so we might have to carry her out. I see. I looked into the records. Labrys was built on a self-contradicting foundation. Self-contradicting? Unlike with Igis, when Labrys was being developed, no one had the know-how to create a personality from scratch. So, it seems like they took an actual girl's personality and used it as a base. A living girl. So that's why her heart is unexpectedly advanced. But if she had all of the original girl's memories, a contradiction would occur in her self-awareness. Normally, they'd make adjustments to prevent that, but even then, they couldn't guarantee it would be completely safe. That's why Labrys was loaded with a self-deceiving function, in case a conflict arose in her self-awareness. She was deceiving herself? Then the function that interfered with our perception? It was listed as meant for infiltration, but that was a technicality. Its true purpose was a safety mechanism. I think that should be okay now. Labrys! When did you get here? Sorry to sneak up on you, but after I faced my shadow and learned how to use my persona, it's hard to explain, but it felt like my emotions settled down. Actually, that may be what happened. Facing one's shadow could be said to be correcting one's self-awareness. That must be it. Your developers came to the decision that it was an insurmountable problem. Yet you overcame it. How do you feel? Does anything seem off? Oh, no! You guys have treated me so well, I feel kind of guilty about it. My body's all fixed up too, so there shouldn't be any problems there. I see. I wanted to talk to you about where we go from here. From here? You mean... About me? Originally, we planned to take you back to the lab on Yakushima. 
But that was when we still thought of you as a mere object. Is that what you want to happen? Uh, what else is there? You could tell us what you yourself want. You do have a heart, just like us. Who knows? Maybe you could even go to school eventually. Me? Go to school? Even I guess has been to school. And that was when she knew much less about the world than you know now. Thinking back to that time is... Uh, it's rather embarrassing. Mm. School. It sounds great. But I feel like there's something I gotta do first. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's been my dream for a long time to go to school, but... Someone's after those guys. Someone's trying to wreck their lives. I want to catch whoever it is myself. I... I want to look after those guys. The Security Department Shadow Response Unit would be glad to have you. Welcome to the team, Labrys. I get to work with you, sister. I guess that reminds me. I am your younger sister, but I am more experienced than you. This may be somewhat confusing. I'll give you a tour of the lab tomorrow. Make sure you're ready to write things down. Tomorrow? We're leaving Inaba already? I haven't even said goodbye. I can't leave without seeing him one more time. Oh, that's good to hear. It means you've made some friends. Friends. I guess, get in contact with them by whatever means you deem necessary. Understood. Hmm. How should I contact them? I only know their names. Hmm. Yamagishi, your usual method should prove effective once again. Huh? Uh, but isn't that invading their privacy? Permission granted. Remember, we have official sanction to operate now. Look them up too. My, it's rather stout compared to before. Do you see me now? Have I forgotten to introduce myself? My name is Elizabeth. Oh, do you wish to behold death that much? Oh dear, it seems it won't be easy for one of this size. I cannot damage the world of everyone's hearts, and I hesitate to make a scene in the real world either. Time for a change of scenery. We will soon reach our destination. Now, I had promised to show you death. Your fate is in the cards. The god of death, Thanatos. What do you think? 
Was it to your liking? Well then, farewell. My master has a large nose. My master has a large nose. Thinking back on it, I spent so many days like that for such a long time. I had thought that it would be impossible to change. It'll surely resurrect within the year again, and I'll go through today once more. Now, that's why I have come here. A double check on the danger scale situation that I just recently discovered. I sense multiple Persona users gathering. It's once in a blue moon that one discovers a place like this. I'm sure I can learn some interesting things here. Or something along those lines. In any case, I, Elizabeth, can scarcely keep myself from getting involved. This building, is it a school? It seems somewhat old-fashioned compared to the school I have experience with, but it has its charms as well. This is what they call animalist aesthetic. Animalist? Bestial? Anyway, something along those lines. These decorations. Could this be the fabled school festival I've heard tell of? A festival is where one toys with the lives of goldfish in a scandalous game. One can also enjoy a combat simulation with close-range shooting tests using sniper rifle fire into the interior of stalls. Ooh, I'm starting to get excited. P1 Grand Prix. Could this be a fighting tournament? <gasps> This isn't why the Persona users are gathering, is it? Hmm, that lady over there, is she not a Persona user? Hmm, regardless of that, I sent something out of the ordinary. Is she truly human? Were I still my old self when I only lived to play out my role, I would leave her be, but I am different now. Oh, you're too kind, you're too kind! 
Well, with things starting to heat up now, the General has a few words for you. The mic's all yours, sir. Ahem. Well then, I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Presenting the manliest of all men! This is more of a to-do than I thought. Hmm. Is this an introduction to the contestants? The carnivore who's discarded womanhood, the blood-curdling beefcake emperor, the sister complex kingpin. Are these signs of their willingness to cast aside their pride in pursuit of victory? I wonder if they're not casting aside a little too much. This is a rather novel idea. Hmm. Should I officially enter this as well? Oh, but if the manliest of all men are the ones called forth, I cannot participate. Then again, I distinctly spotted a woman or two in the introductory video. Then I shan't concern myself with such trifling details. I shall soldier on. Oh my! The host himself is before my eyes. Pardon my dynamic entrance. S someones here! Hmm? Please forgive me for startling you. Ooh! H who are you, miss? I am Elizabeth, a mere elevator attendant, albeit one who is currently utterly neglecting her duties. <laughs> An elevator attendant? I don't believe it. I'm having culture shock. I wish Juness's elevators had such beautiful attendants, too. Excuse me, but may I ask your name? Teddy! Doi! I'm sorry. Would you mind repeating that in human language? I was saying it normally. Teddy is my name, and I'm a proud bear. I see. Teddy Bear. You have a rather creative flair to your appearance. I wish you'd say cute instead, though hearing a pretty lady like you say so makes my heart skip a beat. Huh? Wh what are you doing? Hmm, this seems to lack ventilation. How does he breathe in there? Oh, there's a zipper. Stop, I'm ticklish. Oh no, no opening. You're embarrassing me. Oh. Please forgive me. Curiosity almost killed the bear. Huh? What were you planning on doing to me? You're even a tougher customer than the kids at the food court, miss. Oh, I had forgotten what I originally meant to ask because of your fine coat of hair. Teddy bear, though I am a woman, I wish to partake in this Grand Prix. Huh? I can't help you with that. Oh. But are you not the host shown in the introduction video? It's all a huge misunderstanding. That guy's an imposter. <laughs> Won't you hear me out? I see. So you realized that something was amiss and came wandering in here yourself to investigate. But you fell into the imposter's trap and couldn't do a thing until a moment ago. You have my deepest sympathies. <gasps> Do, do I really? Anyways, everyone else is on the contestant list while I get the cold shoulder. <gasps> is that so? Then, since we are both outcasts, let us participate of our own accord. Our own? May I request a match from you? That makes no sense at all. Wh what do you mean? Ooh, maybe a hot and heavy struggle with all kinds of clinches and holds. A one-on-one -on -one battle to the extreme. That makes no sense. W w wait a second. You look a lot stronger than me, miss. Oh, don't be so modest. No, 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 I'm really not. I'm very sorry, but the deadline for submitting a forfeit notice has expired. You're not sorry at all. There are things I can't do, you know. <gasps> Oh, but on the other hand, if I can try scoring with you later, I might rethink this. Scoring? I do not understand the term. But if that is your stipulation, why, I accept. Oh, you accept? Woohoo! I'm ready to go whenever you are. That is, if you're still alive afterwards. Uh? Well, 
Well then, here goes. Your fate is in the cards. The road to dating is steep. Ugh. Teddy Bear, you truly are an intriguing creature. Hmm? Are you interested in me? Though you aren't human, you fight against your fate and wish to be with humans. I have witnessed one other case who bore such a fate in the past. Huh? You made a choice and decided how you wish to live. That is marvelous, Teddy Bear. Marvelous? Me? D does that mean you're still okay with me trying to score with you? That is not what it means. No! The way you shoot down my attempts reminds me of Yuki-chan. Yuki-chan? Is this an acquaintance of yours? Yuki-chan is a very precious friend of mine. You have friends. Actually, everyone who is in that video are my friends. But I can't forgive them for having all the fun. I'll make them buy me a tasty treat for this. I see. May I ask you something? Who would you consider the strongest among your friends? Well, Sensei, of course. He's the manliest of all men! Sensei... If I recall correctly, that is the name of a governing class within a school, wielding the power of life and death over its students. Yes, that does indeed sound like the name of a strong warrior. Sensei's our leader! was quite helpful. Thank you. Once the tournament's over, you should come hang out at Juness sometime. Juness? Um, it's a place where Don Yosuke and I work. It's huge. You can eat food there, and they have candy, toys, and sexy bikinis, too. <gasps> what a paradise on Earth. It seems there is still much I do not know about in your world. Well, then, if you'll excuse me, I must get going now. Be careful! It may have come to this. Bring out the next opponent! Hmm. No one heeded my call. I suppose repeating that line isn't enough. Aha! There is someone closer by than I had expected. <laughs> what a reunion this will be! I'm starting to feel tingly. You're an anti-shadow weapon. I take no joy at all from your praise. <laughs> Pointing your weapon at a monitor isn't very scary. But anyways, your next opponent is... My bold entrance. Huh? Oh, the monitor's completely shattered. Who would do such a thing? A strange intruder has shown up. Oh, my. I thought we were having a touching reunion. How unfortunate that you would refer to me as a strange intruder. A reunion? I don't recall ever meeting anyone so odd. She who governs power. Does that ring any bells for you? Huh? Wait. Are you the one I met in that blue room, then? Your entrance just now was very different from how I remembered your behavior. So I didn't recognize you. But you're... Eridanus' son. Hmm. No. Eli... Elixir? Erengi? In any case, I never dreamed that I'd meet you here. That goes for myself as well. It's been a long time since I saw you. But why are you here? What about your duties of governing power? I am currently in gross abandonment of my duties. That was... 
A very straightforward answer. Considering the circumstances here, I'd like to test your strength as well. What? Please, wait a moment. Does that mean you wish to fight me? From what I've heard, in certain cultures in your world, one lets one's fists do the talking. Perhaps you could think of it as a sporty, modern, and extreme way of greeting one another. I don't understand at all. You seem to have become strong beyond all recognition. I'd like to see your power for myself to broaden my horizons. Will you grant my shameless request? I still don't understand. But does this mean your wish will be fulfilled if I agree to fight you? If that's really what you want. Will you mind if I don't hold back? I couldn't ask for anything more. I, Elizabeth, will fight you with all the strength at my disposal. Now, let us begin. You're strong. Oh no, I was surprised myself. It's been a while since I fought with all my power. I now have a wish of my own. Though it may take vast oceans of time for it to come true, perhaps one day you will accompany me on the same journey. What do you mean? If our destinies truly do cross, you will eventually understand. Ah, huh. by the way, how have your friends been? Huh? Oh, they're all well. Several of them are here right now. Testing, testing. Huh. It's finally getting through. Hey, you! The one who's not on the roster! Who are you? Why are you gumming up the works? It's that bear. If you keep messing with my Grand Prix, I'll make you... Oh my! Flames have suddenly burst from the speakers. How dreadful. That was 180% your doing. Such repeated meddling. It seems I have a bit of a score to settle with the host, too. Well then, I will be going now. Please be careful. Oh, wait. There is a rule in this tournament against the loser of a fight moving on. Is there? Well, considering that I entered myself into the tournament, I do not think you count as a defeated contestant. That is only conjecture, though. You entered yourself. Yet you're going to settle a score with a host for complaining about you? Huh! Details. I cannot believe that even Elizabeth's son came to this world. <gasps> That's it! Her name was Elizabeth's son. I finally remember. I sense two, no, three people. What a shame. You gave it a try, but there's no way anyone would understand you. Huh? That is that teddy bear imposter. The student council president is here too. It seems the false teddy bear's tone is much harsher than before. Has he been meeting with difficulties lately? I am a shadow, the, the true, true self. Goodness, that false teddy bear was actually the girl's shadow. I see. It's true that suffering to this degree could cause a shadow to go berserk and affect its surroundings. At, At least one of them has to understand, understand how I feel. feel. 
isn't that what you thought? The important part is that it's all your fault. That's not true. You, you want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you had to go through. through. You, you want to see close friends fight for their lives against each other. Because, because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. That ain't true. It's all right, though. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything from here. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Just like you once did. Please stop! That's all a lie! You're not me! <laughs> <laughs> finally! You finally said it! I'm finally free! Labrys. I won't let you hurt her anymore. If you're gonna keep rampaging, I'll fight you. Fine! Then you'll be the first to die! <laughs> That young man is a Persona user, too. Could his powers be? This opportunity cannot be missed. What? Pardon me as I interrupt this scene. Who are you? <laughs> you! How? I set, set up walls so you couldn't pass through. How did you get here? Such parlor tricks can get stuffed. Ah, oh, are you perhaps the sensei that Teddy Bear spoke of? Someone who has awakened to the power of the wild card through Velvet Room's guidance. What? Wait, that blue outfit. Who are you? <laughs> I see. I feel that I have a good grasp on the situation now. Then can't you tell you're in the way? Get out of here! I cannot do that. I came to settle some business I had with you, the tournament's host. What business? To be blunt. Uh, hmm. What business was it? How the hell should I know? That was harsh. It turns out that I do not care about such trifling details after all. My apologies. Please forget my mention of business. Actually, my search for a certain individual has unexpectedly concluded. So we're done here. Who said we're done? That's it! I'll kill you where you stand! Hmm. I wouldn't recommend it. If I may be so boastful, it would be a battle you stand no chance of winning. What? It's nice meeting you, by the way. I am Elizabeth. Would it ring a bell if I mentioned that I am the one who governs power? You mean like Margaret? Oh, do you know my older sister? I see, no wonder. Stop ignoring me, bitch! Please wait a moment. I must ask the one over there to leave this place before we resume. It's you who's going to leave! <sighs> I was sure that I gave the proper warnings earlier. So it goes. Your fate is in the cards. How could it end like this? It's all completely ruined. This is me? Excuse me, but may I leave the rest of this to you? I'm ashamed to say so, but delicate persuasion is not my forte. I understand. I agree that you don't seem like you'd be too good at it. I am also not human, but who you are is for you to decide. That is the power of potential that everyone holds. Even for a machine, 
I believe that still holds true. <laughs> you could have just said so when we first met. Alas, I have always had some difficulty making myself understood. There's no need to worry. She must have reached the limits of her stamina. The strength that binds hearts together. No matter how many times I witness it, its beauty never fades. May I borrow some of your time? Are you a resident of the Velvet Room too? Well, in a way. I have abandoned my duties at the moment in order to see through a desire of mine. What did you want with me? In order for my wish to be granted, I require a power much greater than what I have. But it is most likely not power used to fight. It is something else. I wish to understand what that is. The power of the wild card that changes bonds into strength. I have a feeling that the key lies there. I don't really understand. Put more bluntly, I wish for you to show me your potential. I get it now. You don't mind? Would you back down if I said no? After what you said before, I don't think you'd back off that easy. <laughs> Touché. There is no need to be lenient. I invite you to approach this battle as if you intend to kill me. I didn't think I could win any other way. Thank you. Well then, here goes. Your fate is in the cards. <clears throat> She's so strong. I see. You do indeed have great power. Could it be that it's something I cannot understand? <sighs> One more time. What? Please, that is enough. I've already witnessed your strength. If this ends with my defeat, it doesn't count as me showing you my potential. But... You shouldn't jump to conclusions. I thought I said this once today. What's important is that you don't give up after one try. You have to hang in there. My friends that I haven't seen in a while are all here. I can't just wave the white flag. What in the... I cannot believe I am seeing this. Uh. Are you all right? You're. What was that just now? Do you happen to know what this power is? I do not know the specifics, but... That must be the power of their bonds. The power that stems from not being alone. I don't know why, but... I feel like I understand when I'm watching them. The power of not being alone. What's important is that you don't give up. So this is a bond. What I should be studying isn't just him, but all of them together. Not the strength of a person, but of people. That may be the lesson. It seems I am starting to find hope. Today's festivities made for quite a wonderful Grand Prix, considering that there have been some games. I should be going, if you'll all excuse me. Huh? Wait a sec, you haven't explained yourself yet! You haven't even told us your name! It's Elizabeth! I'm sure that he will continue to increase his strength of heart. It is a given with so many friends. I am a little bit envious. Well then, 
Farewell. Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you listening? Huh. You seem lost in thought like that frequently of late. Could this mean that you finally began to be troubled over things, like a normal person? How scathing of you, as usual. Believe me, sister, I am not as bad as you. What's the matter? My dear sister, I want to tell you a fairy tale. Hmm? What's this about? In our world, at the far reaches of the Sea of the Soul, there stands a large door. A soul which devoted itself to sealing that door slumbers there. Why did it do such a thing? That soul is risking itself to prevent those who have lost sight of life's brilliance from luring the world to self-destruction. It has become the guardian of the door. Of the whole world, in fact. That is a very sorrowful story. My dear sister, do you think I can save that person? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a fairy tale. It may be impossible alone, but what if I joined forces to do it? This person's friends are capable of miracles at times. This person you speak of, is it? I hope you're not planning to... Oh, don't be silly, my dear sister. I told you, it was only a fairy tale. Oh, to a certain degree, all of your stories are like fairy tales. I don't know what's troubling you, but be sure that you don't neglect your duties. <laughs> It's not quite right either. <laughs> to think I was unconsciously afraid of something and keeping my distance from it, that is quite a surprise. Though I cannot defeat that monster now, I may in time gain the power to truly erase it. Oh! To think the day would come where I would behold my own arcana and not that of a visitor's. And the beginning of a journey, it may be that my journey has finally truly begun. The fool, hmm? Well, I am aware that I still do foolish things. Please wait for me. One day, I shall surely see my wish come true. Velvet, oh velvet. My master has a large nose. No, bad Chie. I need to focus on Teddy cuts over steak cuts right now. I, I mean, just Teddy. Uh, I gotta stop getting sidetracked and go to the announcement room. All right, here I go. My next opponent. Oh, no use worrying about it. Jeez, 
I was getting tired of waiting for you. You're such a tease, Chie-chan. Then you should have made it easier to get to where I was going. All these invisible walls are a pain in the ass. Ooh, is someone angry? Well, then let's get right to it. Bring out the next challenger! Yukiko, I finally found you, Chie. This all happened so suddenly that I was getting nervous. I was so worried and scared without you. I couldn't even go another step. I can't do anything without you, Chie. Please, Chie, protect me. Well, oh, of course I'll protect you. Oh, <laughs> it's so good to know that. I knew I could count on you. After all, you want me to keep depending on you, right? So you can feel superior. You act like my best friend, but you're just using me, aren't you? Oh. There was a time when I thought that, but that ended last year. It's okay, Chie. I'm completely worthless. I exist for you. If you abandon me, I can't go on. My dependence on you is my only redeeming quality. Stop that! Don't say those things about yourself! I'm just the way you want me to be, Chie. No, that's not true! Stop saying that! But didn't you create this world because you wanted to hear that? I created it. I like you, Chie. How fragile your heart is. How twisted with jealousy you are. Everything about you is so... pitiful. Her methods of slowly cornering her prey are exquisite! Does the carnivore stand a chance against Snow Black? <laughs> We're like Beauty and the Beast. Come, Chie, my loathsome beast. The catfight of the century is about to begin. Let's see your claws. Chie senpai, senpai, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Senpai! senpai! Rise chan? Is this the real one? I'm so glad. Ever since this weird fake teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other, too! He was watching me this entire time, so I couldn't use my persona. Good thing I got in touch with you. Are you okay, Chie-senpai? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, but what did you mean by being watched? Are you okay? Can you tell where Teddy is? Yeah, yeah. are you going to go, going after, to go him? after him? There was this girl I didn't recognize with him. She might be the cause of all this. All right, all right. let me take a let look. There he is, but I sense something, something odd, odd next to him. To him. What, is what is that? It's not a it's shadow, not a shadow but, but it doesn't, doesn't seem human, human either. either. Are you talking about that fake president? That's gotta mean she's the culprit. Chan, is there someone else besides us in this school? I saw a dude in a weird red cape. He up and jumped out of the window. Who does that? Well, apart well, from apart our, from usual, our group, usual group, I only I sent shadows, shadows here. here. But, be, but careful. be careful, some of them, some are, of them pretty are pretty big. big. Are there some little ones too? Oh, hmm. Those silhouettes of students were kind of like shadows. Well, I'm not worried about the small fry. Wait, does that mean Red Cape Man is a shadow? 
But whose shadow would he be? Ugh. I'm gonna deal with Teddy first. Risi Chung, can I ask you to point the way to him? Sure thing. Sure thing. Is this it? Well then, here I go. Risei Chan, try to get in touch with the others. They're probably worried since they don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, we'll okay, do. We'll do. Good luck in there, Chie Senpai. Senpai. Thanks. Freeze. found you. I hope you're prepared. You're... that Chie-san who's fighting in the Grand Prix, right? Who are you? Why are you holding this ridiculous tournament? We've been through hell today, you know. You're gonna give me some answers right now. Ooh, you're so cool, Chie-chan. Just like a police officer. Teddy, you're being tricked. I know you're not really the host of this. You're just not in your right mind. Come over here and we'll go back together. It's creepy to hear you coax me like that. I'm not going with any carnivore. I bet you're after me for my sweet, delicious bear claws. What? I'm not interested in your meat at all. They're sweet, huh? Ah, she's gonna eat me. Just kidding. Actually, you're the one people are after, Chie-chan. Everyone's got the hots for you, you know. Did you know that Yosuke likes you? He said he's head over heels over you. Even more than that dead girl he liked. Huh? Kanji likes you too. Of course he would though, since you're a very manly girl. Even Sensei, he told me you're the cutest. Hey, wh what are you saying? Cuter than the famous idol Risei-chan, the ace detective Nao-chan, and the beautiful innkeeper Yuki-chan. You're the cutest of them all. Everyone said so. Did you know you even have a fan club at school? Stop, stop making stuff up. Chie chan you're blushing. You look so happy. There's no way that could ever be true, though. <sighs> Our group is full of unusual people who are all so pretty. You're the only normal one of us with nothing special about you at all. But I think it's okay to be normal. It's like you know your place in life. You shouldn't dream of being extraordinary. You're just going to be mediocre for the rest of your life. I've never wanted to be like that. I might not have amazing skills like everyone else, but I'm happy with the way I am. Didn't your mother tell you not to lie? You want to be a beloved hero, and you'll step on anyone to reach that goal. That's what makes you weak. <gasps> That's right. It's pointless to argue with you when you're being controlled. Let me bring you to your senses first. Aren't you guys friends? How can you fight your friend like that? What are you talking about? You're the one who dragged us into this. What? Chie chan why are you picking on Miss President? Teddy, are you still being controlled? She set you up as a host of all of this. You even had to wear a silly costume. Hold it right there. You've already got it wrong. Look, Chie chan Take a good, close look at me. Huh? What am I looking at? Can't you tell? I'm a dozen times more adorable and sexy than that costumed bear. You mean that general is someone else? Bingo! 
Miss President wouldn't believe me, so we were going to go find that imposter and prove my innocence. Jeez, though. I can understand Miss President making that mistake since she's never met me before. But it's like totally way lame that you couldn't tell us apart. Dude, stop talking like that. You're confusing me. Hey, I was just about to go to the announcement room to stop this Grand Prix thing too. Honestly, even though he looks exactly like that general, I kinda doubt this one here's the culprit, but I've stuck to him like glue all this time, cause I thought he must have been connected. Then why did you lie about being the student council president? Why? I'm not lying. But the student council president we just elected is a guy. Are you really a student at Yasagami? What's your name? What class are you in? Who's your teacher? Name? Class. Chie Chan, you shouldn't interrogate her like that. I wish I could believe her, but there's too much that seems funny here. Even Rize Chan said she didn't feel normal. There's so much evidence against her that I can't help but be suspicious. You made us fight our friends, and you made everyone say those horrible things. What are you up to? Uh. I I don't know my name. I can't remember what class I'm in either. Huh? I don't understand it myself. Now that I think about it, I don't even know why I'm here. How could you... Uh, are you serious? <laughs> it probably looks like I'm trying to lie my way out of this. No matter how much I tell you I didn't do this, there's no way you'd believe me. Hey, wait! Where are you going? To the announcement room. I'm gonna prove my innocence myself. Sorry I doubted you, Teddy. I'll see ya. Miss President! Chie-chan, you have to hurry after her! She can't use a persona. She'll be in trouble if she meets anything dangerous. She can't use a persona? Wait, then how did she get into this world? Huh? Oh, you're right. Does this mean it's like last year's case? Did someone drop her in here? Oh my! Then the culprit isn't her, but her shadow. I have to go after her. Please, Chie Chan, help Miss President! I'm on my way! How is this possible? Oh, you're, you're finally here? She got here first, first so I was wondering, wondering what happened. Why is my shadow here? I don't know. She suddenly appeared. The fake Teddy vanished, and then... Another Chie-san? I thought you just beat me here. Ugh. Will, Will the, the outsiders, outsiders shut up and be quiet? quiet. My, my only, only business, business here is with, with myself. myself. You became my persona, though. I don't get it. Why are you back again? It's, it's because, because you're weak. Did, Did you think, think your shadow, shadow would never be back, back to haunt you after, after you gained your persona? persona? Wouldn't that, that be nice? But, but no, no one can ever let go of their weaknesses. weaknesses. I'll, I'll stay inside you. you. 
And I'll keep screaming your true feelings for everyone to hear. Wait, when the General said the Grand Prix was for me, he meant... You want to become stronger? You want to be a police officer? Why did you really wish for that? The desire to protect those who are precious to you was only a cover story. What you really want is to be a hero. A shining force for justice. You're ordinary in every way, but you want to be a winner. And to get there, you need even use those precious to you as stepping stones. Th that's not true. That wasn't what I was thinking at all. <laughs> Are you Are gonna, gonna deny, deny it again? again? That, that you're, you're me? me. No. You're not. No! Senpai, don't listen to her! Risa chan You're right. What? I won't deny any of what you just said. I do still wish to be a hero. And I do feel inferior to Yukiko and the others sometimes. Part of me loves how cool it would be to become a police officer. But that's not all there is to it. Wanting to protect everyone. That's my main reason. I can't let my friends down. Not after they accepted me for who I was. I'm not amazing like them. But that doesn't mean I can't be proud of myself. That's why I'm working at what I'm good at. What's so bad about that? Sorry, I, I wish I could help you. But I'm sure you can save the others. I believe in you. Good luck. Please, Chie chan help Miss President! You can save them. She calmed her emotions. I want to protect Rise chan and that girl and everyone who's still at the school. Not because I want to be a hero, but because I love them. My weakness gave birth to you, right? Then I'll put an end to this right now! I... I won! What was that all about? Oh yeah, I'm really sorry I doubted you. So, the real cause of this was actually me. A shadow. A repressed self. <sighs> I'm not surprised it hasn't registered. It is coming from left field for you. Huh? What the? I thought I, I eliminated, I eliminated any, any possibility of her heart breaking free. free. Did she, she not, not suffer enough? enough? No. I, I did, did everything, everything right. right. Teddy? <laughs> uh, I get it. She was pretending to be General Teddy this whole time. Am I right? Looks, Looks like, like you'll be, be alone, alone forever. forever. No, no one, one can, can understand, understand you. you. Huh? Why don't we put an end to this game? Are you still going to keep deluding yourself? Delude? I... I... Whoa, 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 wait a sec! Aren't you supposed to be my shadow? No, that shadow, it, it's resonating with Miss President! What?! <laughs> I'll show you. Huh. <laughs> <laughs>
I am a shadow. The true self. Wait, does this mean it was this girl's shadow all along? That's, That's right. right. And, and like, like you, you just saw, saw I can distort, distort people's appearances and words. Then that other me just now. Why, Why do you, you think, think I, I have, have such power? power? It's, it's because, because I'm her and she's me. me. That's, That's right. right. She's, she's the, the real, real liar, liar here. here. Don't be ridiculous! I... I didn't lie! Oh, oh please. please. Just, Just look, look at me. me. I, I look exactly like you. That... that's not true! Don't worry, there's no need to be scared. That's just a twisted version of you. Shadows try to make the original person deny them. It'll be okay, but you need to calm down. A, a twisted, twisted version, version of her? Uh-uh. She's, She's the, the one, one that's twisted. twisted. You, you still refuse, refuse to remember? remember? Look at me. And, and stop deluding, deluding yourself. yourself. President's body? What is this? Another illusion? I don't think so. I knew something was weird when I first sensed her. That girl isn't human. No! No! Don't look at me! You came to save us! Or not. Ugh. You must be Labrys. <gasps> You're that red cape guy from before! Another Labrys? Fine. I'll just calm them both down. Really? What did you do to Kanji-kun? We had a battle between men. Could you turn down a challenge for the title of strongest man? I need to go after them. You're better off forgetting what you just saw. Whoa, 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 wait a sec. That's all very well for you to say, but... Hey, I said wait! That guy is so bizarre. I couldn't sense him approaching at all, and I can't track his presence now, either. Hey, Risa-chan. Take care of Kanji for me. Huh? Are you going after him? Of course. No way I can leave that red cape weirdo or Miss President be. Girl, is she really a machine? And why are you after her? What are you gonna do once you catch her? What good would knowing that do you? What? Uh, uh... I'm here on a certain mission. <laughs> you could even call it a duty. My resolution is nothing like yours, based on curiosity. A duty? <sighs> ridiculous Grand Prix is still going on. What? Wait, you mean... Trapped. So, like, Dewey. That's what you get for coming after me so recklessly. The rule that one opponent must be defeated is still in effect. Uh. 
All right, I accept. Huh. Why are you willing to go to such lengths to catch up to Labrys? I don't know why. I just know that she was in pain. I don't know if my reasons are better or worse than yours, but I can't turn my back on her. All right. To answer your questions, what you saw was the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys. She was given a heart so she could use a persona. A weapon? Then she really is a robot. But she's so cute. And she even sounds like a normal girl. Oh, so that's what her lost memories were about. And since she has a heart, she has a shadow too. She has a shadow? Do you mean the thing where there's two of her? I get it now. The mastermind behind all this isn't Labrys, but her shadow. I think that's it anyway. She didn't have any memories and thought she was the student council president. But I wonder what's with this tournament. What could she have wished for to make this happen? I have some suspicions about that. Labrys may have been forced to do some inhumane things while she was in development. Her original circumstances may be related to the setup of this Grand Prix. Then... This tournament is a reenactment of what Labrys went through in her past? She just wanted someone to understand how she felt. Is that it? That's all I can tell you. If you still want to search for her, you'll have to defeat me to move on. What'll it be? I... If Labrys wished to make us go through what she went through, that means she wanted to be understood. She wanted someone to save her. That's just your guess, though. But if it's possible I'm right, then I can't abandon her. That's why I won't go back until I've saved her. Her heart is worth fighting for. What's your name? Mine's Akihiko Sanada. I'm Chie Satanaka, a third year at Yasagami High. I like the fire in your eyes. Then let's fight and see whose passion comes out on top. I... I won? Looks like it. Tell me, Chie, what are you gonna do when you get to Labrys? I'm... gonna apologize for saying such awful things to her. But that's not all. Um, I want to talk to her. Really come to an understanding with her. Even if things are too painful for you to endure on your own, you can still overcome them if you have friends to help. I know that. And I want to show her that too. That's why I won't let her be alone. No matter what. You remind me a little of my friends. Your friends? I'm sure you'll be able to do the right thing. Do what your heart tells you. Okay, um, thank you very much. made it back. <laughs> Miss President, oh, uh, Labrys? Are you here? That man told you to come here, didn't he? No, he didn't. I came here because I wanted to. You just want to capture me like all the others. Well... Labrys, I didn't come here to fight you. I'm never going back there. 
I never want to get put through that again. I'm gonna run away. Just you watch me. If anyone gets in my way, I'll stomp them all! I'm sorry. I can't stop now. There's something I need you to know. Why? Why won't anyone understand? Labrys, I wanted to... It's okay. Just wait for me. I'll make sure to protect you. If this is about wanting to protect someone, I damn well won't lose. It's over. Why? Huh? Why did you protect me? Weren't you mad? I wasn't mad at all. Actually, it's you who should be mad at me. I said so many awful things to you. I'm really sorry. I could never be angry at you. I'm the one who did all those awful things. Hey, about this Grand Prix. I mean, yeah, it was tough, but it wasn't all bad. Huh? It taught me a lot of important things. That's why I want to thank you. And your other self over there, too. I still don't know what kind of pain you've been through. So tell me about it. I want you to tell me everything, like how you feel and what you're thinking. Tell you about myself? Mm-hmm. I'll listen. If you have something that's too painful to bear alone, then let's work it out together. Together? I... I'm not alone anymore. What's wrong, Labrys? Oh, um... Well... I thought that everyone would be angrier. What would we be angry about? Now that it's over, it wasn't all that bad. Ooh, the battle to decide the strongest man was pretty intense, though. Hmm? Is that what it was about? <laughs> well, they may be taking it in stride a little more than is normal, but no one would hate you, Labrys. Chie-san. Thank you so much. Jeez, you're so formal. You can just call me Chie. We're friends, remember? Friends. You can just call me Yukiko, too. And you can just call me Prince Teddy. That... That's longer than your real name, though. Go back to the Wild Kingdom where you belong. Oh, would the carnivore like to join him? What did you call me? Go back to the Disappointment Ranger Rissantima hideout. You've got it all wrong. Rissantima is French. Ma is pronounced completely different from the man in Featherman. It seems he's smarter than he looks. <laughs> looks like everything's working out nicely. So you're Satanaka. Akihiko told me about you. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. In a way, you could say that I'm Labrys's handler. I'm Igis. Thank you so much for saving my older sister. Older sister? Then are you Labrys's younger sister? Wait, then are you a machine too? Yes, I too am a robot.
Chia-chan, it's okay. You've come to take me away, yeah? I'm ready. Labrys! Chia-chan, I can't ask for anything more. I've made so many friends. And you've all accepted me. I'll be okay now. But if you're caught, that's not okay. I'm sorry to interrupt the heated discussion, but I have no intentions of sealing you away. Huh? Your shadow going berserk was an irregularity caused by this world. It wasn't due to any malfunction in you. Luckily, because of what happened, you are now in complete control of your persona. It's yeah. That Not Yes! I'm so glad for you, Labrys! This is like a dream. I can't believe this! Thank you, Chia. Labrys? It's not over yet. Is this the same communication system we use? Everyone, step away from Labrys! I cannot gain access. She is being hacked. It isn't coming from inside this facility. The signal originates elsewhere. You mean outside the TV? This is just a little extra resistance. Now, entertain me. No. Why do we have to fight each other again? Who are you? Why are you doing this to Labrys? I should thank you all. Although this didn't work out, you did stay in it to the very end. What the hell? Labrys has a heart. Do you even understand how much pain she went through because of you? A heart, hmm? Meaningless. Whether or not she has one matters not at all to my plan. What? Well then, everyone, until we meet again. It seems whoever our adversary is, they're connected to us. You shouldn't get involved in this any further. From here on, leave this to us. Wait a sec! After what that bastard did to us, you're telling us to butt out? I understand how you feel, but this is too dangerous for you. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. Trust in us and let us work. But... <sighs> Guys, let's leave this to them. Huh? I'm sorry for calling you here all of a sudden, but they told me we'd be leaving already. The follow-up is over, after all. Our work here is done. I'm glad to hear that, Master. Master? I told you to stop calling me that. No, you're my master. 
Though, I gotta admit, part of me has just always wanted to say macho things like that. But you're not a man. A true man isn't bound by his sex. Ah, uh, I see. My apologies. Your leap of logic is so extreme it could reach the moon. You're going with them too, Labrys? Dear Akihiko-san, uh, that doesn't feel right. Oh, maybe it's too formal. To my master. Ooh, much better. How have you and Labrys been? I've been well. I've been doing my best while remembering what you said to me on that day. Do you remember? You told me that I would be able to do the right thing. That made me want to become a police officer even more. So in order to catch the culprit, me and the investigation team are... Oh, crap! Phew! That was close. I'm supposed to keep that a secret from him. I guess this really isn't my thing. I'll give it another try tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So sleepy. Oh. Since Yukon's with us again, we've got to give what we decided on our Best shot, investigating on our own, huh? I'll do my best to... Along with my friend... <laughs> Um, are you okay, Miss President? Are you hurt? Teddy didn't try anything funny, did he? You, Kiko-san? You... Hmm? What is it? Oh, I used my persona in front of her. I get that you were angry, but you just had a huge fight right in front of me, and after I told you to go home. What are you doing still at school? I'm the student council president, you know? You gotta leave this stuff to me! Oh, um, I'm sorry. I was just worried about you. Also, Teddy here seems to be the host of this tournament. Oh, you thought that too? Yeah, I was fooled at first, but after talking to him, I don't think that's true anymore. I'm sorry. Can you explain? Hey! Wake up! Get a grip on yourself! Ain't you supposed to be my knight? <sighs> huh? Whoa! A cutie pie's trying to score with me? Okie dokie! I'm puckered up and ready for your wake up kiss! Teddy, did you need me to punish you again? Yikes! I, I was just joking. I'll be good. All right, then tell me what's going on. She said that the Teddy hosting the tournament wasn't the real one. But in that case, what have you been doing all this time? Y Yuki-chan, you believe me? <laughs> of course. We're friends, aren't we? Though that does depend on what you tell me. You don't give an inch!
Okay, I understand now. I'm sorry I doubted you, Teddy. See? Did you hear that, Miss President? Yuki-chan believes me. Hmm. So she does. All right, what the hell? I'll believe you too. Truth to tell, you're so immature that I can't see you putting this together. Whoa! Such high praise! I can tell you really trust me, Miss President. <sighs> it wasn't a compliment, Namskull. Good for you, Teddy. You've been protecting Miss President all this time, right? Well, I think you did a great job. Oh, my! Praise from Yuki-chan, too? I'm on a roll! This is great! So great! Keep it coming, please! But then who's in the announcement room? He looks exactly like you. Some relative of yours? Huh? There's nobody as adorable as me in this world. Hey, this is just a thought, but if someone has made themselves look exactly like you, Teddy, couldn't it actually be Miss President's shadow? Huh? My shadow? What's that? Um, I'm not sure how to explain it, but... Yukiko-san, are you doing all right? Like, in general, you can open up to me if you want. Oh, no, um... Come on, a world inside a TV. Shadows! Sounds like a big old fairy tale to me. Anyway, you've gotten dragged into a pretty bad mess, so I want to help you get out of it. Um... I'm sorry, may I ask your name? I only know that you're the student council president. Hmm? Say, you never told me either. Please tell us your name, Miss President. Huh? My name? Um, are you all right? I'm sure you must be confused with all that's been happening. That, that's not it. What gives? I can't remember anything. Why? I'm supposed to be student council president, too. Miss President, please c calm down. It's okay. You know what they say. Let's talk more action. I don't get it. Could something this bizarre really happen? Don't worry. I bet you just can't remember now because of the shock of being dropped inside a TV. The same thing happened to me last year. A TV, huh? It's just so hard to swallow. I'm sure you'll remember everything once we get back to the real world. Let's go look for that fake teddy for now, okay? A blossoming friendship between two cuties. This is great. I'm so touched. In honor of the occasion, I request that Miss President try to score with me. Score? Teddy, if you continue mentioning that, I'm going to get angry again. Oh no! Is the scoring princess becoming truly enraged? That joke's a year old now. How many times are you gonna keep making it? Sheesh! We're going on ahead. Whoa, hey! Yukiko-san! John, Miss President, I don't want to be left alone. Oh. Still carrying that, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean the lunchbox? Yeah. 
If you weren't gonna need it right away, you could have just left it with him back there. Um... Uh, say, Teddy seems to have taken a real liking to you, Miss President. <laughs> I think I understand why. You're really pretty after all. <laughs> Hey, can I ask you something? Am I... good looking? Um, yes, I think so. I bet you'd look great if you dressed up. Really? I'm not much of an expert since I usually just wear what I need for work. But most people at school give their own little alterations to their uniforms and things like that. Is that allowed? Don't the teachers get sore? I'm not sure. I guess they might complain if things got too out of hand. But I wear a cardigan over my uniform all the time, and I've never received a complaint. Let's see. I wonder what kind of look would work for you. I never knew I could look like that. See? Isn't it fun to give your uniform your own personal touch? I never gave much thought to fashion, though. I think Chie would be better at telling which colors compliment you best. Chie? Who's she? She's a great friend of mine. Chie is a natural at choosing colors and things that look great on people. A friend of yours? I want to meet her too. Sure. Once this is over, we can all go shopping together. I'm sure there are lots of outfits that would look good on you. Yeah. Let's do that. I'll hold you to it. Senpai! Can anyone hear me? That voice... Risa-chan? She's making contact through her persona, so it must be. Yukiko-senpai! Thank goodness! Sorry, I was so relieved that I started tearing up. Are you alright, Yukiko-senpai? Mm-hmm, I'm fine. What about you? Are you okay? You were doing these weird broadcasts until a moment ago, but you're back to normal now, right? That wasn't me! A fake Teddy was saying those things in my voice! Ever since I got kidnapped, he was watching me. I didn't get any chances to use my persona. Yukiko-senpai, where are you right... Hmm? Wait a sec. Are you with someone right now? Weird. Something's not right about her. I can't put my finger on it, but she's not normal. Um, so based on how things went last year, you think that girl's the victim and the fake Teddy's her shadow? I don't know yet, but it's possible. Risei-chan, you say you were with the fake one all this time. Are you okay? Oh, sure, don't worry about me. The fake's gone off somewhere. That's why I was trying to contact someone. Oh, this might not be worth mentioning now, but your manager called me in. Huh? Inoue-san Inoue contacted, Inoue contacted you? you? Yikes. Yikes. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. Oh, no, don't be. I, I just thought you should know. Oh, man, how am I gonna, how am I gonna explain, explain this? this? I seriously I have no excuse. excuse. I'll just have to just lie, to and, lie say and say I ran, ran away from home for a few days. days. I'm gonna get I'm in gonna get such, such trouble, trouble for this. this. Oh. Oh. But, but one thing at a time. We have to deal with this situation first. Don't worry, the others are here too. We'll rescue you in no time. Yeah, I'm yeah, sensing them now. them now. Cool. cool. I'll be waiting, I'll be waiting. so but hurry and come, get, come get, me. get me. Oh, but, oh, but be, be careful. careful. Well, that didn't look weird or nothing. Were you talking to your friend inside your head? Oh, yes. Sorry. 
I bet it's hard to believe, but... Nah, I could tell from watching you. You didn't look like you were faking it. You must really get along with him. Huh? I could see on your face that you didn't doubt him at all. And I'm sure they trust you right back, huh? <laughs> they sure do. We've been through a lot together, you see. Hmm. Don't worry. We're behind you, too. I'm sure you'll get through this just fine. for the final battle. You brought your own strange audience with you, but I'll overlook that for now. You seem to love attention so much that I'm sure you'll do better with an audience. There's no point in pretending to be Teddy anymore. I'm not fooled. Who are you? Why are you doing this? How much longer will this awful game continue? Oh my! How rude of you to call it awful when you're the ones who wished for it! We wished for this? What do you mean? <laughs> As I've said from the start, real men let their fists do the talking! Bring out the next challenger! I had a feeling it would be you. That makes things easier, then. Let's get started, Yukiko. If it's at all possible, I don't want to fight. Can we not do this? What a question. You've been fighting against your friends this whole time, haven't you? That's true, but... Huh. I don't want to fight, huh? You always just wait for things to happen. You won't... You can't do anything until someone makes the choice for you. You haven't changed at all. Just like last year. You're still waiting for someone to come and rescue you. I haven't changed at all? That's not true. I'm trying to the best of my abilities. Enough with the weasel words. I'm sick of your excuses. Listen, both of you, something ain't right. Yukiko-san, are you really gonna fight him? I'm sorry, I know you wanna stop this, but this is my only choice right now. Please, stand back, Miss President. Strong, Yukiko. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you hurt anywhere? I ended up fighting you anyway. Huh? I knew something wasn't right. You've done a complete 180 from how you were a moment ago. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing about you. If you doves don't mind me butting in, something wasn't right with either of you. It was like neither of you could hear what you were saying. The way you answered each other didn't make no sense. I see. Was that the fake Teddy at work, too? You think he's doing it on purpose to make friends fight each other? That's crazy. Why? How could anyone do something so horrible as making someone fight their friends? I see. That's strange, though. The Shadow's main objective is to take the place of the real person. If he really is her Shadow, 
That fake Teddy hasn't seemed interested in her at all. Yeah, you're right. He completely ignored Miss President a moment ago, too. You, you still, still haven't, haven't figured it out? I made sure, sure to spell, spell it out for you from, from the start, start too. Who's there? Where are you? You haven't found what you cherish, have you? What you truly desire. Yukiko-senpai's shadow? This can't be! Now that everything's peaceful, no one will help me. I'm suffering now, yet no one notices. I'm beside myself because I can't tell if I'm making any real progress. Isn't that right, me? But then I notice something. If I stir up more trouble, everyone will worry. I'm sure. No, I know for a fact that my real prince will come save me this time. <laughs> I mean, take that boxed lunch. I said that I made it for everyone, but I'm not at all confident about it. I could have given it to them, but I didn't. I was so scared inside that I couldn't. Yet I can't throw it away either. That boxed lunch is just like me. I did my best, but I don't know whether or not it came out good. Just like poor pitiful me. That's not true! Come, Konohana Sakuya! Huh? No! This isn't happening! <laughs> <laughs> I look so pitiful! Did you think that just because you gained your persona that your shadow would never appear again? Did you think you'd never meet me again after you accepted yourself? Sorry, but no one ever really lets go of their weaknesses. I'll always be with you. <laughs> you tried to act all high and mighty by saying you were determined, but you were just trying not to rock the boat. It's too much trouble thinking on your own, so you closed your eyes to everything. Isn't that right, Miss Goody Two-Shoes? Have you ever thought about the problem you cause for others? You may not realize, but you completely rely on us. That box lunch you brought today is a perfect example. Nobody ever said they wanted you to make them one. You always just wait for things to happen. You won't. You can't do anything until someone makes the choice for you. You haven't changed at all. Just like last year. You're still waiting for someone to come and rescue you. I've always been by your side. You were just tuning me out for a while. <laughs> Isn't that true? Poor, pitiful me. Yukiko, don't let it fool you! <gasps> He's right, Yukiko-senpai. Look up at us! Um, uh, I... Don't give in. You overcame your weakness back then, didn't you? We all know you did. We were there. You're not running away from anything. Not last time, and not this time either. You came to rescue me, just like you said. This is the second time you've done that. You're not weak at all. Yukun, please, let me do this. Look after Miss President and Risei-chan. Of course. People never let go of their weaknesses. You're probably right about that. that
That's why I must continue fighting against mine. And I can do it because I know I'm not alone. Yukiko-san, can you really beat her? If you say you're my weakness, then no matter how many times you come back, I will continue to stand up against you. Now, come. Why? Why aren't you despairing? I was so close, too. You did it, Yukiko. Mm, thanks. Huh? Senpai, be careful! Something's not right with the shadow! <gasps> they repeatedly suffered the pain of fighting their friends, but they still didn't lose heart. No, no one, one can, can understand, understand you, you after, after all. all. What, what a shame. shame. What? What are you talking about? Who are you? I thought you were my shadow. I see. If I had lost my mind during those matches, I should have realized it. But I never did. Neither did the others. So we didn't really lose our minds, we just seemed that way to the other person. Which means no matter what the other person really said or did, we'd perceive it as being something completely different. Is that Miss President's persona ability? Or is it something else? I can't believe this. A machine made with a heart so it could use a persona. Well, we did just see it in action. I understand that it's hard to believe, but I'm not lying to you. It's the truth. Of course, I didn't expect a shadow to emerge from her like that. You should leave the rest of this to us. It's all right if you back out now. I understand what you're saying, but I can't leave Miss President like this. What? Why not? From what you told us, it seems like she was created only to fight. But I can't claim that this has nothing to do with me. The way she talked was just like a normal girl. And I promised her that once we got to the bottom of this, we'd go out and have fun together. I can't break that promise. If she has a heart, that's all the more reason I can't turn my back on her. I'd like to make a request, too. Will you take Yukiko with you? Yukun? Don't worry about us. You need to save Labrys right now. That's right, Yukiko-senpai. You gotta do your best in our place. Hmm. If you're still concerned about Labrys, despite knowing the dangers involved, then I won't stop you. Thank you. But we can't waste any more time. Let's go. Coming. Another one of those invisible walls. Oh no, does this mean... Ugh, the tournament rules are still in effect, it seems. She plans to make us fight each other. I should have seen this coming. If she's trying to buy time, that means the situation can still get worse. We don't have much time. Let's settle this. Mitsuru-san! Is that as far as you're willing to go? Wasn't there something you wanted to protect?
Let me clear up any misunderstanding you may harbor. All responsibilities regarding Labrys devolve to me. I respect her feelings, but I can't allow people's lives to be put at risk. If all else fails, destroying her is also an option. Destroying her? If your desire to protect her is real, you can prove it by beating me. But if you won't fight, then keep trembling where you are, and I'll settle this very quickly indeed. I'll fight. Whatever I think. If only one of us can move on, it should be whoever's stronger. <laughs> now that's what I was hoping to hear. Of course, whether or not you can best me is another matter. Well done. You have proven your resolve. Now, go after her. I'm confident that you can salvage her heart. Did you... let me win on purpose? I object to the question. I don't indulge people in critical situations like this. Okay. Then I'm going now, and I'm coming back with Labrys no matter what. That's the spirit. I'm counting on you, Amagi. What's going on? Labrys, please wake up! You don't have to fight like that! Don't act like you're a machine! Analyzing voice print. Identity confirmed as Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko Amagi. We made a promise to each other. You just have to be yourself. It's all right. I don't know what happened to you in the past, but whatever it was, it doesn't define you. I understand that much at least. Understand? understand. What, what could you possibly understand? understand? All, all you've got, got is some cheap, self-righteous self pity. pity. That's not true. Labrys. Why? Why did you save me? You already know I'm a machine. I'm a machine that's supposed to protect people. But because what they did to me was so painful, I took it out on other people too. So why are you? It's okay. You must have suffered so much. I'm sorry. You went through so much pain to protect us. But it's all right now. I won't let those things happen to you anymore. It doesn't matter if you're human or not. I'm your friend. We made a promise, remember? You... wanna be friends? I've faced my own shadow too. I wanted to blame everything on someone else because I felt so powerless. I was waiting for someone to do my work for me. I wanted to escape from my life. So I dreamed that a prince would take me away. But my friends helped me realize that was just me trying to run from my problems.
The reason I could accept my weakness and fight this to the very end is because I had my friends helping me. I had friends who worried about me, who stood beside me. I wasn't alone. And that gave me unimaginable strength. You're not alone anymore either. I'm sure you'll be able to find a place where you belong too. Machine. There'd be all sorts of problems. There would? Who are you? Give Labrys back! That's enough! You're the worst! Labrys has a heart! How can you do this to her knowing that? A heart, hmm? <laughs> Meaningless. Whether or not she has one matters not at all to my plan. What? That's it! Well then, everyone. Until we meet again. It seems whoever our adversary is, they're connected to us. I advise you not to get involved in this matter any further. From here on, you should leave this to us. Wait a second! We can't just leave things like this! I understand how you feel. But this is too dangerous for you. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. Trust in us and let us work. <sighs> Guys, let's leave this to them. Huh? Are you serious? Yukiko, it's best for now if we go home. And allow me to thank you once again. You did a lot to help today. Come on, Yukiko. We have to see her off properly. Huh? Y yeah. You really are going with them. Mm. I'm gonna miss you guys, but I made my decision to throw in with Mitsuru-san. I want to capture whoever's behind this. Whatever it takes, you know how you protected me this time. Now it's my turn to repay the favor. And I'm definitely gonna be back someday, so... Why don't you give me a rain check on that promise? Sound good? <laughs> yeah, that's alright. It's still a promise. Hey, why don't we go to June S? We haven't had our welcome back party for Yukun yet. Great idea, Yuki-chan. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> You're right. It's been a while, too, so let's all go there and catch up. All right, sounds like a plan. We have a few things to talk to them about, too, right, partner? Yeah, let's go, everyone. Boy, was I surprised when Yukon brought that up. I didn't tell her we wouldn't get involved, was it? <laughs> Can you believe him? <laughs> no kidding. I wonder what Mitsuri-san would say if she heard that. Man, the Kirijo group, huh? things go bad, this can be an even bigger problem than last year. I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. <laughs> you really stepped up to the plate this time. I think I like this new side of you.
Hmm. Wow, this is hard. So many choices. What color should I get? Hmm, you're really into this. Hey, how about this? I think it'll look good on you. Oh, no, it's not for me. Oh, right. We might see her sooner than we think. I just know she'll love it. Anyway, forget all that for now. I'm just glad I found you. Found me? You disappeared from your house without saying anything, right? Your mom was looking for you. The timing was funny enough that I thought you might be over here. Me? I disappeared from my house? Come on, this place obviously isn't your house, right? Well, yeah, but that's because it's a dream. The real man's still asleep in my room. What? Man, you really have no idea what's going on, huh? Did you hit your head and lose all your memories when you fell in here? What do you mean, fell in here? The TV, of course. How else would you get here? Uh, wait. So are you saying this isn't my dream? Where did you even get a crazy idea like that? Snap out of it, man. We're inside the TV world right now. Though I've got no idea why it's a school this time. Oh, man. We're in the TV world? And that Ted... That's another mystery. We don't know if he's the real one or not either. Actually, speaking of mysteries, what are you doing here? If you don't remember coming here, did someone drop you in here? Well, uh, I actually don't remember. I was in our living room, dead tired. like that? What's with you? No, I suddenly understand everything. Huh? We just bought a new TV for the living room. It's this big old flat screen. I fell asleep there and probably tripped or something in the middle of the night and fell ass over elbows into the TV like one of those Goldberg machine things. Damn, that big screen TV is some scary shit. What kind of moron are you? You fell in because you were half asleep? You scared us half to death, you know. Boy, that was close. I'd come in here somewhere far away and never met up with you guys, it would have been no joke. <sighs> Wait a sec. Senpai, I solved the mystery. Mystery? What mystery? The reason why this world is back? It's my fault, duh. Jeez, sorry I caused all this trouble. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? How'd you jump to that conclusion? Don't you see? My shadow did this. Damn it, why didn't I figure it out sooner? I fell in here, which means my shadow must have come out. Just like last year. That guy dressed like Ted must be my shadow taking his shape. <laughs> Hold it right there. We already went through this once. Don't worry, senpai. I'll give him a real beat down this time and send him packing for good. This is my mess. So let me clean it up. Whoa, calm down. You've got things all wrong. Gotta run. Let's go, senpai! Huh? Uh, hang on, I can't leave this room. Wait up! I said wait, you idiot! Uh, by the way, where should I go now, senpai? Huh? Uh, Yosuke senpai? Where'd he go? He had to use the John? Oh, so he's leaving the rest to me. Huh. <laughs> 
Looks like I'm right on the money. Whoa, Kanji! It's so good to see you here! Huh? Finally found you. Ah! Ah! Enemy advantage! What the heck? What's going on here? Shut up! Hurry up and get back inside me! Inside you? I don't swing that way! I don't want to be stuck in a sweaty macho hell! Bastard. I've had it up to here with you acting like Ted. The game's up already, you hear me? Kanji-kun, violence is never the answer! Don't get in my way! This is a fight against myself! That makes no sense at all. Oh, yeah! You need to go on ahead, Miss President. Hurry and run while I hold Kanji back! Looks to me like he's the one holding you. Baby, you gotta hurry! Well, since you seem to know each other... You're right. Sorry to Jet, but I'll take you up on that offer. Uh, huh? You're really leaving? You're the one who told her to go! <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. This will be easier if it's just between us. I'll give you one hell of a beating, just like last year. I hope you're ready. I don't remember you giving me anything like that. What did you do without me knowing? Shut up! But I'm a knight. I gotta suck it up and deal. I can't lose. I'll take you out in no time. Here goes! Come on, hurry up and show your true self. Don't make me rub you the wrong way. Stop that! True self this and true self that. No matter how many times you say it, the only thing I can be is my own adorable self. Enough bullshit. Your imitation of the real Ted is pretty good, but I am sick of it. Hey, that reminds me. Where's that cape and hat of yours? I wanted to see it up close so I could so unlike it. Cape and hat? Kanji, were you mistaking me for that fake Teddy? Huh? What fake Teddy? Think! That other Teddy or the one in front of you. Which is more adorable? What? So that one's a fake and you're the real deal? That's right! I'm hurt, Kanji. I can't believe you couldn't tell us apart just by our fur! Dude, how is that supposed to help? Hey, why didn't you say, just so you know, there's a fake Teddy to begin with? Huh? Did you just shift the blame on me? This is tyranny! Sorry, my bad. Hey, Ted, can you sniff out where that General Teddy guy is? He's in the announcement room. I was on my way there with Miss President. That girl back there? Who is she anyway? She's Miss President. She can't use a persona, so I was protecting her. Huh? Did Miss President head to the announcement room without her knight? You're the one who told her to go on ahead. K Kanji, you need to hurry to the announcement room. You don't have to tell me twice. That thing's my shadow, after all. Huh? Kanji's shadow? <laughs> <laughs> who are you looking for? Huh? I'm right here. Didn't think you'd have the guts to show up. I guess I don't need to waste my time looking for you. I finally found you. Me? I was getting nervous because you were running wild thinking this was all a beautiful dream. Good thing I found you. I missed you so much, you know? Yeah, I didn't miss you. Oh, what a big meanie you are. Weren't you looking for me? Yeah, to punch your stupid face in. Oh, dear. 
It looks, looks like, like you still, still don't understand. understand. Understand what? Why, you haven't changed one bit. That's, That's why, why I've come, come out. out. <laughs> Didn't you realize that after what everyone said to you, people haven't forgotten about my side of you at all? Kanji, keep it together! You can't let him trick you! Shut, Shut up, you goddamn furball! You're no different than me. Beep! So you're the reason my senpai were acting so weird. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. They could have honestly been speaking their minds, you know. No way in hell they'd... <laughs> That's, That's what you want to believe. believe. Once, Once again, again, you're lying to yourself. Uh, enough of that. I don't want to lie to myself anymore. I want to be who I am. <laughs> Are you going to hit me? Are you going to deny me again? That's right. People don't let go of their weaknesses. They can never really accept us. Have you lost your mind? How could you hit yourself? Man, that hurt. But of course it would. It's, it was my fist, after all. I know all too well that I'm weak. Huh? You heard me, I'm weak. But I met my senpai and they taught me something. Who cares what your weaknesses are? What's important is how you live with them. It'd be lame for me to repeat the same thing over and over. And I can't cause any more trouble for my senpai. What are you going to do? If you're really me, you should already know. Fists never lie. Case closed! Uh, what happened last time? I turned into my persona and... Hmm? Did I not push him far enough? No, I didn't make any mistakes. The power he drew from his bonds was just stronger. Huh? There's something still missing to turn a persona back into a shadow. When did he disappear? There's a lot of fishy things about all this. Well, if he's gone, at least he can't cause any more problems. Looks like we did it. Anyone, anyone, please answer me! Kanji! That voice! It's Rise. She's talking through her persona. Hey, can you hear me? Kanji! And Teddy! Something happened, right? Where are you now? I'm in the announcement room, and... Hey, Rise! Rise! Answer me, damn it! The announcement room! Miss President was headed there, too! That place was dangerous after all! Kanji! Wait for me! Don't leave me behind! No time to waste! I'm going on ahead! Here goes! Kanji! You're 
you're late, you moron! Quit whining. Hurry up and come over here. You're that student council president, right? You don't look so good. You okay? I... I... It's not true. He keeps saying weird things. Another, Another nuisance. nuisance. I've, I've had, had enough of this, this. you know, know that? that? her shadow and it's going berserk huh? her shadow not mine where'd you get that idea uh, sheesh listen that fake teddy's the bad guy here so all you have to do is beat him up uh, all right that, that's easy enough to understand huh. so, so you, you are, are going, going to interfere, interfere. I don't, I don't have, have anything, anything against, against you, you know. Isn't, Isn't that, that right? right? Me. Looks like it's on me to protect everyone this time. <laughs> Bring it! Kanji, are you gonna be okay? You don't have any backup! Damn straight, I'll be okay. Just stay quiet and support me like usual. I'll save you no matter what. All right, let's calm down. No! You don't have to worry about that. Though it's easy to say so, huh? Anyway, let's calm down for a second, okay? Psst, Kanji, say something. Me? me. Uh, nice weather we're having. What are you being so stiff for? Shut up. She's a student council president. I gotta, you know... Just thought I should try to be more polite, damn it! Uh, anyway, why, why don't you try talking to us? We'll, we'll listen to whatever you're saying. That's right. Our shadows emerged when we came here for the first time. We went through the same pain as you. I think that should let us understand you at least a little bit. Talk! Stay human, but she won't let me. I want to forget the whole Labrys thing. I don't want to think about that anymore. I see. You really were doing your best, weren't you? Huh? I'll be honest. I just met you. There's no way I could know how painful this must have been for you. You really thought it through, huh? You say that you're a machine, but. We know what you're talking about. I don't think there's any problem there. You're the same as us. You can feel pain and sadness just like us. The same? That's why you should go and accept the other you over there. Hey, isn't that girl there a part of you too? You gotta pay attention to her. If you don't, you'll always be in pain tell you that from experience. You gotta get your courage up, cause, um, you know, you're not alone anymore. I, I... I'm Labris, the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. That's my real name. Kanji-kun, 
Rise-san? Thanks. Seems like I was forgetting things that I shouldn't have been, but now I feel so light I could float away. It's like how scared I was before was just a bad dream. <laughs> no need to thank me. The really hard part was all you. Anyway, good thing no one was hurt. Yeah, and I can finally call you by your name. Labrys is such a cute name. C come on, don't say that. It's not really true. Looks like Senpai and the others are all together. The invisible walls must be gone. All right, I think we're done here for sure. So we should hurry and catch up with him. Come on, let's go, Labrys. Coming! Senpai! Long time no see! I totally did it this time! Yeah, Risei told me. You did an excellent job. It was really amazing. Kanji's speech to Labrys was what saved her in the end. Wow. If even Risei-chan's impressed, you must have really done a great job. Uh, nah. This is mostly stuff I learned from you guys. Ah, uh, that explains it. I know it sounded too cool for you to come up with. Hey, everyone. Well, I wanted to tell you something. What's the matter? Really sorry my shadow put you through a big hassle again. Huh? Wait, you still haven't figured it out? Figured out what? Who did you defeat just now? <laughs> to think that we were rescued by someone who had so little understanding of the situation. Who are you? Man, it's golden week already. Ain't you hot, wearing fur like that? Will you shut up for a second? We already understand what an idiot you are. While you were gone, these people explained some things to us. You do have someone who is waiting for you. That's cool. Seriously, it seems like a dream. I can't believe everyone's being so nice to me, and I don't have to be locked up. Kanji-kun, I can't thank you enough. It's not over yet. What the... Did we forget something? Is this the same communication system we use? Everyone, step away from Labrys! Whoa! I cannot gain access. She is being hacked. It isn't coming from inside this facility. The signal originates elsewhere. You mean outside the TV? This is just a little extra resistance. Now, entertain me. She's being hacked? What did you do to her, you bastard? <laughs> well, you appear to be the perfect opponent for her. Let's have you fight friend against friend once more. 
Hey, snap out of it! You're just gonna let yourself get control like that? Show some backbone! It's no use! She can't hear us! What the hell is this shit? Damn it! Quit forcing Labras to fight! Just hang in there. I'll help you come to your senses. Show yourself, you freaking coward! Who the hell are you anyways? Ah, yes. I should thank you all. Although this didn't work out, you did stay in it to the very end. Labrys's shadow was only the mastermind of the tournament. I see now. You're the true culprit behind the whole thing. Indeed. It was I who stole Labrys away. Since I don't have a persona and can't enter a TV, I needed a puppet that could run amok for me. Labrys's persona was only partially awakened, so I had a feeling her shadow would appear if she underwent a little suffering. You got the better of me this time. You deserve to know at least that much. This time? You're planning something else then. <laughs> Who knows? Who do you think you are? Using her as a tool in your own crappy plans? Mm -hmm. But she is a tool. Just a machine. What concern is it of yours? It's no use. Nothing's getting through. What kind of sick bastard is this? Well then, everyone. Until we meet again. Damn it! I was with that asshole. It seems whoever our adversary is, they're connected to us. You shouldn't get involved any further in this case. We'll handle things from here. Hey, wait a second! Are you telling us to back off from this? I understand how you feel, but we will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. Please trust us and allow us to handle this. You must hurry home. Guys, let's leave this to them. Huh? Are you serious? Oh, well, Senpai calls the shots. Let's just do like they ask and go home. Kanji-kun! No use getting pissed at them. They're not the bad guys here. What an unexpectedly mature thing to say! Are you an imposter? Shut up. Don't make me muss your fur again. That ain't how you do things. Huh? You're supposed to say, see ya, not some formal crap. Can you come out for a moment? Coming, Mom! I need you to tend to the store while I go do some shopping. I'm expecting a package, so make sure you sign for it when it comes. Yeah, fine. I'll take care of it. What are you staring at them for? Don't worry, they're all as adorable as ever. I wasn't staring, sheesh. 
Stop making things up. Well, I'll be going then. Try not to glare at the customers, okay? I won't. Hurry up and leave. All right. Let's do this. So you will not require our assistance. Is that correct? Very well. In that case, there is nothing more to be said. As for your presence here, this room is ordinarily only accessible to those bound by a contract. You are fated to refine your power. You will most definitely require our assistance, eventually. Until we meet again, farewell. Yeah, that's not Igor. <laughs> most intriguing. Are you certain about this? Our domain is indivisible from the destiny of our guests. Nothing meaningless happens in this room, which can only mean that the fate of our visitor just now will be... A Margaret? Pardon. I spoke out of turn. We are only allowed to watch over and assist those guests who are bound by the terms of the contract. Indeed. <laughs> so... The young man Yu Narukami is tied to our recent guest's fate. I wonder what fate, or rather, encounter will await him. Yu Narukami. Now that's a guest who never ceases to amaze. I had a hunch this was gonna happen. Well, your hunch isn't getting us anywhere. What are we supposed to do? There's not a single open seat. That's just how it goes at Juness during Golden Week. And on Children's Day at that. If it wasn't this busy, we'd be out of business by now. Today's Children's Day? Huh? I should have brought Nanako. That's what you're worried about? Yo, senpai. I got us some seats. Ooh, good job, Kanji. That's pretty impressive, Kanji. Especially for you. Damn it, Ted. Leave the especially for you part out next time. All right, break it up. No fighting, guys. Let's go, Yukun. Right. Uh, so it's a great day out and, uh... Dude, I don't think this is the time for that. Well, how else should I start off? Look at the size of this crowd. I'd say I made the right call showing up like this. If I came in my usual costume, the little kids would be swarming my adorable bod. I'd be mobbed. Oh yes, I've seen how the children tear off your fur from time to time. Wow! Are you being nice to me, Yuki-chan? Has our love finally blossomed? Huh? Of course it hasn't. Shot down as always. It's because you never learn. <laughs> well, let's get down to business. We didn't get to talk much yesterday, after all. Don't worry about the crowd. Let's start the investigation team meeting anyway. Yeah, though we are missing two people. It's just not the same without our full roster of pretty girls. Oh, not only Risei-chan, but now chan couldn't be here either. Well, it's not like the other day, where we just lost contact with Risei. Mm-hmm. She seems really busy. She said she had work during the holidays, too. At least we got to talk to her yesterday. Yeah, Nato-kun's job is keeping her busy, too. I guess it's the same old for them. Nato-kun knew things about what happened that not even we did. Apparently, she knew about Mitsuru-san and her friends from the start. Thanks to her, though, we got some good information. Well then, let's get everyone up to speed on what happened using that info. What was it that started it all? Midnight Channel again, I guess. I thought I was dreaming for a good chunk of it, so it's not really hitting me.
So who exactly was it that put Labrys inside the TV? And why? At first, I thought the culprit was jealous of my popularity and tried to break us friends up. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't it. Their goal was to disrupt our hearts by making us fight each other and then steal our personas after they return to being shadows. Now Toast said as much too. I don't know. Turning them back to shadows and stealing them. That doesn't sound like something just anyone could pull off. Maybe not. But we know for certain that the culprit was using that method to try and gather powerful shadows. Gathering shadows, huh? That's definitely not something any normal person would do. Reminds me, how are things inside the TV? Still the same. It should go back to normal eventually, but the P1 Grand Prix had such an effect that it's still noisy there. Oh, but, um... Huh? But what? Quit mumbling and just spit it out. It's hard to say for sure, but I sense these weird presences. They feel kind of like shadows, but not really. Weird presences? You mean, there's something strange in there? Um, I don't really know. What could it be? The culprit, maybe? Maybe, but maybe not. Huh? How would that make sense? The culprit wasn't a Persona user, right? Mm, he did say that he used Labrys because he couldn't enter the TV world himself. So, wouldn't that mean this weird thing Ted's talking about can't be our bad guy? Or, maybe the culprit can shove people into a TV even though he's not a Persona user. There's one more thing that bothers me. What is it? It's something Nauta said. so much we don't know. But no matter what the culprit was trying to do, if he was after us in the TV world, I doubt this case will wrap itself up. Mm-hmm. I agree. <gasps> oh, then does that mean... <laughs> too bad for Mitsuru-san, but we're gonna ignore her request not to get involved. Ah, so the investigation team's back in business. Yep. I feel a little bad doing this to Mitsuru-san, but... We can't just leave this be. We can fight too. And heck, this is our town, so it's practically our duty to do this. I'm in too. After all, I am Labichan's knight. Plus, I can't sit on the sidelines after seeing what this culprit did to my world. It had gotten so peaceful thanks to you guys. So it's decided. Mm-hmm. We have to return the favor of getting stuck with those strange epithets too. Makes me so mad! What was that carnivore whose discarded womanhood stuff all about? I could swear people cross the street now when they see me! Really? I was actually pretty impressed. Huh? Is that how you think of me, Yuka? No, that's not what I meant. That reminds me. You seem to like that Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel nickname. Did he? Sensei, have you awakened to a new name? Should I call you Kingpin from now on? This sure has turned out to be some golden week. And after you took the time to come see us, too. No kidding. Shit got stirred up the day you came back, like someone planned it that way. That actually does still bother me a bit. What do you mean? Oh, uh, I guess the timing? It's like whoever did this was waiting for you to come back. Well, I guess there's no need to think about that now. Oh yeah, where's Marie-chan? She's elusive as always. It looked like she was buying something at Sozai Daikaku the other day. What? Nobody told Emi-chan that Sensei was visiting? 
Well, it is Marie-chan we're talking about. I'm sure she's noticed that Yukun's back. Huh? Then, uh, why hasn't she shown up? I mean, if she knew that Senpai's back, you'd think she'd be the first to show. Look at those insane rain clouds. It's gonna start pouring soon for sure. Jeez, the weather report has been way off the mark lately. Oh, sorry, that's mine. Hello? Oh, Kasai-san. That reminds me, Labrys is a robot, right? Would she rust if she got caught out in the rain? Nah, I doubt it. The Kirijo group developed her after all. And they wouldn't be that cheap. Michan's group sure is amazing. Her stuff is way better than Juness brand electronics. Shut up! And don't go dissing your own employer. Labrys is with Mitsuru-san and her friends, right? I wonder how she's doing. Don't worry, I'm sure she's doing fine. If all goes well, we'll see her again in no time. Yeah, you're right. Man, I should stop being such a worry ward. <laughs> hey, looks like Yukiko Senpai's off the phone. Oh, welcome back, Yukiko. What was the call about? It was the inn. It seems a group of our guests is still out. We didn't have any umbrellas ready for them, so I think a lot of them will come back drenched. Sorry, I have to go back for a bit. Oh, right. I forgot this is a busy time for the Amagi Inn, too. Actually, shouldn't we be heading home ourselves? Ugh, if this keeps up, I bet it'll keep raining into the night. Raining, huh? That thing's not gonna come on again, is it? In any case, let's meet up again tomorrow to check up on the TV world. Okay, I'll see you all here tomorrow. And I'll make sure to let Risei-chan know, too. I'll call up Naoto-ku. Though I don't know yet if she'll be able to make it. Cool deal. Well... See you guys tomorrow. What do you think, Yosuke, about the timing of all of this? Hmm? Oh, that. I don't know, I might be overthinking this, but if the culprit happens to know you, would that give some hint of who it might be? Is it possible that it could be Adachi? Adachi-san? No, it wouldn't be him. He has a persona. Oh, yeah. Good point. Sorry. I wasn't trying to weird you out. So I made sure to raise my hand to answer all the teacher's questions. Hanako, <laughs> you told that story three times already. No, I didn't. Oh, and guess what? I saw a really long car yesterday. Oh, you mean the limo that was driving around town? Yeah, I heard about that. A big stretch limo in a sleepy little town like ours. Huh. I'll tell you one thing. They won't be from around here. So, what are you up to this time? The day you were due back, a detective from the Metropolitan Police Department suddenly rang me up to ask about the details of that case. Not only that, but I saw that Shiragane kid at the station several times these past couple of days. Was this all just a coincidence? That's... Uh... Can't answer, huh? Well, that's fine. Look, I trust you, but this is different. Don't stick your head into the lion's den. You do understand that I'm a detective and pretty much your guardian while you're here, right? So long as you understand that, then do whatever you want. Hey, you're picking on Big Bro again, Dad. No, oh, no, not at all. We were just talking. Really, Big Bro? 
Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Um, I'll always be on your side, okay? Make up your mind, you. The strong win, while the weak disappear. Tonight, we will witness the hottest battles in all history. The goddess of victory is waiting to descend upon the ring. P1 fans, are you ready? Contestants in the previous P1 Grand Prix have returned for another tournament, right on the heels of the last one. These warriors will create another legend here at the world shattering P1 Ring. These are battles of honor, battles of will. Sparks will fly. Some fight for pride. Some fight for glory! Will this be decided by pure muscle, or will a battle of wits determine the outcome? Things are heating up! Tonight, who will win the title of champion? Who will be crowned with the winner's wreath? Whose tale of glory will resound for generations? All that remains are the dreams of the warriors. As the Grand Prix plunges into its final chapter, the P1 Climax is... Barely getting started! What's going on here? What in the world? The town of Red Fog? What the? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! All you P1 crazies out there, sorry about the long wait. It's the end of the world. One-on-one -on -one death match that's worthy of the name Climax. And best of all, if you don't win the one-on-one -on -one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end. No punches pulled this time. I'll, I'll make, make myself, myself clear so, so that, that no one misunderstands. misunderstands. This, this will, will not be taking, taking place within the TV world. world. It, it will, will, in fact, take, take place in the reality in which you occupy. occupy. Enjoy it while you can. All righty then. Time to show off how that special stage is going. Not again. How'd you all get crucified again? Is that Mitsuru-san? <laughs> what will be the fate of our captured queen and her loyal minions? Then again, if we don't have a champion, everyone's a goner anyway. So she'll be in good company. Best of luck to all of you. Thank <laughs> you.
What is that? Nanako! Dojima-san! The Juness Food Court. Take my bike today. I wonder if I can make the last train. Night, everyone. I'm off for today. <sighs> Made it. It's gotten a lot later than we expected. Are you still okay on time? You didn't have to give me a lift, you know. I'd have been fine. That's not the issue. Come on, I'm your manager. Still, I had no idea that the boss was putting together such a detailed plan for your comeback. Well, I'm grateful and all, but I just don't think I'm ready yet. That's not true. We've all seen how hard you've been working. You're much stronger than you were. I think the boss is making the right decision. Are you just flattering me, Inoue-san? Never intentionally. You sang that new song we gave you today after just a short lesson. You even memorized the dance steps in record time. I wasn't any good, though. I got distracted by the steps and kept going off key. And I wasn't hitting the turns cleanly. I've still got a long way to go. Rise-chan, did something happen? Huh? I know that there's a part of your life you won't let me into, and that's okay. An idol doesn't need to tell her manager everything. But there's a difference between keeping things private and isolating yourself. Mm. You asked if you could get some days off during the long holiday, right? And you didn't seem too keen on today's session either. Did you have some other engagement in mind? No, you're just cutting me too much slack. Thanks, though. It's nothing to do with work. But there was something that made me realize how powerless I am. Say chan I'm okay. Were you worried I'd quit again? I'm still set on getting back into showbiz, once I shake off the rest from my hiatus. <laughs> I can tell that much from watching you practice. Still, maybe you need a breather. Huh? The publisher consulted me about maybe rescheduling the photo shoot. When I told them doing it later would be problematic since you're still a student, they decided to reschedule for another time. So, take a nice break tomorrow. <sighs> you know I, son. But things will be busy after the long holiday. The success of your comeback project is on the line here. I really appreciate it. Can you let me off at Okina Station today? If I have tomorrow off, I want to stop by the studio and practice a little more. Huh? But wouldn't it be late by the time you're done? Why don't I take you straight home? There's not enough room at home. Please? I'll go straight home after I practice a little. Well, all right. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Actually, though... You shouldn't coddle me so much either. Okay, you know, son. A long holiday, huh? That reminds me, Naoto-kun had to work during the holidays too. 
Hmm? Oh, it's from Yukiko-senpai. Junes at 6 a.m.? That's early. I bet some of those guys are gonna be late for sure. At this rate, I can barely face Senpai and the others. The next stop is Yasuo Inaba. Yasuo Inaba. Us that way. No way. What's going on? All oh, right, my cell. It's broken? Of all the times. Guys, you senpai. This feeling. It can't be. It's like I'm inside the TV. I see. In other words, nothing suspicious is apparent in the current Kirijo group. Correct. There are no factors that would necessitate deterring Mitsuru Kirijo or the shadow operatives which she leads. Mitsuru Kirijo seemed to have some idea who stole her cargo, yes? She did indeed. To begin with, the culprit knew the contents of the cargo, which even Miss Kirijo herself did not fully understand. It follows that the culprit in this case was someone with intimate knowledge of the Kirijo group's dark secrets. How Mitsuru Kirijo deals with this culprit will surely shed more light upon her true motives. Report to us again when you find out more. Whether I find out more or not, it's certain that something will happen. The Kirijo Ergonomics Research Laboratory. An organization specializing in research upon shadows. Hmm. Flood of shadows and the manifestation of personas. There are many similarities to what we experienced. The chief difference is that their catastrophe was artificially induced in the name of research. I hesitate to look into such matters without their consent, but I doubt they would volunteer much. Hmm? Shuji Akutsuki took the position of chairman at Gekko Kan High after Ergo Research was disbanded. Mitsurasan went there. Deceased in 2009. Cause of death. Falling from the school's observatory. Was it suicide? No listed family. It may be best if I check inside of the TV world once more. It's a bit late to call them. Which reminds me, I think I heard thunder earlier. Could it have rained? A call at this hour? From an unknown number. Hello. I got through. Miss Detective? Uh, wait, no. Now Tokun, right? That voice. Is that you, Labrys? What's the matter? Listen up, because we got a big problem. Mitsura-san and the others were on their way to Inaba, but they've gone missing. Missing? So we were going to go look for them, but these weird guys came barging into the Shadow Operatives Lab. I'm the only one who got out. Labrys, calm down. 
Can you describe anything unique about the people who invaded your headquarters? Unique? Um, they came in a big group, they wore suits, they showed this paper-looking thing, uh, and they said something about an investigation. I understand. What's your present situation? I can't go back to the lab, right? Even if I could, I wouldn't know what to do without Mitsuru-san around. But then I found out the Shadow Operatives got these special folks who only get called up in emergencies. I just met up with them a minute ago, and we're about to go look for Mitsuru-san and them. Understood. I'll cooperate as well. I'm sure the others won't say no either. We'll all try searching for Mitsuru-san. Really? Thanks! Labras, there's something else I'd like to ask. Why was Mitsuru-san headed for Inaba? If I remember right, they found a weird shadow reading over there, so they were gonna go look into it. A weird shadow reading? She said the reading spiked all of a sudden. Did something happen over there? Hmm. Nothing springs to mind. Oh, sorry. Hold on a moment. I'm sorry, but let's continue this on the move. We should meet up at the very least. Actually, is that a helicopter I hear in the background? Yeah, I'm surprised you can tell. We have a maid piloting one right now. Hmm. Let me think of a place where a helicopter could land around here. A blackout. Labrys? Red fog? Damn it, it's not turning on. The street lights are all out too. What in the world's going on here? There's no one around. Am I gonna be all alone with Yosuke for the rest of my life? No! Why couldn't I be stuck with a beautiful lady? I could say the same thing about you. Anyways, we need to get to Juness right now. Let's go. Hmm? We're going to Juness? Such devotion to your company in a crisis. That's not why we're going, moron. Someone from the team's bound to be there now. Whenever anything happened, we always met up there. So if we can't get in contact with anyone, that's the first place to go, right? Oh, I see. Then Sensei, Chie-chan, Yuki-chan, and even Kanji are probably on their way right now. Uh, actually, I could imagine Kanji going straight into the TV world instead. Still... What was up with that midnight channel earlier? I've never heard of it starting before midnight. And what's up with the countdown? This isn't New Year's Eve. It's a good thing we were in front of the TV. If we missed it, the world could have ended without us even knowing. Dude, don't even say stuff like that. Was that video for real? I doubt Mitsuru-san's bunch would get caught that easily. Crucifying a lady like that is unforgivable. Yosuke, let's hurry and meet up with everyone so we can go rescue Michan. Uh, right. You're really fired up about this, aren't you? And then, and then, I'm gonna get a thank you kiss from the lovely ladies. That's what you're after. How much of a horn dog can one bear be? Huh? Don't you like Michan's amazing bod too, Yosuke? Well, who wouldn't be interested? Hey, where are you going with this? All so suddenly? I don't have bear breaks, you know. Hey, is this fog getting thicker? <laughs> Yikes, can't you cover your mouth when you sneeze? What's gotten into you? My nose got itchy all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Just hurry up and wipe your nose. By the way, Yosuke. What now? I hope it's just my imagination, but... Was this road always this long? Huh? Hey, 
Hey, Yosuke? What now? I've been having this bad feeling all this time. Can I share this scary feeling with you too? What's with the creepy buildup? Just hurry up and say it. Um, we're outside the TV world right now, right? But this place smells the same. The same as where? Well, um, the same as inside the TV. Huh? Seriously? Uh-huh. Look, my bare nose is itching up a storm. Your nose? That's right. Does that mean you can tell where everyone is? I can kind of tell, but this fog is so thick that it's... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, achoo! God, don't turn towards me when you're sneezing. You're sure that's not just allergies? How rude. I don't have any allergies. My nose has been feeling so itchy that... Uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, what a reliable nose you have. Damn it. Gotta find everyone somehow. With the town all messed up, even that might be impossible. Hmm? What now? Here it comes! My teddy sensors are picking up something! You still haven't told me what... Huh? Is someone coming? Sorry about the wait. You? How did you get here? Yosuke! Hold on a sec! Huh? Not now, Teddy. I'm glad you're safe, you. Of course. So you're with Teddy after all. Huh? Well, yeah. Uh, you're acting kind of strange. What's going on? <laughs> what worthless vermin who can't survive without huddling together. Huh? Yusuke, no! That's not Sensei. He has a strong, shadowy stink. What? <laughs> it's too late. Now, bring on the rain. Whoa! What the? <laughs> I'm gonna die! Teddy, are you okay? Ugh. Ow! Yosuke. This is the P1, so obviously the rule is that only the winner can move on. Now, it's about to begin. The first battle of the P1 climax. Is everyone ready? You again? Yosuke, the fake Teddy's back. You're General Teddy? Seriously? But you were just Labrys's... What are you talking about? You're such a grown ranger, Yosuke. It doesn't matter who I am! Continue, Continue this, this idle, idle speculation, speculation, and you'll, you'll lose your, your life, life rather quickly. <laughs> Bastard! What was that for? There's, There's only, only one, one thing that happens in the P1. So hurry and draw your weapon, Yosuke. What are you saying? You seem a lot like you. I can't tell if you're being tricked or not. Ah, Yosuke. There's no need to worry. What you're looking at now isn't Sensei. It's a complete fake that I made. So now that there's no need to hold back, go fight it! A fake? That's right! What really draws in the crowds at a fighting tournament are chaotic, intense, neck-and-neck -neck battles! So the great General Teddy went to the trouble of ginning up shadows to settle things with you guys. What's the matter? You're supposed to be all about fair and square fights. Why won't you hurry up and start this mano a mano rumble? You're seriously a fake? You're pretty well made. Of course I am. I was born from your data. My skills are the same. In fact, they are superior. Or are you incapable of doing anything without your friends, Captain Misantimo? Oh, 
Oh, you just had to take a jab at my painful memories, didn't you? But I get it now. Since I know you're a fake, there's no need to hold back. <laughs> You'll regret acting all gallant like that. that. Persona. What in the world? How did a fake sensei summon a real persona? Whoa, for real? Yosuke, you have to run! Hurry! Stay back, Teddy. If this seriously is a P1, then we won't be able to go on unless I win. With what's happened to the town, this is no time for hesitating. I'm gonna take a chance and go for it. Come, Persona! You are you? Ah, whoa! <laughs> ah! Sen Sen Sensei's melted like butter, dude. That wasn't the real you. Though this is kind of a gross way to prove it. Huh? What was that? Hey, Yosuke. And that was a shadow, not Sensei, right? Yeah, seems like. The real you, I'm pretty sure, wouldn't melt into goo like that. Hmm, that's true, but... Uh, what is it? You're being really cagey today. Uh, Labichan's kidnapper said he wanted to steal our personas and make them into shadows, right? Do you think Sensei's persona got stolen and became that thing you fought? What? Like hell that would happen! Wait, it wouldn't, right? Uh, don't ask me, I asked you first! Anyway, we gotta hurry and find the others. This whole thing is making me more and more nervous. And man, suddenly I can use my persona in the real world? What's happening to this town? Huh? What's up? I smell the real sensei! And from the other direction, I'm sniffing... Oh, it's Yuki-chan! Really? Can you smell the other guys too? Uh, no, just those two. Actually, this might not be good. I sense shadows real close to both of them. What? Damn it. Oh well, we're gonna have to split up. We need to make sure everyone's safe first. After that, we can meet up at Juness. I'm sure you won't get lost with that nose of yours. Alrighty then. In that case, it's time to fully open up my bare nostrils. Rawr! Wait for me, Yuki-chan! Your teddy is coming for you! Hey, hey, wait! You didn't tell me where you is! Roar! Yuki-chan! Damn it, you perverted bear! You are so getting a pay cut for this! Ah, welcome to the Velvet Room. Did I startle you? No, but... I have business with you today, so I've summoned you. Marie? Sorry, I asked her to do this. There's something I have to do right now. What happened? I can't really tell you because of the rules of this room, but you've noticed, right? Something terrible's about to happen to this town. I'll do my best to stop it, but that won't even come close to being enough. So you might end up in danger again. Because of this. Leave it to me. I'll protect this town from whatever's coming. Marie, are you okay? You stupid goody goody womanizing lame -o. Just hurry and get out of here. <laughs> it seems you still have a lot to learn. You may have noticed, but your precious town faces an even greater threat than before. Someone is attempting to merge Inaba with the other world, which you once called the Midnight Channel. What? Fortunately, Marie's powers are currently protecting the townspeople. But that will not last long. 
What do you mean? A town that's become a labyrinth, choked by fog and silence. Inaba exists in a unique time right now. Only Persona users, who have accepted their suppressed egos, are able to freely move about through the evil red fog. But at this rate, the fog will thicken, and those who cannot use such powers will be swallowed into this world. So that's what General Teddy meant by within the hour. <laughs> This will be the third ordeal thrust upon you. Or perhaps it is the continuation of the second. Will you overcome it with aplomb this time as well? Go. You can do this. And as for the culprit in this case... It's odd. I passed by here earlier, too. Margaret called this a continuation of what happened the other day. This is Juness. Why is it here? Yosuke. Yosuke, wait! Yosuke! Yo, it's you! Well, I had a feeling someone would show up. That's what I was thinking, too. Are you alone? Where's Teddy? Teddy? Oh, that useless ball of fur? <laughs> Are you really Yosuke? Who cares? Either way, you're done for. Plus, take a look at that. What is that? Don't tell me. You understand the rules now? That's where you're headed. If you want to save your precious friends. And this world. Persona. Look out, you! A persona? And two Yosuke's? Don't be fooled! That's a fake me! Don't, Don't get, get in, in my, my way. way. Persona! This guy's not me or my shadow. It's a fake that was made with a chunk of a shadow. A chunk of a shadow? General Teddy set this up. He supposedly made these things to force us to fight. Thing is, we can summon our personas here too. We have to beat them all and move on. Yosuke, are you all right? <laughs> to be honest, I'm exhausted. But if this is more of the P1, and we can't let ourselves lose. Oh, so you noticed too. The culprit behind Labrys' kidnapping is doing this as well. Right. I don't know what they're after, but let's defeat this thing and keep going. <laughs> Morons! You, you still, still don't get it, do you? you? You're, You're both, both going, going down, down here. here. Don't act so tough. You might be a copy of me, but there's no way you can beat you and me at the same time. <laughs> Two, Two against, against one, one, huh? We're, We're being, being all fair and square, but... but... I see, I see you'd rather, rather play dirty. dirty. Useless vermin who can't do anything unless you're huddled together. You're completely forgetting the rules. The P1 climax is supposed to be all one on one battles. I'm not going to take on two of you at once. Now, bring on the ring. Whoa! What is this? Come on, first come, first served. Oh, and I guess I'll tell you something else. Ignoring me and trying to run ahead will get you nowhere. Like I said before, 
If you want to stop the world from ending, you've got no choice but to head to Yasugami High. Now, though, you're already in the way. Those red pillars create invisible walls, and there's no way to get rid of them but to win one on one. In other words, the only way you can save your world is for one of you to defeat me. Damn it. Invisible walls again? What are we gonna do? Can we trust anything he's saying? Jeez, you just don't know when to give in. Can't you just go on and fight when it's not against your friends? You already know it's a fake. You. Yes, yes, it's the lovely General Teddy. I've been watching all this time, and what am I seeing? I poured my heart into making fakes who look exactly like you, all to set up a good fight. What more do you want? Can it? With all that fair and square stuff you were saying, were we somehow not supposed to think something's going on with all this? Yosuke, how cruel. I just want to feel your fighting spirit. Though, this is fine with me, you know. At such a leisurely pace, the world really will be destroyed. Now, hurry, hurry up, up and, and fight, fight to the death. death. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that bastard. Even the fake one's not half as cute as he thinks. Calm down, Yosuke. Getting flustered is exactly what they want. really was a chunk of a shadow. You could have trusted me at least on that part, you know. Though that doesn't make me feel better about seeing this happen so many times. Many times? Did you fight a fake version of someone else before coming here? Uh, yeah. It was, um, a fake you. Me? Huh. Are you alright? Oh, sure. I figured out pretty quick that it wasn't you. These guys aren't trying too hard to act like us. It's not like before when they were trying to upset us. That makes it even more disturbing. They're not trying to hide, and they're fighting fair. That seems really fishy in itself. Right? Well, the rule where you have to win one-on-one -on -one before moving on seems to be the same as before. But something's telling me we shouldn't believe everything they're saying, either. That reminds me. Is Teddy okay? Have you seen anyone else? Huh? Oh, Teddy sniffed out Yukiko with that nose of his and took off to find her. Some help that guy was. You have no idea how much trouble I had to go through to find you. Well, you showed up just in time to save me. Anyway, I'm relieved to hear Teddy's nose is working. Let's leave the others to him. We need to get to Yasugami High. There's not much time left until this supposed end of the world. Whoa, whoa wait a sec. That fake said the same thing, but why Yasugami High? I don't know why, but it looks like that's where we have to go. See? Is that Yasugami High? What's happened to it? We'll have to go there and find out. Mitsuru-san and her friends are probably there too. Damn it, everything's going according to their plan, huh? Yeah, but we have to do this. I'll be counting on your help, Yosuke. Uh, What's the matter? Nah, you're right. It's not that there's nothing we can do without each other. It's that with each other, we can do anything. <laughs> Sorry, guess I wasn't thinking straight. Let's go, partner. These again? How much more are they going to bring up those painful memories? Whoa! Holy crap! It really is on top of our school. And why is it so big? Ah! That voice! Was that Yukiko? Let's hurry!
Just you wait, Yuki-chan. I'm coming. Huh? It's the same sign again. A dead end this time. What's going on here? <gasps> here it comes. I'm sensing Yuki-chan for sure. Huh? There's something else nearby, too. It's... it's no use. I can only tell that there's two... <laughs> uh. <gasps> Could it be someone's fake? This isn't good. <laughs> uh. My nose just won't listen. I mean, work. Uh. I don't even know where I am anymore. I wonder if Yosuke managed to find Sensei. What are you acting like a lost kid for, you idiot? <laughs> ah! It's a ghost! <laughs> you look so spineless. It is none other than I, General Teddy! Where's your salute? <laughs> it's that shameless imposter again. Seriously, what a burden you are. If you keep dawdling around, the world will go kablooey! You can try to nudge me along all you want, but I'm not fooled. You're an imposter after my good name! Oh, what a rude bear! Saying such things after I try to be kind. Well then, I'll, I'll tell, tell you something, something especially special. good. It does not matter whether I'm real or an imposter. Have you forgotten? You are the same as me. Nothing but a mere shadow. That's not true! I mean, I was just an ordinary nobody bear at first, but I met Sensei and everyone else and changed! I'm the one, the only Teddy! Sensei said so! <laughs> Then tell me this, what would you be if you didn't have your friends? Huh? If you are unable to be yourself until recognized by another, what are you truly? That's... <laughs> Don't worry, it's not only you. All the worthless refuse living in this world is the same. That is the extent of the self. It is a squalid concept espoused by weaklings who cannot see themselves save through comparison to others. You lick each other's wounds, finding peace by herding together. Deep in this rotted intimacy, you avert your eyes from the truth. That's not how it is. I just want to be with my friends. They're not averting their eyes either. Regardless, I will kill you slowly. And return you and your persona back to shadows. Now, bring on the ring! What's the matter? Scared? Well then, how about a wager? Whoever wins is the real one. <laughs> like I let that happen! There's no way I can lose this. I'll do whatever it takes to prove I'm the one and only Teddy in the world! I did it! I get to keep being the real Teddy! But was fighting always this tiring? I feel more pooped than usual. This fog again! Well, that'll do. A shadow with an ego. I thought it could be suitable for my scheme, but it seems I'll have to use the other instead. Come on, what are you staring at? Your friends are already headed to the school. Why aren't you on your way to meet them? You don't get to boss me around. And what's up with you? You did all this to the town. You keep telling us where we're supposed to go. If you're the enemy, then why aren't you acting more evil? Yeesh, what a noisy bear. 
Your complaint doesn't make any sense either. Anyway, just hurry up and come to the high school. We're gonna settle the score once and for all there. Wait! What is that? There's a huge tower standing where Sensei's high school should be. And what's that red fog swirling around? I think I smell danger from it. If the others are headed to the school, then I need to get to Yuki-chan. I'm sure Sensei and the rest can handle everything over there. Rawr! Wait for me, Yuki-chan! Your adorable teddy is rushing to you at once! Muku? Muku! Jeez, where'd you go? Oh, why do you think I brought you? Taking off and leaving me alone at a time like this really isn't cool. What the hell? Oh, that thunder's been rumbling non-stop. What should I do? Maybe I'll call him you, Kamen. Oh, yeah, Yukiko! The wait, she's busy. Oh, if I told Yosuke and Kanji about this, they'd definitely make fun of me. Oh, there's always Teddy! Wait, Yosuke would still find out. Oh, sheesh! Red fog? There's no way that would happen! What was I thinking? <laughs> Wait a sec, what's that? <gasps> No way! What is this? What's going on? Isn't this... where the P1 Grand Prix took place? Why is the TV world showing up in reality? I gotta tell the others! Is someone there? <gasps> Chie? Is that you, Chie? Yukiko! Oh, thank goodness. My cell isn't working, so I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I see. I'm glad to hear that. You're probably the best on my list, after all. Huh? You're not Yukiko! Who are you? <laughs> you, you don't, don't have, have to worry. worry. I was, I was never, never intending to deceive you. you. I, I mean, you didn't die for me, fair and square. square. What? Wait a sec! Who are you? Why are you after me? Why? <laughs> I'm your, your enemy. enemy. I was, was made, made to, to kill you and your friends. friends. Made? This sounds like a good time for me, General Teddy, to explain what's going on. General Teddy? Why are you here? I mean, you were Labrys's... Blah, blah, so nitpicky. With that level of nagging, I worry that you're already turning into an old maid, Chie chan What? Look, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's not Yuki-chan. It's a total fake that I made. So there's no need to worry at all. You can pulverize her to your heart's content. You little... There's no need to worry at all. You took the time to make it look like Yukiko, so don't give me that crap! Oh, really? Then you hurry up and die. Persona! She can use a persona? Huh? How? Hmm? You, you can, can use, use yours too, Chie. Didn't I tell you? I can? How? 
I mean, this is the real world. Oh, sorry. I totally forgot to tell you. This is the P1 Climax. So I want to do these matches fair and square as equals. Which is why I've made your world the same as the one in the TV. The same? What do you think you're doing? And what's this P1 Climax thing? Ah, so many questions. That's just how things are. So hurry up and give us a nice heated battle. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the gong hadn't sounded yet. Well, then, let's start this properly. Ring on the ring! I'm not in the mood to drag this out, so I'll just give a short rundown. The rules are simple. Win and you get to move on, lose and you're stuck here. By the way, the stupid Kirijo people are captive in the big tower right in front of you, Chie-chan. But never mind that. If you and your friends don't win before time's up, the world ends. Do you get it? What? The world ends? Hold up a second. What are you talking about? It's all up to what you do from here. You understand the situation now, right? Then shall we begin? Yeah, I get it now. I get that you're the enemy, and that this is just more of the P1 Grand Prix. Amazing, Michelle. It's, it's almost, almost like, like you're actually a smart girl. girl. Well, sorry for my lack of brains. Jeez, this is hard to do when I'm up against Yukiko. But I won't hold back. Come, Persona! Are you all right, Chie? You kunin Yosuke? Oh, no, you don't! Whoa, hold it, calm down! We're the real ones. I'm glad you're safe, Chie. You kun. Yeah, you sure seem like the real deal, You kun. What about me? I mean, we've already dealt with our fakes. Huh? So you guys ran into them too? Yeah, we've defeated the fake Yosuke and myself. Was that a fake Yukiko? Seem that way. Actually, what's going on? Is this really the real world? Looks like it. Even though shadows are running around and we can use our personas. But that might as well be in the TV. What in the world's going on? Calm down, will ya? We don't know anything either. The Midnight Channel came on and General Teddy suddenly declared war on us. Afterwards, the town got swallowed up in that red fog. The Midnight Channel? Then is what happened with Labrys really not over? Don't tell me. Did you not see the Midnight Channel? Uh... <laughs> Seriously? I can't believe this. It came up so many times. Why didn't you check? No one said specifically to watch for it. All this happened suddenly while I was out walking Muku. So I don't know what's going on either. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, the town's in serious danger right now. That reminds me. General Teddy said something earlier about the world ending. Right. General Teddy says that if we don't win this tournament within the hour, the world will end. Apparently, he's holding Mitsuru-san and her friends captive in that tower. What? He is? Actually, I just noticed. Where's Yukiko? And is Kanji-kun okay? Teddy's headed over to Yukiko, and I doubt Kanji will go down that easily. We don't have any time right now. Let's leave those two to the others. We need to go rescue Mitsuru-san's group at once. Chie? Believe in your friends. Uh. Let's go, Yukun! Uh. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna believe in your friends and be the winners of the P1 Climax, is that right? Playing friends here? That's freaking lame. My name's Shomi Nazuki. 
And you guys are in my world now. Come on, no need to get all nervous. I came all this way to say hello. What is this? My legs! I, I can't move! Mm, you look like you're in pain. <laughs> the look on your faces is just epic. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Man, this power's useful. Oh, right. Good evening. I'm Sho, Shomi Nazuki, the culprit behind these shenanigans. Uh, you are? That's right. I'm the one that invited you here, and I'm showing myself right now. Now that I've shown you the way here, it's time for a showdown with Sho. <laughs> Get it? Bullshit! That ain't funny! Hmm? What's the matter? <laughs> laugh! Wasn't it funny? Come on, laugh! I guess I'll dismantle one of them. I doubt that'll matter much. Oh, come on, why right now? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry, we got more guests of honor. You guys are just the ginger on the side of the sushi, so. All you get to do is look for your friends in the tower. But we have plenty of fun in store for the investigation team. You'll sure look forward to it. <laughs> Boo! Damn it. What's with that guy? Is he really the culprit? We have to hurry and go after him! He's way too dangerous to leave him be! No. Teddy, Yukiko, and Kanji are still in town. If Teddy's nose is working, they may have met up already. So we're gonna leave that guy to just Teddy and Kanji? I mean, now Do and Rise might find their way here, but... No, that show guy said they have more guests of honor now. At the very least, he's not after us for the time being. Oh... Wait, but what's that supposed to mean? Who are these guests of honor? When we watched the Midnight Channel, Labrys wasn't one of the captives it showed. The Shadow Operatives are Mitsudu-san's team. But no one said the ones we met are the only members. If their leader is in danger, it's only natural they'd send a rescue squad. Oh, right! Also, after the thing with Labrys, Mitsudu-san mentioned something about maybe having some idea who the culprit might have been. If that culprit is the show we met, it wouldn't be strange if he already knew Mitsudu-san and her team from before he met us. So, the guests of honor he mentioned could be the other Shadow Operatives, come to rescue Mitsuru-san's group! That's right. Sho is underestimating us. If Yukiko and the others meet up with the Shadow Operative backup, they won't lose easily, not even to Sho. Wow, you really are smart! All right, if that's the case, we should get up this tower quick and rescue Mitsuru-san's group while he's not around! Yeah. It's the same here as in town. The layout of the classrooms is all out of whack. I wonder how long this hallway goes on for. We keep passing by the same rooms. That reminds me. I remember a story like that. Something about the seven mysteries of the school and a hallway that loops endlessly. Hey! So, do you think that show guy really is the culprit? Who knows? It's pretty suspicious that he's taking credit for all this, if you ask me. But then again, he didn't seem like an ordinary guy. When his eyes gleamed red, I lost control over my muscles. Like he commanded them, don't move! If that was a type of hypnosis, it's pretty powerful. If Sho is the culprit, he could have controlled those hijackers the same way. Hey, wasn't he wearing our school's uniform? Huh? Oh, 
Now that you mention it, it did kind of look like it. I'm sure of it. I've never seen a school uniform like that besides ours. Then does that mean Sho goes to Yasugami? What? You're serious? Uh, is it possible for us to not know about a guy who sticks out that much? Hmm. I did think from last time that the culprit would be someone with ties to Mitsuru-san. I still can't shake that theory. Hmm. Oh, maybe he transferred here. Or it could be his older brother's uniform. Dude, don't go drawing up the culprit's whole family tree just on a hunch. I bet he's just a ghost or something like that. Maybe he has a grudge against our school? What is it? Be on guard. Don't leave my side. You're <laughs> kidding me! <laughs> hey guys! Long time no see. Are you serious? <laughs> Adachi son. Hey, Kanji kun. What's up, Yukiko senpai? What's up, Yukiko senpai? Look, you bastard, don't go bothering Yukiko-senpai. What? You're the one bothering her, you imposter! What was that? I'm the real one! Bullshit! You don't look anything like me, damn it! You little... Now try this, goddammit! Tell me exactly how old I was when I last wet the bed! Oh, it was when you were in second grade, right? Why do you know that? Why do you know that? Hmm? Your mother told me once. Ah! Ah! Um... Sorry, I don't have any more time to waste. Oh, I know. What if we say the one who can summon his persona is the real one? But that's impossible. It's not like we're inside the TV right now. Ha! You're giving up before even trying? And you dare call yourself the real me? When you put your guts into it, summoning a persona is no big deal at all. Ah! Persona! Oh, it worked. What? Seriously? How's that, Yukiko-senpai? Now you know I'm the real one. Oh no you don't, you bastard! If you could do it, so can I! Come on out! Persona! Whoa! That actually worked! Hey, what are you copying me for, damn it? What? You're the one copying me! Yuki-chan! Power of love to tell them apart. Huh? You can tell the difference? Of course I can! My love for you would never, ever be fooled by a fake. Hmm, then can I leave this to you? Huh? Leave what to me? Ted, perfect timing. You know I'm the real one, right? Ah! A double serving of kanji? So these were the two things I was sensing near Yuki-chan. Mm-hmm. That's why I'll leave it to your love to tell them apart. Impossible! I'm completely, totally vetoing this idea! I mean, there's no love involved! The hell did you just say? You should be able to at least tell the difference, damn it! Ah! Both of those sound like things Kanji would say! So that's the limit of your love for Kanji-kun. Um, can we just say that they're both fake? 
That's what it comes down to in the end, right? What? Why are you listening to him? Would that be bad? Of course it would! Assuming that from the start, it's pretty messed up! Oh, I know. Could you use your nose to figure this out, Teddy? Hmm. I wish I could, but this red fog is getting in the way. My nose is no use right now. Wait, does that mean you're a fake after all? Not at all! There's a good, complicated reason for it! Hey, Ted, just do something and tell us apart, damn it! Yeah, you moron! I'm disappointed in you! Ah, two kanjis are worse than one! Okay, Teddy, stay still, concentrate, and... Got two! Oh, whoops! My nose got stuffed up! What?! Jeez, what a useless bear! You say that, but I bet you're actually pretty relieved. What did you say? You're the one breathing easier, asshole! What was that? I'll take your punk ass down! Ooh, good idea, Yuki-chan! Well then, let's bring it on! People of Inaba, welcome! It's time for Who's the Best Inaba Resident? Huh? What the...? Question number one. How many stories is Yasugami High School's classroom building? We're really doing this? It's three stories. You, you bastard, it was my turn to answer! Correct! Now, on to question number two. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day at the supermarket Juness. How many stories does it have? T two stories! Correct! Now for question number three. From Shiroku's store, how many buildings away is the Moel gas station? Uh, um, it's, uh, uh four buildings. Correct! Number four. Take the sum of the numbers in the answer so far. Multiply by eight and divide that by three. What do you get? Huh? Um, uh, wait, what does that have to do with being an Inaba resident? Too easy. It's 24. Correct again! And... You're, You're the, the culprit. culprit! What? How do you figure? I was right! You take 3 plus 2 plus 4, multiply that by 8, and divide by 3, and that's 24! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you don't get it. There's no way Kanji could do math like that. Heck, he can hardly do basic arithmetic. Therefore, you're the fake! So he was even dumber than I imagined. He's so stupid that I ended up playing around. Huh? You picking a fight with me? I'm glad we figured it out, real Kanji-kun. Yeah, but come on. What kind of way was that to tell us apart? <laughs> Don't worry. No one would be shocked at this point. You making fun of me or trying to cheer me up? How long are you gonna keep this up, damn it? Just because my cover's been blown doesn't mean that's the end. It's time for the real reason I'm here. All right! Bring on the ring! Huh? Ah! ah! This again? Kanji seems dangerous! Now let's get this full-on muscle-on-muscle muscle battle going! I can't wait to get you in a hold. This bastard again. A full-on battle, huh? Fine! You're on! That didn't make them any less overblown. Can't we just leave these two here? Yuki-chan! Your inner thoughts are leaking out! Oh? I'm totally okay with me, you know. You could just stay here. But you can't go on unless you beat me raw. Won't that be trouble for you? Huh? Is that true, Teddy? It seems like it. When those red pillars glow, it makes these invisible walls, just like the last P1 Grand Prix! That's right! Until, Until someone, someone takes me to heaven, heaven, none of you are going anywhere. I'll do it then. I need a refresher. Whoa, hold it! That's my shadow. I can deal with my own crap. I'm gonna pass! It's too early for me to step into that world! Huh? Damn it, Teddy, I told you that's not how I am! Jeez. Well, then let's decide with rock, paper, scissors. That's fair, right? So good! I'm totally satisfied with this amazing session.
Cause it's too late now. You've totally fallen for our plan! Whoa, what the hell? No way! Kanji could melted! Uh, Yukiko-senpai, that's the fake. Wait, does this mean that wasn't my shadow? I seriously thought that part of me was coming back for more. Oh, nope. General Teddy made that fake by kneading up a chunk of a shadow. Seriously? Then all we had to do from the start was beat the crap out of it! That's not my fault! You two were the ones getting all up in each other's faces! Hey, Teddy, could that General Teddy be the culprit after all? Wouldn't that make him the one behind Labrys' problems, too? Um, I don't really know about that. Who is that General Teddy, anyway? All I know is that he's an imposter of mine. Huh? If you don't know, then there's no way we'd know. But if he can do this to our town, then he's not an ordinary person. You got that right. Didn't they say he brainwashed the hijackers when Labrys got kidnapped? That's not all. There's one other thing I noticed. It happened to me too, but when Yuki-chan and Kanji were fighting the fakes, tons of these shiny things were flying out. What do you mean, shiny things? Oh, I think I know. That's what we saw when the fake Kanji-kun was melting too, right? Yep, you got it. That stuff never used to come out when we fought. What could it be? Hmm, good question. Also, how should I put this? It seems like fighting in this fog is tiring everyone out faster than usual. Huh? Yeah, now that you mention it. It's like when we would go into the TV world without Teddy's glasses. Huh? That reminds me. We haven't tested out the glasses. If you need them, I have some right here. No, that's okay. It's true that I can't see very far, but I can still see where I'm going. And the exhaustion comes more when the fighting ends, not during the battle. So, what does that mean? When those shiny things come out after a fight, we get really tired? Jeez, you really are stupid, aren't you, Kanji? The shiny things and getting tired are two separate things. So what then? This is all because you suck at explaining shit. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry, what did you just... Yukiko-senpai? Has Yuki-chan lost it? You're right. Sorry. This is nothing. <laughs> uh, um, I was thinking that Kanji-kun might have been right just now. Huh? What'd I say? I know, I know, I remember. He said that when the shiny things come out, you get tired. Right. I thought that actually could be the case. Huh. I don't really get it. What do you mean? Well, could it be that that's what the culprit is really after? He's making us fight, getting those shiny things to come out, and... Uh, uh, what would he want with them? No! You totally had us going, Yuki-chan. So, you didn't figure out the important part? Uh... Is his goal just to make us tired? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, what could this all mean? I, I wish I could concentrate and think, but this fog is just so... <laughs> ah, gross, Ted! Sorry, it's just that this red fog keeps violently irritating my nose. Oh! Huh? What is it? I did notice something about those shiny thingies. Really? Mm-hmm. Those shiny thingies have all been flying towards Sensei in your school on the hill. When I fought General Teddy earlier, he told me to head to the school, too. Something smells fishy about that place. So what's the deal? If you knew something, why didn't you spit it out before? Well, let's go there. If the others noticed it, too, I'm sure they're on their way already. Teddy, can you lead the way? Leave it to me! You two, follow me! Blair Chu! What is this? 
What's happened here? This is exactly like the TV world. But if that's true, then... Come. Persona! I knew it! I can use my persona. I don't know what's going on, but I might be able to find everyone. I'm really no use after all. I don't have the power to fight. I can't even give proper backup. I'm no good to anyone. Huh? W what? It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Elizabeth! Please excuse my raucous entrance. If I recall correctly, you are everyone's Rosette, the announcer of the P1 Grand Prix, no? Huh? That wasn't really me. Wait, who are you? Oh, pardon me. I am Elizabeth, the wandering elevator attendant who has presently totally abandoned her duties. I once presided over a certain power in a certain room, but for opaque reasons I am brilliantly... Brilliantly? No, currently on a wandering journey. You presided over power... Okay... Greatestly, exactly. Um, it feels odd to bring this up, but it was okay for you to abandon your duties? Oh? Can you explain the question? I guess I kind of abandoned my duties once, too. I ran away from where I was, but now that I'm trying to make a comeback, it's been really tough. And this news of a comeback concert isn't grabbing me, either. A concert, you say? I know of such things. It is a mysterious ritual that only chosen ones can perform. Within the flood of sound that tempts people, the crowd repeats a chaotic dance to their heart's content, eventually achieving a state of rapture. Uh, it's not like that. By the way, Miss Rosette, are you sure that you should be reposing in a place like this? Huh? I have been observing this town state for some time now, and it seems this red fog has completely enveloped it. If left as is, I do believe that matters will take a turn in an unfavorable direction for you and your friends. What? Elizabeth, do you know something? Is you, Senpai? Is everyone okay? My, why are you asking me? When it comes to searching for your friends, I recall your power being uniquely suited to the task. I can't find anything in all this fog. It's no use. I see. In other words, you are grieving for your powerlessness, electing to stand here without attempting to search for your friends on your own. <gasps> what a disappointing turn of events. I have no interest in such a dull person. Please excuse me. Elizabeth! Hmm? What seems to be the matter? I have already lost interest in... No, I just wanted to thank you. I'll try doing what I can. Oh! What a horrific change of heart! Or is that heroic? Either way, it seems you have realized the potential that slumbers within you. Truly impressive. But if you were to encounter a shadow right now, your current strength would not be sufficient to fully beat the snot out of it. Huh? Which is why I have the sudden urge to test whether your resolve is truly sincere. Wait, what are you... Please, do not waste your breath as I come at you. Your fate is in the cards. I will not miss again. I hope you are prepared. Persona! No way! My persona? <laughs> I'm starting to grow excited. I must say it's been rather a long time since I last felt this exhilarated. I am going to do this. <laughs>
okay. I can do this now. From here on out, I've made my decision. I'm going to stay and protect everyone. Now, show me the transformation of the potential within you. Burn it into my memory. I... I won? Truly impressive. You have indeed shown me the power of mankind's potential. Um, why did you help me out? Help you? Hmm. I didn't even have the shiniest intention of helping you. But I didn't know that my persona could do that stuff. Isn't that why you helped me? I see. That was not my intention at all. But if you say so, then I'm starting to get the sense that it may be true. In which case, it would only be natural to demand worthy compensation for such assistance. Huh? Wait, are you asking me for money? Or perhaps your soul? Whoa, definitely not. A ticket to your comeback concert would do as well. Oh, I could probably swing that. Hmm, no. I believe I shall ask for this world's future instead. That's pretty vague. Either way, it is decided. A struggle between solitude and bonds. The two great potentials of mankind is about to begin. I have no intention of assisting either side. But neither can I dismiss the contest as irrelevant to me. You lost me there. But what you're talking about is why this town got messed up, right? Indeed. Whether your bonds will win the day, or whether that young man's solitude will emerge victorious. I am massively intrigued as to how this struggle will end. That young man... Whoa, are you talking about the culprit behind this? Dear me, I've accidentally slipped up. In any case, please look over there. I believe that is where the final battle will take place. It seems a number of your friends are already headed that way. What will you do, Miss Rosette? I'll go too, so I can fight with them. A perfect answer. I give you a gold star. Well then, I bid you good luck, Miss Rosette. Senpai, everyone, wait for me! The town becomes a labyrinth as the clock strikes midnight. It's just like the dark hour described in those documents. No one's here yet. I'd have thought someone would have come straight to Juness. Calm down. If I start worrying, there'll be no end to it. Still, it may be best to try not to breathe it in to the extent I can avoid it. Huh? Now, Tokun? Huh? Chie-senpai, is that you? Hmm? Uh-huh. Why? Thank goodness you're safe. What about the others? How should I know? They've got nothing to do with me. My senses seem untampered with. From which I take it that you are not Chie-senpai. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Little old me? I'm Chie Satanaka. Though no, I'm a fake one. Based on the real Chie. I see. So you make no effort to hide your true nature. And? What are your intentions? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I came to fight you. Are you? Rather, is the culprit who created you the same one who sees Labrys? Or is it an accomplice of his? <laughs> you really are sharp, aren't you, now, Tokun? But who cares about any of that? Persona! What? <laughs> Did I surprise you? Oh, sorry, I meant it as a little greeting. It seems the circumstances are different from before. What sort of scheme is unfolding now? Uh, uh. Solving that's supposed to be the detective's job. And if you don't hurry and get ready, you'll get yourself hurt. So you have no intention of providing answers. Very well. Ooh, now that's our Nauchan. It's so convenient for us that you catch on quick. Is that General Teddy? You understand without me having to explain, right? Thanks for participating in the P1 Climax. Now then. On to Nauchan's first round. 
Obviously, this is a serious battle with nowhere to run! Oh, uh, by the way, Michon and the others you're looking for were smushed and captured by me, General Teddy. In other words, if you keep winning in the tournament, you might be able to save them! <laughs> Oh, and you can use your persona too now, Tokim. Well then, bring on the ring! It seems I haven't time to waste, so I won't bother holding back. Persona! Great! That's the Nato Kun I know! That makes it even more fun crushing you! I wouldn't be so certain. You can never win against me. Oh, I lost. Well, I guess that's enough. enough. As I said, you cannot win against me. Our forms can be mimicked, but you can never replicate our inner drive. This is a setup. What is that? Is that the hill where Yasogami High is? The orbs of light are gathering there. Is the culprit of this case intending to... I must ask that you not needlessly inquire further. Now is not yet the time. <gasps> Naoto Shirogane, you will be making your exit here. Die. No way! Why is it Dachi son? Could he be a fake? A huh? fake? Oh, right. I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> Why are you here? Huh? Oh, <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved, but someone begged me to help out. And you know, I'm not the kind of guy who can say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Hmm? Have you guys already met? Oh, man. Doesn't matter. Don't tell me you're working with the culprit this time, too. Ah, uh, well, what do you think? Don't play dumb. If I don't like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on. Aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are. You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't you? You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? Adachi san, you said you would abide by the rules of this world. So why are you here? Rules. Rules, eh? Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Oh, man. I see you never learn. The only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. All the questions about what he's after or what's gonna happen to this town... I don't give a damn about any of it. What's he saying? Adachi, you lousy... Whoa, whoa, give me a break. I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like, I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here. Because that's how you think. The rules here? You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's gonna happen because of that. Honestly, rats like you barely even think. What's that supposed to mean? Like I keep saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it could bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those Persona fragments by now. <laughs> huh? Uh? Have we been inadvertently helping him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. What was that just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you, I guess. Oh, and... Your friends who got caught, 
They might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait! What's that supposed to mean? It means just what it sounds like. Then again, I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> Okay, Yosuke? This actually hurts more than you think. I mean, when did these get set up? How much longer are you gonna make me wait? You better entertain me at the very least. Welcome to this special ring. This place is truly a square jungle. It sure brings back memories. Yeah, it really takes me back. Master? Fake Akihiko san. Don't you all long for the tensing of muscles and the clenching of fists? It's only seconds away. Step forward if you want to taste the match. Looks like we don't have much time. Hey, hey, hold on a sec. Adachi said something about persona fragments earlier. What did he mean? Last time, Sho tried to get powerful shadows by shaking us up so our personas would turn back to their original form. And this time, he's lured us into this red fog and made us fight our fakes so we can carve off persona fragments in the process. Oh, you mean those balls of light that pop out when we fight against the fakes? Probably, yeah. Sho is trying to do something with the persona fragments he's collecting. But what, though? Is he gonna make a new persona for himself with them? I don't know. But all the persona fragments I saw so far were headed to the top of this tower. We might find our answers there. Sheesh, these hallways are too long. How far do they go? You'd think we'd have gotten to the stairs by now, at least. Maybe just running down the hallways won't work. Why don't we try going into the first open room we see? I mean, this place was connected in some messed up ways during the last P1 Grand Prix. You do have a point. But there's tons of classrooms here. Should we just start with the closest one? Whoa, bingo! Oh, good job, Yosuke! I still don't like this plan. We're gonna have to check every door we find from here on out. Don't worry, you can do it, Yosuke. Yeah, we'll be okay if we got Yosuke with us. What's with the blind trust in me? I don't remember you guys being such goody-goodies. What are you doing, Yosuke? Come on, you better hurry up! Why isn't anyone listening to me? Don't you think it's weird that you're about to leave me behind after saying all that nice stuff? All these persona fragments. <laughs> what, what do you care? Win or lose, you're all gonna die anyways. <gasps> I got nothing to tell you. Now, bring on the ring! I'm a weapon, a special destroyer made only to eliminate the enemy. Underestimate me? And you'll end up with more than just a stretch.
no! The Persona Fragments! It's fine. We just need to hurry on ahead. We're out of time. Yeah! Still, it's so frustrating! Hey, something just crossed my mind. Personas were originally our shadows, right? Mm hmm? What's this all about? No, oh, I was thinking about what the culprit's after. I wondered why he'd be so hell-bent on our personas. Huh? Well, think about it. There's a bunch of shadows in the TV world, so why is he so fixated on our personas? Good question. There must be a reason he's targeting our personas in particular. Some reason why it can't be just any old shadows? Hmm. You dodged. Such a struggle you put up. You're wasting my time. Who are you? I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. I am the one who will destroy you, the Kirijo fools, and this world. Uh, so, you're the ones who captured Mitsuru-san and... Yes, I caught them off guard, just as I did with you here. It seems you're not very perceptive. Though your intuition is impressive, for you to discern our plan after only one battle. It's an absurd scheme. What are you trying to summon with that tower? Don't get me wrong. That in itself is not my objective. All I want is to grant a wish. A wish? Whose? There's no need for you to know. You kidnapped Labrys and attempted to collect our personas before, but that's not the case this time. You're using Mitsuru-san and her team as hostages, and you've prepared fake versions of us to fight. Hmm. There's only one reason why you'd create such elaborate imitations of us, even to the point of summoning personas and have them challenge us. You set this entire scenario up so that we wouldn't think twice about fighting. Again, your intuition is impressive. By forcing you to fight in this fog, I am carving off bits of your personas. Carving off our personas? I've said too much. It seems our guests of honor have arrived. I enjoyed my time with you. If the opportunity arises again, I'd like to speak with you further. Guests of honor have arrived. I've been waiting for you, Shadow Operatives. Who are you? Why are you doing all this? Who am I? Hmm? That constant question. It's quite intriguing that a machine created for suppressing shadows would ask it, though. What? But first, let me see the rest of you. He's winding up for another one! We're getting off, Koromaru! <laughs> Whew, 
That was close. But now that we're here, you don't get to do whatever you want anymore. Naoto Shiragane, right? Are you all okay? We'll handle this. <laughs> Labrys, I'm trusting Naotokun with you. Gotcha! You don't have to worry about a thing now. So you're our enemy. You won't escape now. The players have finally gathered. It's nice to meet you. I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. Welcome to his world. I wanted to meet you all, especially Kirijo. You are the ones who killed his father, after all. What's he talking about? Who knows? I don't really care, either. I have no intention of fighting you now. I only wished to see your faces. I'll be heading back now. Take your time here. Don't, don't get, get the, the wrong, wrong idea. idea. I'll, I'll be your opponent. What the? What's going on? Another now, Tokun? <laughs> Don't be deceived. That's an imitation of me. An imitation? Huh. That sounds like the kind of dirty trick they pull. Huh. It, it seems, seems I'll be facing, facing those who are participating in the Grand Prix, Prix for, for the first time. time. I hate to waste time. time. So, so let's, let's simply begin, begin now. Bring on the ring! Everyone, get away from me! Hurry! <gasps> Yukari-san, Kodamaru, spread out! What's going on? Wait, what the? Where's the culprit? What? Wait, when did he? <laughs> like I said, I'll be your opponent. Don't worry. A version of myself so close to death. And a machine who's just joined the Shadow Operatives would be pretty sorry prey. So just this once, while no attacks are still allowed from outside the ring, I'll agree to fight whoever enters the arena. Though, of course, once you pass those red pillars, invisible walls prevent anyone from leaving until I'm defeated in single combat. Invisible walls. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. No! This is just like the last P1 Grand Prix. Except we're in the real world. Hello! General Teddy here. Long time no see, Labby-chan! No. Oh, don't look so shocked. Let's see if I can guess what you were thinking. No! You're supposed to be my shadow. What? Or something like that. Is that Inaba's persona user, Teddy? He doesn't look like a bear to me. He just looks like a plush mascot. Is he dressed up like that on purpose? Oh. You there! Silence in the peanut gallery! How dare you call my bona fides into question? I'll have you know I look bearific! Crap, he heard me. This is your last chance to push your luck like that. Labby Chan and Now Chan aren't getting out of here until you win a one on one fight. So, are you okay with that? Are you gonna move on without your friends? Hurry up and decide whether you're gonna enter the ring or not! Will you shut up? Fine, let's do this. I'll go in and. No, please move on. Huh? You can't let him provoke you. The culprit's aim is to make us fight against our doubles, thereby carving off our personas. Carve off our personas? Mitsura-san and the others are within the tower on the hill. It won't be easy, but try and avoid combat with the imitations as you rescue them. Okay, Labrys, we're leaving the rest to you. Oh. What's this? They left you behind. I guess that's the extent of this friendship you go on about. That's not true. What about it is not true? For it seems to me that the others moved on, leaving you two alone. You clearly have no understanding of the bonds between people. Yeah, what she said. They didn't ditch us. Yukari-san believes in me, so that's why she trusted me to take care of Naoto-kun. And that's why I'm gonna make sure to knock you out of the park myself. What a fantastic battle! You must have gathered a good many Persona fragments just from that alone.
<laughs> was it okay, Naltokun? We ended up fighting this thing. There was no getting around it. Our enemy has Mitsurasan, her friends, and this town hostage. Besides, we had no means of escape. So, everything was set up perfect. Who do you think that Minazuki guy is? I don't know, but... <gasps> Naoto-kun! Thank you, Labrys. You truly saved my life. Come on, no need to thank me. I told you it was my turn to help you guys out. But what about you, Kunanan? Just like I thought. Though that fake you was a tough customer. What in the world are they? The imitations seem to be crafted from shadows. I'm astonished that they can even copy our persona abilities. But that aside, let's hurry, Labrys. There's actually something I couldn't tell you, Kari-san, earlier. Huh? What's that? It's that young man Minazuki's true objective. He's gathering persona fragments from us in an attempt to summon something hideous. Something hideous? Indeed. He'll use the tower looming on the hill, just as Tartarus was used when Mitsurasan and her friends were in high school. I don't know what in particular he intends to bring forth, but there's no denying that his aim is something along those lines. Really? Oh, yeah. I actually felt something odd about that guy myself. Odd? In what way? Well, when I got close to him, I felt something strange. It was exactly like the feeling I get from those plumes of dusk we have as cores. Oh. Does this mean he had a plume of dusk in his possession? Not exactly. It wasn't that he had one on him. It was more like it was synced up with his heart. It felt just like ours do. Synced with his heart? We'll never lose. You saw us fight earlier, right? Yukari-san and Ken-kun can really kick some ass. It seems you've made some wonderful friends, Labrys. Huh? Oh, uh, huh. You think it's okay for me to think of them that way? It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> That's how it is at the start. Once you come to realize it, though, you'll find that it turns to a warm feeling within you. Huh. Is that how it was for you, Naotokun? Who knows? Perhaps it was. Let's go rendezvous with the others. <sighs> was your school always this big? I think I'm done for. Look! My legs are turning into twigs! They were twigs to begin with. Quit your whining and get moving. Uh, I know. Uh. If the school was always this big, I'd be late for class every day. That's what you're worried about? Man, how the hell is this place hooked up? Oh, could we try opening up a window and climb up the walls? Chan, that's against the rules! Huh? The imposter's showing its face again! If you don't give up now, you're gonna get more than just a beating! What are you talking about, you moron? I'm the one who wants to punish you! Shouldn't you all be trying harder than this? Don't you understand the situation you're in? If you don't hurry, the world really is going to end! Yet you keep dallying around and wandering all over. None of you have any guts, I say. Shut up. Do you want to end the world or not? Which is it? If you didn't want us to get lost, you should have made us a straight path, damn it. That would defeat the purpose of the P1 climax. It's only natural for the bad guys to be mean. <laughs> Fine. Now hear this. I, General Teddy, I'm going to give you a warning because I'm so tear-jerkingly nice. Open up those tiny ears. If you don't hurry up at once, the lives of the captive princesses will be in danger soon. What? Oh! Yuki-chan.
John? What was that for? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Looking at that teddy made me angry for some reason. How tyrannical! The bear on screen and adorable little moi are totally unrelated! Adorable little moi is totally unrelated! Grr, don't copy me! Don't copy me! <laughs> Looks like we better hurry and find Mitsuru-san and rescue her gang, too. You're right. We should focus on that before we head higher up. All righty, then. Time to open up my bear nose once again. Wait, huh? <laughs> Why do you keep turning our way when you sneeze? It's no use. The red fog's been so thick ever since we got into this building. My nose isn't working at all. Try harder, Teddy. Hmm. Well, if Yuki-chan gave me a big, fat kiss, I think I could try harder. Enough of this bullshit! Hurry up and put that nose of yours to work! M -m my nose is very delicate! Searching through this fog makes my sneezing unstoppable! Don't worry, Teddy. I have lots of tissues. Yuki-chan, are you doing that on purpose? I don't need tissues! I need smooches! You can do this! Right, Teddy? Beep! Pay me no mind! Hmm, Teddy knows full on searching! Hmm, I do sense something, but. What? Oh, here we go! I smell something like Michon and her friends from over there! Oops. Bastard! You got your snot all over me! You're doing this on purpose, huh? Who's that? Ah! We found a crucified Aki! Hang in there! <gasps> Akihiko-san! What a horrible thing to do! Hey, Pops! Are you the goddamn culprit? Pops? You mean me? Shh, shh. Youngins these days are so rude. Huh? Is he really the culprit in this? He seems a little flaky. Trash talking me already, huh? I'm the lethal weapon of the Shadow Operators. Junpei Ori's fake. Oh, so you're a fake? We don't actually know the real one, so how shocked should we act at learning you're the fake? No two ways about it. He's a dumbass. Shut up! Anyway, your game ends here. Here goes! Play ball! Hold it right there! The real Junpei Iori, at your service! Huh? Yuck! Oh, he fell on it! He's not moving at all. I guess he's out cold. Oh, oh man. man, so lame. That's the original me? Enough of your damn mumbling! I'll crush you like an egg, so let's get to it! Mm-hmm. We need to make him take responsibility for doing such a horrible thing to Akihiko-san. I don't really care about Aki, but I never forgive an evildoer! Wow, they're totally pissed. Good thing the rule say this has to be one on one. All right, youngins, feel free to come at me. All right, in your face, damn it.
Uh, Junpei Iori at your service! Ah. Do you think he's okay? In any sense, I mean. Uh, I don't know. Akihiko-san! Are you okay, Akihiko-san? Damn it! Who did this to you? Um, you're one of the shadow operatives, right, Junpei-san? Huh? Yeah, I am, but... How do you guys know about that? Hey, weren't you using Personas, too? So that's how Akihiko-san got caught. I'm still kind of fuzzy on this stuff about the TV world and whatnot, but... I think I get the gist of it. Oh, right. I never introduced myself properly. I'm Junpei Iori. People call me the Shadow Operative's lethal weapon. Thanks for sticking up for Akihiko-san earlier. Uh... I'm Yukiko Amagi, a third year at Yasugami High. Sup? I'm Kanji Tatsumi, a second year. And, uh, who's this Blue Daruma doll? Who are you calling a Blue Daruma doll? I'm an Adora Bear. Adora Bear? Oh, is that one of the monsters that shows up in Featherman? <laughs> How could you not know how popular I am, you sweaty, bearded batter? Oh, what's with all the ruckus? I'm trying to sleep here. Akihiko-san! Aki! You're awake! Oh, thank goodness he's alive! He wouldn't come around. I was getting worried, man. Relax. I was just taking a nap to get back some of the energy they stole. But hey, it's been a while, Junpei. Were you the only one they called out? Uh, actually, I was more of a lone samurai. I got a call from Yucatan, but my phone ran out of juice during the call. <laughs> when I got here, something weird had happened to the town. I thought everyone was headed for this Tartarus-looking tower, so I came to check it out. Oh, a Yucatan should be with Ken, Koromaru, and this Labrys girl, who I guess is Igus' sister. I never met her, though. Even Ken got called up? Oh, man, I'm ashamed of myself. But why did you come to Inaba? Did you find out something about Labrys's case? Well, we heard that the Shadow Presence had ramped up in Inaba. We were headed here to look into why that happened. But while we were on our way, our car got ambushed and... Well, you know the rest. Damn it! That culprit's one sick bastard! How dare he torture you! Huh? They didn't torture me or anything. They didn't? But you're wounded all over, and your clothes are all ripped up. My clothes? What about my clothes? Uh... uh, uh... What are you saying, Junpei? Aki always looks like... God damn it, Ted! Shut your damn mouth! Huh? huh? Oh, I get it. Yeah, uh, never mind, Akihiko-san. Uh, sorry for talking weird like that. Oh, that reminds me, though. This feels like that other thing we know all too well. Is it just me? So, you notice too. I mean, it's like, this is the dark hour, right? Dark hour? What's that? Basically, the dark hour is a hidden time that ordinary people don't know about. We fought once to get rid of it, but that used to only last about an hour every night. What's happening to this town doesn't seem so simple. <gasps> that reminds me, General Teddy mentioned something like that. It's the end of the world. One-on-one -on -one death match that's worthy of the name Climax. And best of all, if you don't win the one-on-one -on -one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end. No punches pulled this time. That's not good. We have to meet up with Mitsuru and the others as soon as possible. You haven't said a word all this time. Stop being so quiet and say something fun. Dude, you're asking too much. I've got no energy to spare for that right now. Yeah, but being quiet gets me all anxious. Don't you have anything? 
some inside info on discounts at the Juness Deli? Thank you for shopping. It's always Customer Appreciation Day at Juness. Wait, just talking about meat boosts your spirits? Of course it does. Oh, meat. That tender juiciness makes me so <laughs> Someone's here. <sighs> I am getting so bored. I should just go take out a couple of them. Whoa, hold on there. There's no need to get hasty when the plan's going so well, right? It'd be easier to just sit back and wait. Huh? Where is this? Was there some place like this at our school? What are you talking so big for? Want me to stick my sword through your ears? Ah, ooh, scary. Can't you calm down a bit? You won't beat anyone like that. And you came to get me because you needed me, no? You sure it's a good idea to kill me just because I rub you the wrong way? Cripes, what a wet blanket. Did you just come from a picnic out in the rain or something? <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. That guy has nothing to do with this. I can kill anyone I want if I feel like it. Then go on ahead. It's easy, right? Have you actually killed anyone before? Ugh. This guy's really pissing me off. Hey, is that show guy insane? He's laughing and joking one second, and then the next, he pulls out his swords. Are they bickering with each other? And what was that about that guy? Look, there's no need to fight. Once it descends, after all, the world's going to totally disappear. Why spend your time dealing with them, you know? Just ignore those kids. Uh, that's not the problem. I look at those guys, and I can't stop gagging. They just herd together like best buds. I don't know why they're so full of themselves. It makes me want to beat the shit out of them. Get them to cry like babies. You get me? Do you? Yosuke Chie, get back! <laughs> You're so lame! Such a frickin' irritating bunch! I hate to even look at you! I just want to see you completely destroyed! Show me Nazuki. What are you planning? Huh? Weren't you listening? I'm gonna get rid of all you disgusting pests and make this a world I can stand to live in. W what? Don't be ridiculous. That won't help anybody but you. Yeah? So what? Of course it only helps me. I'm saying you're disgusting, so you should all just die. This isn't funny anymore. You're totally nuts. Are you saying that nothing else matters as long as you're satisfied? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, duh. Friends, bonds, you worthless pests aren't accomplishing anything but licking each other's wounds. Shitty pests in this shitty world have no goddamn call to give me their shitty lectures. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get rid of every shred of everything. You little... You really are a piece of shit that's not worth saving. You've got no right to do that. The world will be much quieter soon. Just like here. A wonderful place where there's no one else. It's all for me! What? A world with no one else? Ugh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Just hurry up and get smashed to pieces, you shitty pests! Whoa, whoa, what are you getting all worked up for? You really shouldn't do that. And you shut up too, you piece of shit! Come get me, I'll beat the life out of you! You'll be begging for mercy! There's no way I'm gonna let him win. I can't believe our town is such a mess because of that guy. There's no way I'm sitting back and letting it happen. <laughs> I'm with you. We'll show you with our own fists how strong you can be when you have something to protect. Show strong. Don't let your guard down. Yes. <laughs> 
you little... What did I tell you? This is because you kept using those weird powers. You got all puffed up because of someone else's gift. Are we fighting you next, Adachi-san? Huh? Oh man, don't be ridiculous. Why would I do something that hard? Hard? Aren't you supposed to be on show's side? Show's side? <laughs> Give me a break. Come on. Isn't there someone else besides me you should be worrying about? Someone we should worry about. Oh! You mean that guy Show mentioned? Damn, so he does have an accomplice. Persona. You move! You can! Yosuke! Chie! this? It's just like the TV world. P1 Climax? So someone's holding one of those events in the real world? Come, Persona! Kari John! You Kari John! Are you. Someone! Voice. Focus on? Focus on! Focus on! Hang on, I'll come free you! Rise san? No, don't! You have to stay back! Huh? Ah! That was close! What's going on here? Huh. Looks, Looks like, like you, you have a good sense for these things. things. No I'm wonder you're their backup. backup. What? Feather Pink? No! Rize-san! That's... Uh... Focus on! Take it easy! Please move aside! I need to free her! Then that makes us enemies. I hope you're prepared, show this fiend! I, Feather Pink, shall strike you down! Rise-san! Please, run! You have to get help! Oh, you're, you're not, not running, running away? away. <laughs> then, then we may as well get started. Get started. Bring, Bring on the ring! <gasps> Peace and quiet at last. Now, are you ready? Persona! Ready? And action! Persona! Hey, are you sure you should be here? Why not leave this stuff to us and do your thing from a safe distance? Isn't that all an idol's good for? You're more like a mascot than a member of the team, so you really shouldn't be out on the front. I won't make any excuses. You're right. But no matter what you say, I won't let you beat me!
Okasan, are you all right? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Risei-san. So you can fight with your persona now? That's amazing. Oh, that's right, Yukari-chan. Risei-san, she needs your help more than I do. She guarded me and... You mean that lady in pink? Okay, one sec. Huh? Where's the fake me? I have to say Fuka! Wait a minute. Huh? Yukari-chan, Risei-san here saved me. I'm sorry for what you went through because of me. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry I worried you too. I got caught totally off guard. Um, Risei-san? Thanks. Whoa, wait! Are you the real Rosette? You're so thin! And look at how small your face is! Oh, yeah. Um, I still don't really understand what's going on here. Dress like that, Yukari-chan. It looks really well made. Huh? You're just noticing this now? Well, there's something of a story behind it. I've worn costumes from time to time too, but that one's pretty cool. It's pink and cute. Maybe I should try wearing it in a show. Transformation activate! Feather change! <laughs> or something like that. What a pro. You're pretty focused on work, aren't you? Say, didn't I hear that you're making a comeback? It must be tough to balance with school and whatnot. Homework and idol work. <laughs> you could say that again. But I don't mind so much since I have fun with all of it. That's so cool. High school girls sure are spirited. I envy your youth. <laughs> you work hard too, you know, Yukari-chan. Nah, I just do some modeling here and there. It just so happened I got the feather pink role in an audition. Oh, you're a model? Wait, and you're the real feather pink? Wow, that's incredible. I'm so jealous of how great you look. Do you have to watch what you eat too? Oh, of course. Oh, speaking of food, I found this great place that serves delicious lunch specials the other day. Wait, no, now's not the time to talk about that stuff. I'll try searching around here. Focus on, will you help me out? Mm-hmm, of course. I'm all right now. I don't know exactly where, but I sense someone nearby. It seems your friends are here as well, Risei-san. Senpai's here? Great! I knew they'd get here. Fuka, can you tell where everyone is? I still think we should meet up with them. It might be hard by myself, but... Persona. I found you, Senpai! And Yosuke Senpai and Chie Senpai? Yikes, who's this? It's not Teddy. I sense a familiar presence near Aigis and Akihiko Senpai. I think they'll be okay. Let's see where Mitsudu Senpai is. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. That startled me, though. It came from further up. From the top? What could it be? Damn it! What the hell's going on? Yukiko, how many doors are there in the music room at your school? Right. There's the door we came through, and... Ah! There should be a door that leads to the prep room in the back. All right. Junpei, look for that door. It should be around here somewhere. Huh? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, is this it? Whoa. What is this? It's kind of creepy. Labby-chan! Are you doing okay right now? I'm really worried about you. Teddy. Ah! 
Stupid kanji. What, what was that for? Toughen up, Ted. What good is it gonna do you to mope like that? <sighs> You're Lapras's buddy. She said herself that she was gonna do her best. If you don't believe in her, who will? Kanji! <laughs> God damn it, don't get your runny nose on me! Ugh, you're so gross! <laughs> you guys get along really well, huh? But we're running out of time. Let's get moving. Roger that. All right! I'm totally on fire! We're gonna go and kick this culprit's booty! <laughs> the blue Daruma doll's pretty pumped up. Oh, hey, there's a door over here, too. Junpei! Ah! Junpei flew away! Kanji, hurry up and save him! This place... It's the Moonlight Bridge! Huh? That huge bridge in the city? Why is it here in Inaba? Wait, is it that... <gasps> Tigus. I'll go. I might be able to reach her with my persona. Nope, nope! I'll be the one to rescue her! I'll set Aichan free and get a kiss of thanks! Oh. You're going nowhere. If you think that things will be that easy, you're greatly mistaken. Ken? And Koromaru, too! Long time no see, Sanada-san. You should say hello, too, Koromaru. You think I'm just a child from the way I look, don't you? But let me make one thing clear. Don't underestimate me. Okay, so that's what's going on here. Stay back, you guys. Oh, uh. Akihiko-san! <clears throat> You must know the rules by now. Decide who will be representing you. If possible, I prefer not to fight someone who's injured, like him. It's no fun at all for me to beat up on someone who isn't in perfect condition, you know. Wow, he's not cute at all. Oh, but I guess that makes it easier to deal with him? Yuki-chan! I think your Snow Black side's showing itself a little. Hey, little punk. What gives bringing the mutt into a one-on-one -on -one fight? Huh? Oh, this thing? Don't worry about it. I, I should, should get a handicap, handicap right? right? I, I mean, mean, since, since I'm, I'm just, just a child. child. Yeah, you little. This strong. strong. I, I didn't, didn't fight because I wanted to, you know. He forced me to do this. Hey, these guys really are fakes, right? There's no chance that they're real? Huh? No, that's not possible. Oh, but the fake ones disappear as soon as they're defeated. Huh? That is weird. But all I'm getting with my nose is the smell of a shadow. <laughs> hey, you three, don't let your guard down. It's not, son. It's too late now. <laughs> Damn it!
Honestly, aren't you supposed to be the adults here? You let your guard down much too soon. Hmm, several of you I don't think I've met before. I'm the real Kenamata, and this is Kuramaru. Oh, you're the real Ken-kun. It's nice to meet you. Oh, and you too, Kuramaru-san. Watching you was pretty nerve-wracking. Do you understand what you were doing? It's unbelievable not paying attention during a fight. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, too. Th this kid's even brattier than the fake. <laughs> You've stepped up your game, Ken. That was an impressive strike. It's good to see you again, Sonata-san. As you can see, Koromaru's been well, too. <laughs> I've heard about you all from Labra-san. A real talking costume, huh? I'm not a costume. I'm an all-natural, totally adorable raw bear! What the hell's a raw bear? Look, look, I'll let you touch it a little bit. Wanna feel my fur? Uh, that, that's all right. I, I'm not interested. Still, it's amazing to see a dog use a persona. Come here, Chosokabe. Please don't call Koromaru by that weird name. He's not sure how to react. Sorry to cut this short, but we have to move, Ken. How's the situation? We met up with Naoto-san on a rooftop somewhere, and Labra should be on the move with her as we speak. Yukari-san and I avoided fighting there and left. We split up to search for Mitsuru-san, but I can't say that it's going well. So Naoto-kun and Labra's are okay. Thank goodness. Labby-chan's here too? <laughs> when I see her, I want to give her a big fluffy bear hug. Fluffy, you say? Uh, <clears throat> Hey, that reminds me. Where's Junpei? Huh? I can't believe I forgot! I have to rescue Aichan! Thank you for rescuing me, everyone. And Ken-san, Koromaru-san, it's been a while. Aiga-san, I'm so glad that you're safe. Yes, Kurumaru-san. Junpei-san climbed the bridge and rescued me. I am a guy who gets things done when it comes down to it. <laughs> is that so? Looks to me like Aigis is the one helping you out, Junpei. After Junpei-san destroyed the cross I was bound to, he slipped and fell off the bridge. So I rescued him. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's really been a day for me falling off of things. Ah, so that's why you're in that position. You haven't changed at all, Junpei-san. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Junpei-san is the disgraced detective as always. Uh, I don't think that's an actual detective. Either way, I'm glad you're safe. Looks like Yukari and Labras are here too. So let's go save Mitsuru and Fuka and get this over with. Hey, you guys. Yeah. What what's up? Hurry up and get ready. We're leaving in a few. Hmm? Well, you weren't gonna stay put, right? Then come with us. Roger that. Um, are you sure? Mitsuru-san told us to. Isn't it a little late for that? And since Mitsuru and Fuka aren't around right now, we need Teddy Teddy's help. Come on, you're in it this deep. You might as well see it through. Starting to get fired up! Leave it to me! I'll sniff Michan out! How very reliable. So Akihiko-san's Aki and Mitsuru-senpai is Michan, huh? This bear Daruma really isn't scared of anything, is he? All right! My nose is gonna shine! Huh? I smell something gathering up there. What's this? Dude, this again? He said up there, though. Could he mean the rooftop after all? You know, when I rescued Igus earlier, I saw these giant stairs going up on the other side of the bridge. That's it! Good job, Junpei! I'm gonna rescue Michon and get rewarded with a kiss! Still a carefree bunch, aren't they? Just don't blame me if you end up getting executed. Such trouble you've caused. Thanks to you, I'm forced to show myself.
Who are you? I'm Sho Minazuki. We are Sho Minazuki. I see. So there are two personalities within you. You have a split personality. No way! Seriously? That isn't strictly correct. I awakened within this child, and I exist to grant his wish. That's why I'm using that thing. That thing? This child's heart was warped due to great suffering at the hands of man. I must eradicate all that lives to win back peace for him. What good will it do to make the world that way? Humans can't live on their own. That's your perspective. He's unlike you, though, and requires help from no one. Are you that scared of a world with no allies? No, you're wrong. People grow by living together with others. That's how they're able to better themselves. As I said, that's your perspective. Sadly, you have no more friends to save you. Seeing as none of them are rushing in, your other friends must have fallen somewhere along the line. <laughs> You shouldn't try and act tough. You're on the brink of death. What use would you be? Actually, perhaps you were a hindrance to begin with. Isn't that right, Narukami? Since you seem more accomplished than them. <laughs> Narukami, why not cast them aside? Then you'll be able to fight freely. Or... Are you unable to fight properly without these bonds you speak of? <laughs> your weakness is propped up by others, as is the rest of yours. Protecting your wounded comrades will result in your death. You forget about us! You at least gotta... That's right! Don't let us drag you down! What? What are you saying? How does it feel? You are about to be slain because of your precious friends. These are indeed bonds, but only in the sense that they restrain you. Don't you think it would be better to remain alone? Persona. Izanagi! Persona! Persona! <laughs> Yukun! Senpai, are you alright? Yeah. More imbeciles. It seems deploying doppelgangers made from shadows wasn't enough. Don't move. Get away from Yukun, or I won't show any mercy. No need for histrionics. I'll concede now without them. Though, should I at least get rid of Narukami first? <laughs> Sounds like a bad plan. Haven't you ever heard the saying, the cornered stag is most dangerous? I don't think you have time or energy to waste. No. Why are you here? What is the shaking? It's begun. I'll be taking my leave. All that's left is to see this through. Hey, hold it! You truly love to swarm, don't you? You find your strength by herding together. But there are enough Persona fragments now. I have no need to deal with you anymore. This again! I am overtaxed. I've been relying on this borrowed power too much. 
But now is not the time to hold back. I'll take over from here. Let's begin. Bring on the ring. Mitsuru-san? No, that's a fake. W where's Minazuki? He's gone already. Hey, not to butt in, but don't you think you're in over your heads a little this time? Didn't you see his power? You're up against more than just that brat. I mean, don't you think it's a little late? He said he has all the persona fragments he needs. So all that's left is to summon that thing, and then jam the fragments he's gathered into. That might have hurt. What was that for? You, you speak too much, much imbecile. imbecile. Should, Should I deal I with you instead? instead? Whoa, no way! Where'd you get that idea? All right then. I did try to warn you guys. Now it's time for your execution. I'll send you all to the afterlife, one after another. In any case, let's sort the situation out. Sho is conspiring with the other Minazuki, and they enveloped this town in red fog. They then set things up so that we would fight our fakes here. When Persona users fight inside the red fog, their Persona is carved off into fragments, which are being harvested at the top of this tower. So the whole time, this P1 Climax was just to gather our Persona fragments, right? Right. And Sho and Minazuki are planning on using the Gather Persona fragments on whatever it is they're summoning with this tower. But what's Sho going through so much fuss to summon? How they intend to use the Persona fragments on this summoned entity, and what effects it'll have, remain to be seen. Yeah, but Minazuki said he was going to eradicate all living things by summoning this being. We can't let that happen. Minazuki's trying to fix it so no one else but Sho exists anymore, right? That's pretty serious. <laughs> If that's what he's up to, we don't have much time left. We gotta hurry and stop him! Oh, hold on a sec. Um, there's something I was wondering about. Huh? What is it? Yeah. Um, that Minazuki guy told you he didn't have a split personality. Right, Yukun? Yeah, I definitely heard him say that. And, um, that's what made me think that maybe there's a plume of dusk stuck in him. Huh? What do you mean? Well... Well, I told Naoto-kun this before, but the Plume of Dusk has to do with creating iguses in my hearts, right? When I met Minazaki, the Plume of Dusk inside me resonated, like when I first met Igus. So if Sho doesn't have split personality, but that Minazaki was a personality that showed up later, it got me wondering... Huh? But how? Why? No, it's possible, thinking about it. Mitsuru-san suspected that Labrys' kidnapper had ties to the Kirijo group. I looked into it as well, but during the reign of Koetsu Kirijo, Mitsuru-san's grandfather, a CEO of the Kirijo group, they performed many inhumane experiments, which led to the various shadow-related crises that Mitsuru-san's group continues to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised if Sho was a victim of one of the experiments from that time. So, are you saying Sho had one of those plume thingy stuck into him as an experiment? According to my theory, yes. Seriously? Either way, we must hurry on. If we can rescue Mitsuru-san, she may be able to tell us more.
Hey, we're at the end. There's a door. This is the door to the rooftop, right? I'm going to open it. Where is this? It's not part of Yasogami High. That much is certain. I've never seen this area before. Hey! Over there! Is that... Mitsuda-san? Deploying enclosed battlefield. You will go no further. I've been waiting for you, sister. You ain't Igis. You're a fake, too. Indeed, I am a fake, sister. But is the distinction necessary for us? What? We are weapons forged in the shape of humans. Aren't we all fakes from the start? <sighs> fakes of humans. Have you forgotten? We have no comrades. You even fought and killed your sister units, no. <laughs> Damn it, Labrys, don't listen to her! It's okay, Yosuke. What? But... Labrys will be all right. What's wrong, sister? Do you not hate humans? Yeah. I do hate humans. Then? But not like how you mean it. Sister? As much as I got a grudge against humans, it was humans that saved me. Yeah, the ones who made me did horrible things to me. To all the ones of my model, but hating all humans because of them is wrong. I like you, Kun, and Mitsuru-san, and all the rest of them. It ain't right for you to destroy the world they all live in. How unfortunate. I would, I would have thought, thought that you could understand, understand my master. Show Minazuki's desire for solitude. Uh, his solitude? Don't waste your breath. I will see you die here, sister. Naoto, I'm counting on you. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Naoto-kun! Great move, Naoto! You really helped, Naoto-kun? <laughs> Nonsense. Let's make ourselves clear. As long as we're around, we won't allow you to so much as lay a finger on Labrys. I don't know what kind of solitude you or your creator is suffering. But we don't lightly forgive anyone who hurts our friends. Then there is nothing more to discuss. Releasing limiters. Switching to battle mode. Annihilating targets. Mitsuru-san! Where am I? Labrys, you came. Mitsuru-san, are you all right? Y yes. But aren't you all a bit too close? I'm so glad. I'm sorry I'm late. Jeez, look how beat up you are. Thank you, Labrys. Narukami, I thank you and your friends as well. But first, I must apologize. I said I would guarantee your security, but see how that turned out. We had almost identified the culprit, but... <laughs> what are you saying? You don't have to apologize now. Nobody cares. Show me Nazuki, huh? How ironic that he would mimic his father's actions. I see. Shuji Akutsuki was his... The Kirijo group once had a branch specializing in shadow research. It was the Kirijo Ergonomics Research Laboratory, Ergo Research for short. My grandfather, Koetsu Kirijo, provided Ergo Research with a vast budget to perform various experiments over many years. Experiments like Labrys and Igis. 
anti-shadow suppression weapons with humanoid bodies that harbor personas, as well as countless inhumane experiments, such as creating artificial persona users through suppressants. Sho Minazuki. His name was recorded in the Ergo Research Archives as the youngest test subject. Shuji Ikutsuki was the researcher of record. Afterwards, Ergo Research was dissolved in an explosive accident, burying their research. But in the confusion, Ikutsuki saved some of it. And that included Sho Minazuki. Yes, there's more to the story, but I've confirmed this much in what we've deciphered thus far of Ikutsuki's personnel file. Sho Minazuki seems to have been Ikutsuki's favorite test subject. Test subject? But he's a person! How could he do such a horrible thing? The Kirijo group of the time was an evil place, suffused with his arrogance. It isn't hard to imagine how he was treated with Ikutsuki in charge. Minazuki was raised in a solitary environment, never interacting with anyone. I suspect his experiences from that time greatly affected the development of Minazuki's current personality. Hey, Mitsuru-san, these experiments they did on show, were they really related to the Plume of Dusk? That's correct. The central thrust of the experiment was to embed a Plume of Dusk into Minazuki. No way! So that's what the Minazuki personality is? Um, can I ask you something? Do you have any details about whatever it is he's trying to summon? No, I know nothing about that. But if it's similar to what we encountered at Tartarus, it's nothing welcome. That was only to be expected, since Sho's desire is to destroy the world. Senpai, I finally got a hold of you. I'm so glad you're safe. Good voice. Rise, you're all right. Mitsuru Senpai, are you okay? I was worried, you know. Is that you, Yukari? You came. I'm sorry. No, thank you. You're always such a help to me. <laughs> I'm fine too. Kikuno-san has evacuated to safety as well. Yamagishi, thank goodness. It seems I've also put you in danger. Oh no, I forgot to connect you to Kanji and the others. Senpai, Teddy and I guess are safe too. Just a sec, I'll put you in contact with them. Chie! Yukiko? Is that you? I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. Kanji Kun and Teddy are fine too. What about you, Chie? Are you hurt? No, 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 I'm okay. I got a few scratches, but it's no big deal. Huh? Uh, are you sure you're okay? Yo, Senpai! Sorry, we're late. <laughs> Sensei! Damn it, Teddy, I told you to quit rubbing your runny nose on me! Sister, you came to rescue us. Thank you. I'm all right. I guess. Whew. I was really worried about you. Man, it's getting crowded here. You guys really know who's who? You're the only one who doesn't, Junpei-san. Though there are a few I haven't personally met yet either. <laughs> it seems everyone's all right. You have the devil's luck. <laughs> Quite a spirited crowd. But don't let your guard down yet. The battle isn't over. Mitsuru-san, I'd like to talk to you about Sho. You wish to save him yourself? Is that what you were about to say? Uh huh? <laughs> it's written all over your face. It would hardly be a surprise to hear you say it. There are many things to sympathize with regarding Minazuki's past. He too is a victim of the Kirijo group's dark side. Still, that does not give him license to endanger the world or hurt people. It doesn't change the fact that he is an enemy who must be defeated. Yet, you still wish to save him, correct? Yes. Either way, things must be settled with Minazuki. We should brace ourselves. Right, we can't lose this one. Oh, 
Isn't it getting stronger? Huh? Th th this is... Careful, everyone! It stinks of shadows! What? Wait, this can't be! What's wrong, Kujikawa? It's shadows. Countless shadows are gathering at this tower! What? I'm picking up shadow readings! Twenty... Thirty... They keep coming! We can't stop them! The shadows are passing through here. It looks like they're heading to the top of the tower. Wait. What's wrong, Rise? What is this? The shadows that were already at the top are merging together. You have to go, Senpai. We'll hold things here. Huh? What are you surprised for? Of course we'd say that. You're the ones closest to the top. <laughs> You're right. Mitsuru, this is no time to fool around. Leave this to us so you can get to the roof. What? B but... Mitsuru-senpai, you can't lose focus. Don't worry, we're pretty tough. Yukari. All right! It's a bit lonely here, but I'll do my best for your sake, sensei! Teddy... Go, young man! There's no time to be indecisive. The bases are loaded, so go out swinging! Junpei. All three groups separate and intercept the shadows. Yamagishi, Yukari, Kujikawa. Head to the lower levels. Destroy the enemy, but take caution. Akihiko, work with those on the middle level and block as many shadows as you can. Don't bother giving chase to whatever gets past you. We'll remain here and intercept the shadows as Narukami advances to the highest point of the tower. Me? You're the least injured of us all, and considering your skill, you're the most logical choice to send. Please go, Senpai. We'll protect this place. Yeah! I'm getting psyched! Go on ahead, Yukun! Go get him, partner! Make sure you pull this off for our sake! I'm counting on you, Yukun! You can't let Sho get his way! Go put an end to this! You understand, right? Don't do anything reckless. And... I understand. I'll come back. If I can't do it, then I'll ask for help. There's no shame in leaning on your friends, after all. No matter how many times I fail or make mistakes, I can do anything with them. I won't give up. Mm. I knew someone once who I suspect thought the same way. We will clear a path for Narukami. Is everyone in place? Yeah! Yes! Leave it to us. Once we get the signal, everyone attack! Here goes. One, two... <laughs> you seem surprisingly calm. Your third ordeal has arrived. Do you think you can overcome it? I see. Your mind is already made up. And that's a fitting answer for you. What is Sho trying to summon? How is he going to use the Persona Fragments? All I can do is watch over your journey. What is happening in your town must be ascertained with your own eyes. Is Marie all right? Marie is fighting desperately right now. Calamities in your town directly affect her. Your actions will decide the girl's fate. One last thing. The young man who rejects everything and wishes to destroy the world? You hold the key to his salvation. Depending on what you choose, you may be able to awaken him as an official guest.
know how important this thing is. Are you trying to ruin my plan? That's what I said. I tried to destroy those Persona fragments by striking when I saw the chance. You worthless rat. I knew you weren't worth shit. But to think you were biding your time for this. Well... <clears throat> you asked me before. You said, don't you hate this world too? Huh? That's right. Well, you were just trash I was gonna use from the start. Once everything was ready and I cut up the rest of them, I was gonna kill you slow. Still, I at least gave you the chance to have some fun, you piece of shit. I was gonna let your crap slide until I showed you the end of the world you never got to achieve. Why not? Right? <laughs> Don't think we're the same, you little brat. What? What was that? You think the whole world hates you just because someone didn't treat you right. You're nothing but a little kid throwing a tantrum, you know. I seriously hate this world. Don't put me in the same shoes as a half-assed brat like you. Please. <laughs> You're so finished, you bastard. I'll kill you just like you want. <laughs> sure. I'm lame. Whatever. But... You don't know yet, do you? <sighs> Those guys don't play around. You better be prepared. Die, you piece of shit. Stop it, show! Ah, uh, you're early. Way to ruin the moment. Just to be clear, I didn't do it for you guys. I just wanted to set things right for myself. I know. I'm not that type of person. You're such a know-it-all. It's not very attractive. <laughs> What's so funny? What are you guys getting all desperate for? It's disgusting. It makes me sick. I hate it when people get all goody-goody. I'll destroy everything! Everything! I'll, I'll, I'll destroy every... He's getting too worked up. That's a bad habit of his. You must be the other one, Minazuki. I didn't think you would put up this much of a fight. Perhaps I should have killed you back then after all. Minazuki, you said then that you did all this to grant Sho's wish. But this isn't the way to save him! And I said that's your perspective on the matter. All I'm here for is to grant this boy's wish. Do you still not get it? That's not Sho's wish! Are you delusional? I know the boy. I know of his hatred and his suffering. <laughs> his father, Shuji Yakutsuki, abandoned this boy. He used the child for his own desires and then discarded him when he was as good as dead. Shuji Yakutsuki. This is the world that abandoned him. That's why this boy came to detest everything about this world and wished for it all to disappear. No, Sho just doesn't know yet. What he's been through isn't all there is to the world. It's not too late! Silence. I know what I am. I am a shard of one who brings about death. If this boy wishes for the death of all, then I will use my true nature to destroy this world. Voice actor for show, by the way, is probably Todd Cabot. Uh, and for show's sake, too, I will defeat you. Very well. Come and fight.
I'm not done yet. Minazuki, why are you trying to grant Sho's wish? A foolish question. I awakened within this boy. It's only natural for me to grant his desires. Minazuki, you are strong, but you don't realize it either. Your strength. Founded on the strength of your bonds. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what you are. Since you were born from a plume of dusk, maybe you really are a shard of one who brings about death. But no matter how you hurt or how badly you're about to fall, the power that lets you stand up for someone else, that comes from bonds. Impossible. I am this boy's. No one lives alone. You protected Sho and supported him all this time. You should know that by now. <gasps> I see. I... <laughs> What's with this sappy drama? <laughs> You're... Aha! You must be Shochan's Minazuki-kun. You're disqualified from the P1 Climax. Time for you to make your exit! Kagutsuchi, you bastard. Kagutsuchi? <laughs> did you think I didn't know? Of course I did! I knew from the very beginning about your idea to use the power left inside Adachi Baby to suppress me! So you deduced even that? Oh, and... You Narukami! You defeated this fool! So you're the champion of the P1 Climax! Congratulations! Your prize is your execution. <gasps> hmm? Ow! What do you think you're doing? What do you intend to do with this boy, Kagutsuchi? <laughs> what am I going to do? Isn't, Isn't it, it obvious? obvious? I'm, I'm going, going to, to kill him. him. I'll grant, grant that, that brat you're so fond of what he wants. A world of solitude. But I'll be the only one there. It will be a world all for myself, where only I exist. This body had reached its limit anyway. It's only a fake made with shadows, after all. It was never meant to support itself for long. <laughs> Fortunately, a horde of shadows to create a vessel, and persona fragments to control it have been gathered. What? Well done, my puppet. It is thanks to you that everything came together so splendidly. All that's left is to fuse that brat with the shadows as a base, and then devour the persona fragments to inhabit my new corporeal form. <laughs> You, Narukami, I was born when this town was enshrouded in fog. I have quite the connection to all of you. What? I pay no heed to others. I am the collective will of those who abandon all connections and strive to live only for themselves. I will incinerate everything. I will rob, murder, Tremble and cast you humans down into the depths of despair. My name is Hino Kagutsuchi, one who kills all who live in this world. Bastard. Show. How I love to hear that cry, you Narukami. What do you think? I had lent this brat my power, but my full presence is a bit different. You're Kagetsuchi! Don't worry. 
I won't let you die so quickly. You will live to witness my advent, and will be the first sacrifice to my power. I won't let you do this! <laughs> Your nerve astounds me, but I wouldn't be so sure. Your allies are about to be overwhelmed by the flood of shadows. You all fought so long within this red fog, just as I planned. And you are exhausted to your very souls. You have no hope of defeating me now. My first puppet was quite useful for that purpose. I had directed it at you with the aim of harvesting your personas, but... You mean Labrys? Ah, is that what you call it? Had I taken your shadows from my own, their own wills would have made them less obedient than I required. I learned that in the previous battles. Thus did I prepare this fog and my new scheme to carve away at your personas. Personas are the suppressed strength of heart. Nothing is better suited to suppress the will of shadows than that. So that's why! <laughs> <laughs> now is the time for despair. <laughs> this new form that you have given me. Behold it! <laughs> Everyone, lend me your strength. I'll. Possible. What power is this? How can one human's power alone be enough to best me? Hinokagutsuchi, that's what holds you back. The power I wield, the power we wield, it will never succumb to someone like you! Silence, pest! I will not lose! I am stronger than anything! Persona! <gasps> Adachi-san? <sighs> what are you doing? I set everything up perfect for you, and you still didn't finish it off before I woke up. Hey, what are you spacing out for? I don't have time to waste either, so let's hurry up and put it into this! Right. Izanagi! Magatsu Izanagi! Hinokagutsuchi! It's over! My sincere congratulations on winning the P1 Grand Prix. Elizabeth? What are you doing here? Though what you just defeated now was different in form, 
It appeared to be another embodiment of man's consciousness that wishes for death. And suffice to say, I had my own reason to witness its end. Your own reason, huh? That is correct. By the by, you. This tower will disappear momentarily. Huh? Can I ask a favor, Elizabeth? Hmm, a favor? Depending on what you ask, I'll have to demand payment. I'm not sure about that. But can you please send all my friends in this tower somewhere safe? Uh -huh. If that is all you ask, it's as easy to grant as having an orange at a kotatsu. You've actually used a kotatsu? No, it was merely a figure of speech. I've never so much as seen a kotatsu. <sighs> Very well then, I will transport your friends to somewhere safe as you wish. Oh, where would this somewhere safe be? Ah, oh, yes, the perfect place has occurred to me. I shall send you all there. Well then, you. Hasta la vista, baby. Until the day we meet again. Farewell. Well done, Narukami. I'm sorry for the trouble we caused. No, we owe you too. Thank you for stopping the shadows. Wish I could have gone to the top myself, but I'll let you take the glory this time. Thank you, Akihiko-san. My guy keeps saying, this is my world. You have to go through this TV to get out to your world, Junpei. Huh? We go through a TV to get out of the TV? Come on, Blue Daruma, quit kidding around. It's for real. But, huh, now that you mention it, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Going into a TV leads you out of the TV? Jeez, what are you making it all complicated for? It's fine. The TVs are connected. These things only get confusing because you overthink them. Uh, I don't believe this. Look, you just gotta show them. What the? Dude, what are you doing? Whoa, crap! Kanji, that hurt! Don't you know the saying, a head in motion tends to stay in motion? Shut up, it's your fault for rubbernecking. When I stuck my head out, I saw a security guard making the rounds. Huh? <laughs> Junpei, why are you sleeping on the floor? And just when we were trying to explain things to you. Hey, wait a sec. Kanji-kun, did you just say there was a guard out there? Huh? Yeah, so? Then the town's back to normal. The people who disappeared must be safe now, right? Oh, that's right! Good job, Junpei. You did great! Uh, I'm not sure what I had to do with it. All right, it finally feels like we won! We saved the town our very own selves. We did it! <laughs> Show. Come at us however many times you want, but next time, we'll fight one-on-one, -on -one, fair and square. That boy, so he survived. Yes. Regrettably, he is a serious criminal who tried to destroy the world. We cannot leave him be. I understand. But I won't be so stubborn this time. I ask that you all cooperate with us in capturing Minazuki. <laughs> Yes, of course. Leave it to me. My persona's gotten real strong. I'll find that show in no time so Senpai can breathe easier. That reminds me. That dude was wearing our uniform. I guess we should start by beating the crap out of everyone at school? No violence yet, Kanji-kun. An investigation must be carried out based on thorough examination and confirmed evidence. Hmm? Huh? Was he wearing our uniform? 
I didn't notice at all. I remember Minnie's smell, too. <laughs> he can run, but he can't hide from Teddy's nose. Dude, will you stop giving everyone and everything those weird nicknames? Does your nose even work anymore? You've been sneezing this whole time. Huh? No, I haven't. That was because of the red fog. It was filled with a terrible curse and... Curses don't exist. Although given what Kagutsuchi was after, I suppose it did have an effect of that sort in truth. <sighs> Why are we so scatterbrained? Can't you guys stay on one topic for 10 seconds? Oh, sheesh. Sitting here makes it feel like I'm really back. <laughs> Indeed. It seems that for now, the case is closed. Man, that guy sure gave us some grief. Wasn't the world on the brink of ending? Mm-hmm. Although, I felt a bit sorry for him. Huh? For who? You can't even figure that out? She's talking about how Sho probably didn't want to turn out that way. Yeah, he's a really clumsy kid. Ha! <laughs> I keep thinking about how similar I was, you know? According to Mitsuru-san, Ever since Ikutsuki abandoned Sho, he was left for dead in the hospital's care. I surmise that is where he learned of Ikutsuki's death, and later heard this plan's proposal for Minazuki. That reminds me! That thing that showed up at the end! Hino Kagutsuchi, right? What was that thing, really? Yeah. It said it was born when this town was enshrouded in fog. Hmm. And that's not all. It was all over my fuzzy head, but what was that collective will of so-and-so part about? I guess it was formed from the hearts of people who only think about themselves, never caring what happens to others. Yeah. When the fog covered this town last time, the hearts of people who only cared about their own safety gathered and formed that Hino Kagutsuchi. That's a sad way to be. I wonder why some people think like that. Well, there's nothing we could do about it except to do our best. By the way, partner. Yeah? Did you see Adachi up there? What happened to him in the end? No way! Adachi-san? That bastard was here? <sighs> Don't worry about him. He'll obey the rules. All right then, let's go home. But man, some long holiday this turned out to be. Seriously, you kun came to visit and we didn't get to talk at all. <laughs> oh well. But now that it's all over, I think I had fun. Ah! Yuki-chan, have you turned to violence? Mm. Thinking back on it, I did see some dangerously scary faces from you. Teddy, would you like to see me angry? Ah! There! That's exactly what I'm talking about! I somewhat understand what Yukiko-senpai means. Despite the lost time, we've gathered as a group again. I'm glad for that much. Yosuke Senpai, I'm hungry. Can we go grab a bite yet? <laughs> Meat sounds great right now. Yosuke will treat, of course. I'm not treating anyone. The store's not even open. Stop trying to make me treat you guys every time. <sighs> Things really haven't changed at all. Oh, Senpai, look! Let's go, everyone. Thanks for your hard work. Yeah, same to you. It's not like I really did anything. I was getting my butt handed to me and you weren't around. Like, that was fun. You were keeping Dojima-san and everyone else safe, weren't you? That was a huge help. S stupid S Stupid no-tech love machine! You're being too honest with me! Stupid. Hey, this town... Um... Do you like it? Huh? Yeah, I love it. G g go home already! Get out of here and... 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 Come back soon, jerk!
Thanks for bringing my things all the way here. Don't worry about it. But man, you seem pretty busy. So, if you're headed back, does that mean things are settled? Yeah. Yes. Take some more time off the next time you come. She seemed pretty lonely. <laughs> oh, Yukon, it's almost time! Well then, time to disband the investigation team for real this time. I feel a little down when you actually come out and say it like that. Yes, but disbanding means that the case has been solved. We should take pride in that, at least. Investigation team? Oh, crap! Uh, um, GA's dog went missing, so... Huh? Really? If you had told me, I would have rushed to help in a jiffy. Why are you falling for that? Just stay quiet. That's not fair. I wanted to help, too. I'm sorry, Nanako. I'll be back in the summer. Really? Whoa, for reals? You're gonna stay the whole summer, right? Oh. Uh... Yay! That's more than a month! We could do anything then! Let's see, the summer festival? Going swimming in the ocean? Ooh, and the fireworks show! We wouldn't mind at all. Nanako would love to have you around. Yay! The train will be arriving shortly. Please step behind the white lines for your safety. Nanako. You really didn't get to spend much time with her. Nanachan, I'll play with you. I know. Nanako chan, come over to my place. We have a dog. No, I want Big Bro. Nanako, if you keep saying such selfish things, I'll tell you a scary story before bed. I'll have more time over the summer vacation, Nanako. We can play more then. Okay. Wow, I didn't know Nanako-chan doesn't like scary stories. Yeah, if she sees a scary story on TV before bed, she can't go to the bathroom by herself. I'm the one who gets woken up in the middle of the night. Dad! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jeez, we're through, Dad. Nanako! Eat. Uh, eaten? Why the hell does it keep changing like that? Break? What is it, a car? I don't even have any brothers named Ken! Oh my! Are you studying English? <laughs> it must be a cold day in hell. You, you old hag! I'm trying to study here, so quit making fun of me! My, my. He's embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, that's right. There's something I wanted to ask you. Well, what is it? Quit bothering me. I, I Just hurry up and ask already. Well, our dyes seem to be running out much faster lately. Do you know anything about that? How, how should I know? Maybe we had a, a burglar or something. Oh, my. <laughs> a burglar who only steals dyes? Like I said, how should I know? You're probably just imagining it anyway. Is that so? How odd. Oh, I just remembered. That navy blue handkerchief I washed yesterday had an odd unevenness to its coloring. What? Like how? That handkerchief was my best work lately and... Wait, the one I washed was a white handkerchief. Ah, oh, the ravages of age. I keep misremembering things. <laughs> you, you old hag! <sighs> the color just isn't the same. I ain't giving up, god damn it!
Excuse me. Whoa, you're a high school girl and a manager? That's awesome. Hey, could you wash my back later? Sir, please don't joke like that. Well, I might consider it if you held a party here every day for the next year. Really? I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Of course, I must ask that you pay for everything up front. <laughs> huh? Yuki-chan, are you okay? Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Don't worry. I'll make sure to lean on you and the others if I'm ever feeling stressed. Please help me out if that happens. Really? <laughs> You've gotten so dependable all of a sudden. missing a bit of tartness. Maybe I should use yogurt. Huh? It burned? That's odd. I was sure this was how the chefs did it. Yuki-chan? Um, I smell something burning. Are you okay? I'm okay. For now. You're improving as a manager. But I think your progress as a cook is still bumpy. later. I gotta start with general ed questions first. What is this? Some kind of old manuscript? Oh, I'm in great shape at least. How come there aren't any practical skills in the primary exam? Oh, yeah. So sleepy. I bet Master would totally ace the written exams too. I mean, he'd make it to the top easy. Right. I'm gonna become a police officer, no doubt about it. If Master's at the top, I'll work my way up to his level. Master, I need to be on the streets, not behind a TV. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. What do you mean? You probably believe that this investigation is about the potential dangers of the Kirijo group. But that's not the truth. It was ordered by top public safety officials who aren't keen on Mitsuru Kirijo's influence. They're trying to find fault with her to rein her in. Then, were these top officials dissatisfied with my report? Oh, your report was detailed and accurate. But that was too fair for their liking. Are you asking me to report a distortion of the truth? <laughs> Don't glare like that. The officials used Kirijo's disappearance this time to order an investigation on the Shadow Operative's facility. Yes, I know about that. I'd heard from my friends. But these investigation results aren't what those at the top hoped for. If this continues, they may abandon rational judgment in their desperation. In other words, you think they would begin to suspect me as taking sides with Kirijo? Yes, but that's not what we hope to see happen. In all honesty, Enabling their power struggle has no upside for our organization at all. <sighs> we are very satisfied with your work. That's why it would be less than ideal if you lost favor with the top officials and became unhirable. I understand. Though they're all part of public safety, you're saying the top officials and the on-site investigators have different views. <laughs> That's the nature of the beast. You have my permission to continue visiting this place from now on. So, I ask that you play along this once. Permission to continue? So, you leave a thread for me to follow while telling me not to get too involved. 
A bit self-serving, wouldn't you say? A harsh assessment. Both the inner truth and the outer veneer matter in society. That's how it is. I was only joking. I thank you for your generous consideration. This bears further investigation. <sighs> it seems I'm about to be very busy. Alright, that must be the place. Thanks to this case, I feel like I'm finally prepared to face my future. It's like I finally made a breakthrough. A breakthrough? I kept wondering if there was any way I could spend my time with everyone forever and ever. Mm -hmm. But I realized that that's just running from reality. That's why for now, I'm focused on finding a big project that won't bore me until I die. First, I'm going to go to college and expand my horizons. I guess for how long I thought about it, it's a pretty standard path. Oh, I think that's just like you, Yosuke. Isn't the long consideration really the important part? I have no idea which ones are any good. Huh? What are you doing, Yosuke? The shelf with the nurses is over there. I'll stay over here for today, thanks. Hmm? Oh, you're looking for camouflage. Something to hide your nurses with? What? The hell no! Part seems to be lacking a bit. It should be more showy, extravagant, all out! Hurrah! I feel like I'm on a roll! <laughs> Yosuke, what was that for? Shut up! What about this is perfect to you? It looks like a midsummer swimsuit sale. Oh, now that you mention it. Oh, that's all you can say? Listen. This is supposed to be a section for elegant summer clothes for the early season. So why set up a swimsuit sale, huh? Stop changing things on your own. Aw, but Sensei will come back once summer comes, right? My mind is already in full summer mode! You're jumping the gun way too much. Don't drag our store into your shenanigans. You say that, but aren't you curious too? Don't you want Yuki-chan, Chie-chan, Rise-chan, and Nao-chan to wear these new swimsuits as soon as possible? Well, sure. But wait, we were talking about me. Oh, I know. When Sensei comes back, let's invite Mitchan and her friends to the beach. Mitsuru-san and her friends, huh? Oh, they're regular working folks. I mean, they're a special unit, so I don't think they could just... Yosuke! The game will end if you give up. Just imagine what they'd all look like in swimsuits. <sighs> look, that doesn't change the fact that it's way too early for this. Hurry up and get the display how it's supposed to be. No! I will staunchly protect my paradise. Your weird paradise has no place in our store. If you don't hurry and fix this, I'm docking your pay! This is tyranny! Utter totalitarianism! Well then, let's start from Act 3. Ready? Go! Look! A white bird! Could it be the same one we saw together last summer? Who cares about birds right now? If there's something you want to say, then say it. Oh, please don't be that way. I trusted in you. I believed in our promise that we'd come here on this day. So why... why did you bring her? I feel like an utter fool. Rise, John. 
You know, Isan, we're still rehearsing here. Oh, sorry. Please forgive me. Kuchikawa, it's time. You're free to go. Everyone else, take it from the top of that scene. Huh? But... Go on or they'll yell at me. The promise was we'd do this without getting in the way of your other work. Though, I mean, your acting was great. Thank you. Um, is there anything else? What do you mean, anything else? Um, anything I should work on? I just told you that your acting was great. You're rushing this too much. Well, I don't know. I guess you need to work on accepting your strengths and trying to build on them. Sure. Accept my strengths? That's right. Hey, I take back what I said. Everyone take a 30-minute breather. So what do you need to talk about, Inoue-san? Oh, right. The response to your TV appearance the other day was amazing. We keep getting tons of calls with more work for you. And that's why we'd really like to set up an actual schedule and put a huge media blitz behind your comeback. No, I told you that's not what I want. I'm not even close to my peak performance yet. Huh? But, but they're all really good deals, you know? Nope. Don't you remember how we talked this over with the agency? I want to put my schoolwork first right now. Oh, can you bring the car to the front? Huh? Risei-chan, where are we? I have voice training after this. Come on, you're my manager. Get your act together. Oh, right. Sorry. Can you give me a ride? I want to hear about what kind of work came in. Of course. I'll bring the car around, so wait at the entrance. Nothing but tomorrow. Hey, waiting for you, my friend. Time for you, my friend. It's today that matters most of all. Today is worth the pain. To us all, so let's celebrate that today. Today is a happy time that tells me and the carefree smiles. It's a fifth symphony, it's here is showing time. It's celebration today. Yeah. It's today that matters most of all. Today is when it worth it. Today is a gift to us all, so let's celebrate life today. Today is a that magic free, that laughter and such warmly. It's sympathy, sympathy, it's spirit sharing time. It's celebration today.
good parts of life this day today. Most of all, today's made it worth it. Today's a treat to us all, so to celebrate that today. Today's left that magic grow. The singing and the worm is grown. His sympathy is new for me. His spirit shall be better time. Today has set the magic free. The laughter has the worm free. His sympathy is new for me. It's our celebration today. Right after this, I'll play the other uh, credit song for this game we haven't heard yet. Just from the This program was brought to you by the following sponsors. Ugh, gross. Hurry up and eat! Yeah, yeah, sorry. Number 82, interrogation! Here's some more things. Check them. These are the three pieces of evidence. None of them are related to the case. I mean, I've said this many times before, but I've already told you everything. Shut up! No back talk. Just check them all. Seriously, between Adachi and Dojima, is anyone in Inaba PD not a dumbass? Dojima-san? Ryotaro Dojima. You know him real well. Rumor has it his position at the station's shaky because of you. A real cop wouldn't have the balls to show his face at the station if one of his men got sent up for murder. You know, I felt sorry for him. So out of kindness, I told him during the investigation, I said, I'll make sure to dispose of your no-good man, so don't worry about that. And what does that bastard do? He suddenly grabs me by the collar! I almost ended up having to submit a written apology. <laughs> Talk about a blunder. It ain't nothing to laugh about. What do you think he said, huh? He can settle matters for himself without me asking you to do it. <laughs> what a bunch of shit to say about a killer. Yeah, I'm done dealing with Hicks. Though I guess once you've been a police dick in the sticks that long, your morale's shot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Dojima snuffed a few himself. That must be where his men learned it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. Huh? Although aren't you the one with the quick fist? I heard rumors about you when I was on active duty. You punched a suspect in the face during an investigation. Got found out and covered it up, right? What a hero! And since then, you've made sure to only punch him in the gut, right? You sure know what you're doing, aiming to work at the Metropolitan PD. You little... I ain't taking that kind of lip from a goddamn killer! If you don't want a good thrashing, then you better spill everything, you bastard! Sir, you really shouldn't go any further. Shut up! You don't get anything out of scumbags like him without getting your hands dirty. 
Watch and learn. That wasn't nice. <laughs> Isn't this against the criminal procedure code? Ah! Criminal procedure code, Article 319. Forced confessions gained through torture and intimidation are inadmissible as evidence. Anything I tell you is invalid if you get your hands dirty. Didn't they teach you the basics in police academy? Oh, but I get it. You're stuck in the boonies like this because you can't even get the criminal procedure code straight. <laughs> you little! You must be Toru Adachi. I wish to speak with you. I'm sorry, but I must ask you to come with me. Enter the TV here. And to be clear, this is less a request than an order. Oh, what are you doing? There'll be hell to pay for pointing your gun at a detainee? You really need to come. Ah, yes. I'd forgotten we weren't alone. Get out of here. Huh? What are you saying? I said get out. I don't wish to make matters worse. And you don't wish to die, do you? Ah! ah, now you've done it. So, who are you? You'll find out when we meet. Enter the TV. You should still be able to do that. Just like old times. When I exited the TV, I found myself in a classroom. <laughs> Seriously, I can't believe I'm called in here all of a sudden. I'm not even a cop anymore. Honestly, I'd rather be in prison. Well, I guess I'll go. I didn't think anything like this would ever happen again. Isn't there something wrong with this world? Who knows what'll happen next? Oh man, I've picked up the habit without realizing it. Look what you've done to me, Dojima-san. Man, whoever made this must be pretty twisted. Then again, who am I to talk? <sighs> I'm starting to get sleepy. Oh, what's behind door number one? What in the world is this? Talk about some disturbing taste in decor. <laughs> Welcome to his world. You must be Toru Adachi. Are you the one that called me out? Seriously, I'd rather not. I'll tell you who I am to thank you. I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. What does this Minazuki-kun want with me? If you don't have any business in particular, I'd really like to head back. Whether or not I explain myself to you will be decided right now. <laughs> it's your gun. Pick it up. You're a skilled marksman, no? Are you sure you want to give me this? 
I'm the suspect in a murder case, you know. That's fine. Come at me, as if you wish to kill me. Wow, someone's confident. Okay, don't mind if I do. to say this what's your thought what you won't hit me it's no use yeah live here yikes my favorite what's your thought why not i hate to say this let's get to work You're quite skilled. I find your defeat incomprehensible. <sighs> look who's talking. You look like you've got lots more energy to spare, too. Indeed. I was only testing you. I wanted to see if you would be of any use. I'm going to create his world. For that, I require your assistance. His world? Huh. Now I'm a little interested. Tell me more. This is what that boy wishes for. I intend on destroying this world. The world is filled with deception. Those within it prattle about friendship and bonds, yet they trample over others in the dark without a care. There is no value in such a world. What must be done is to eliminate everything within it. Huh. That's got my interest. Truth to tell, you're probably right. This world's all about useless, shallow, so-called friendships. And yeah, I think it's irritating, too. I mean, hey, I gave destroying everything a shot once, too. <laughs> you gained a power beyond humans. Do you remember that time? Power beyond humans? Huh. You mean that thing? What do you want with it? I intend to summon that power. But... It needs to be tamed. For that, I require your assistance. You will cooperate with me. You have no choice in this. Come on, you're not giving me a say here. And about this taming thing, that's all up to you. What does it have to do with me? Nah, if you want my help, I guess I'll cooperate with you as best I can. As best as you can? Very well. You have another role as well. What? There's more? Persona users. I will gather them and make them fight. You will also participate in this. Huh? That sounds like a real pain. I mean, why are you making them fight? Persona users of this town to the fight as well. You understand, no? They were the opposition who shattered your previous ambitions. Have your revenge on them if you wish. Even if you do nothing, I will not complain. Revenge, huh? We will prepare the stage for you. You're free to destroy them if you so choose. The clashing of competing powers will give off Persona fragments. This will advance our plans. <sighs> And if I refuse? Then the murders which occur on foggy days will begin again. I see. Well, can't let that happen. Is 
Isn't this a little over the top? Hey, is this? <laughs> what the hell? Damn! This is totally out there. My world is awesome! Uh... Dude, you're a Dachi, right? Did you see that just now? Did you? <laughs> the world's all red! Well, better red than dead. <laughs> just kidding. Huh? Whoa, hold on. What's with the wild mood swing? <laughs> what are you all surprised for? Oh, you were talking to him, huh? That kind of puts a damper on things. Well, that's fine. I'm Sho, Sho Minazuki. Welcome to my world, as I like to call it. I've heard about you. You hate this world too, right? Good for you, because it's all going away. Huh. So, uh, you're different from Minazuki-kun. Ugh, you're still on this? Minazuki is him. I'm Sho. It's too much of a pain to explain it anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. But that aside, are you really any good to me? If you're totally weak after saying you'll help out, I don't need your bullshit. And if you really are like that, I'll seriously kill you. I don't think I ever gave a clear yes or no yet. This is all so sudden, you know? Huh? Are you an idiot? Cooperating lets you live. Refusing gets you killed. Get it? What moron would say no to that? Those are some pretty extreme choices. Enough going on and on in circles. I wouldn't mind destroying you, but he's telling me not to. Hmm. That means you're game to do this. You seem like you enjoy things that get bloody. What's wrong with that? It goes gushing out like psh, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll participate. I was getting bored, so this would probably be a good way to kill time. But I'll do this my way. I have my own rules, you know? Huh? Well, do what you want. I don't care if it's rules or roulettes. But if you try anything funny, I'll cash you out like that. I'll mount you up nice on the wall next to the investigation team. A dodgy looking Adachi. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'll be watching you. So you better not slack off. Got it? Well, I've got somewhere to be. So do what you want from here. See ya. Now then, how do I go about this? What am I thinking? There's no way I'm going outside with the town like that. Sheesh, if he's gonna make me his guest, he could at least have a GPS or something ready for me. Well then, I guess I'll get going. <sighs> Do I actually have to go look for those guys? What has he gotten me into? You're serious? Uh, is it possible for us to not know about a guy who sticks out that much? Hmm? Hmm. I did think from last time that the culprit would be someone with ties to Mitsuru-san. I still can't shake that theory. Hmm. Oh, maybe he transferred here. Or it could be his older brother's uniform. What is it? Be on guard. Don't leave my side. Huh? Oh, 
It's just you. Hey there. Looks like it's going well. Getting plenty of Persona fragments, huh? Yeah. It's going so well, I'm bored as shit. I want to see them cry and groan and pain and all that good stuff. Actually, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and go take them apart. <laughs> well, there's no need to rush. After all, they can't leave this place. Huh? Well, yeah. Ugh, I'm getting so bored. I should just go take out a couple of them. Whoa, hold on there. There's no need to get hasty when the plan's going so well, right? It'd be easier to just sit back and wait. What are you talking so big for? Want me to stick my sword through your ears? Ah, ooh, scary. Can't you calm down a bit? You won't beat anyone like that. And you came to get me because you needed me, no? You sure it's a good idea to kill me just because I rub you the wrong way? Cripes, what a wet blanket. Did you just come from a picnic out in the rain or something? <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. That guy has nothing to do with this. I can kill anyone I want if I feel like it. Then go on ahead. It's easy, right? Have you actually killed anyone before? <sighs> This guy's really pissing me off. Look, there's no need to fight. Once it descends, after all, the world's going to totally disappear. Why spend your time dealing with them, you know? Just ignore those kids. Uh, that's not the problem. I look at those guys, and I can't stop gagging. They just herd together like best buds. I don't know why they're so full of themselves. It makes me want to beat the shit out of them. Get them to cry like babies. You get me? Do you? Yosuke Chie, get back! <laughs> You're so lame. Such a freaking irritating bunch. I hate to even look at you. I just want to see you completely destroyed. Oh, it's totally red. I wasn't ready for this. The things of Bright can dream up are scary. Wouldn't stand a chance if you got swallowed up in this. I guess Sho's scheme is a huge success so far. It would be a problem if anyone died here, after all. That's just something I can't allow. Sorry, but that's why I'm gonna have to gum up the works by whatever means necessary. shot wasn't enough. Hey, Adachi. What the hell are you doing? Hmm? Did I ever say I was going to cooperate with you? <laughs> you goddamn son of a... I'll destroy you! You bastard. What's this about? Were you planning to betray me from the start? What an ungrateful little prick. Didn't I say? I told you I was gonna do whatever I want. You cocky dipshit. Don't think that you've won. You must be seriously stupid to defy me. That's why you lost to them, you goddamn stupid moronic idiot! You actually have the nerve to say that to me. You're the one who got all cocky and started a fighting tournament. Haven't you had your fun? Because there's no way a brat like you could control that kind of power. You really should just say you're sorry to everyone and go back home like a good little boy, you know? Shut up, shut up, shut up! The hell are you?
are you mocking me for? I'll kill you! Get off me! I can do this! What's wrong with doing things because I can? Want me to skewer you from your jaw straight through your skull? Doing it because you can, huh? You know, watching you really irritates me. Kill you, Adachi. I'll crush you into pulp so no one will know what you even looked like! <clears throat> you bastard! What are you thinking? You know how important this thing is! Are you trying to ruin my plan? <clears throat> I tried to destroy those Persona fragments by striking when I saw the chance. You worthless vermin. I knew you weren't worth shit. But to think you were biding your time for this. Well... <clears throat> you really pissed me off, you piece of shit. Well, you were nothing but trash I was only planning to use from the start. Ha! <clears throat> <laughs> Just for curiosity's sake, how are you planning to use me? <laughs> I think you're misunderstanding me. You know the whole taming business? I wasn't planning to rely on your knowledge to begin with, moron. All I need is your persona. I was gonna rip off your persona. Turn it into a shadow, slam it into the gathered shadows, and presto! Adachi's part is done. <laughs> Ooh, I love that stupid look on your face. It's so great. I'm gonna let you in on some more secrets. Seems like the power left in you interferes with the thing I'm planning to absorb. I guess that power beyond humanity clashes with each other? But when that happens, that thing won't be at its full strength. So if you think about it the other way around, using your power stops that thing from doing whatever it wants. And then I get to tame it! Once everything was ready and I cut up the rest of them, I was gonna kill you slow. Still, I at least gave you the chance to have some fun, you piece of shit. I was gonna let your crap slide until I showed you the end of the world you never got to achieve. Why not? Right? <laughs> Don't think we're the same, you little brat. What? What was that? You think the whole world hates you just because someone didn't treat you right. You're nothing but a little kid throwing a tantrum. You know, I seriously hate this world. Don't put me in the same shoes as a half-assed brat like you. Please. <laughs> You're so finished, you bastard. I'll kill you just like you want. <laughs> sure, I'm lame. Whatever. But you don't know yet, do you? <sighs> Those guys don't play around. You better be prepared. Die, you piece of shit. Stop it, show! Ah, uh, you're early. Way to ruin the moment. Just to be clear, I didn't do it for you guys. I just wanted to set things right for myself. I know, you're not that type of person. You're such a know-it-all. It's not very attractive. The prosecution's been settled. Man, my road until now seemed long and short at the same time.
then again, it doesn't change the fact that I'm bored. I wonder if the way things were before would have been less dull. Hey, you have a visitor. What? Must be Dojima-san. Why would he want to see me after all this? He really is nosy. Well, you gonna see him or not? This is why I hate him. Hey. Hmm. Have you fattened up a bit since the last time I saw you? <laughs> well, life in lockup is much easier than your grueling training. Did I really just hear you say that? The death of everything, but also the beginning. People have filled the world, yet turned it into a void. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. <laughs> Did you work in a zoo? Because that's one huge pile of shit you're pushing around. So, how'd that turn out for you, Dad? It doesn't matter now that you're dead as a doornail, does it? You wanted the world destroyed, huh? Isn't that right, you worthless pest? Fine, I'll do it. This shitty world with its shitty people and shitty lives will disappear, and I'll be the only thing left. After all, if the father's fallen into darkness, then the sun must rise. Just kidding. <laughs> what nonsense. What? These constructs can only remain active within my red fog. Even then, they can only do so for a limited amount of time. If you have time to waste with worthless sentiment, hurry up and complete your preparations. Ha! You've got no sense of humor. Keep up your whining and I'll have to kill you too. <laughs> Such impudence. Take them. They are your pawns. They're pretty well made. Fine, I've got the power I borrowed from you, too. So now there's no way I could lose. Well then, time to make like a tree and turn over a new leaf or whatever. <laughs> huh, a puppet version of a puppet. I'll make sure you get the job done this time. Now let's begin, for the sake of his world. I finished going through Lapras' personality module and control links. I knew we could count on you. I'm sorry that I asked you for such a big favor. Oh no, I couldn't possibly stand by after something so important happened. But, um, is it really all right for me to be doing this? Aren't you all part of some kind of police organization now? There's no need to be concerned. Even now that we've become the shadow operatives, this lab belongs solely to the Kirijo group. I finished investigating Labrys' mobility systems. All I have to do now is reboot her OS and perform some final checks. Thank you. How is she? She'd sustained some heavy structural damage, so I was worried, but thankfully none were critical. I see. And what did you recover from her memory? I'm sorry. I searched through it, but I found no records that would lead to finding the one behind what happened. If we want to pursue him any further, we'll have to wait for a report from intelligence. 
But it seems that will still take some time. I see. Ugh. Then we have no clues to go on. Eh, don't be so hasty. We might get new leads from intelligence, right? Ever since that attempted airplane hijacking, we've learned that the Public Safety Division has been making some disquieting moves. If we don't make a move soon, there's no telling what they'll do to take advantage of the situation. We have to find a lead before they do anything. I understand how you feel, Mitsuru-san, but we must solve one problem at a time. That is why we have gathered here today. You're right. I'm sorry. Please work with me here in reviewing what information we already know. The person behind this case first stole Labrys, the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, while she was in transport. Yes. The hijacking of the airplane you were on was a diversion used to conceal the theft of my sister, after which she was transported to Inaba. Correct. The hijackers were subdued and captured, but we have reason to believe that their minds were under some kind of control. The culprit waited until he arrived in Inaba to turn Labrys on and fiddle with her memory. And then he threw her into the TV world, right? Where one's heart and memories manifest themselves. As a machine, Labrys was able to control these memories in great detail. In other words, the enemy used her in order to set a trap for us. When we entered the television world in pursuit, we defeated her shadow and made indirect contact with the culprit. That person revealed that his goal was to steal our personas by making us fight each other, which would weaken our hearts and turn our personas to shadows. Once he'd accomplished that, he would combine them all so we could have even more powerful shadows. Shuji Ikutsuki. The culprit's speech pattern is consistent with Ikutsuki-san's mannerisms. His inability to use a persona matches him as well. But that's not possible! He... That's right. We've confirmed Ikutsuki's death. Or, maybe there's someone out there besides Ikutsuki who still thinks the same way he did. If so, then the world we strive for is still far away. Yamagishi, when Labrys awakens, can you give her a summary of the case from three years ago? I'd like her to know what went on while she was sealed. I understand. Can't you just stick that data into her memory? If we did that, it would just become a piece of data to her. She needs to be told about it in order for her mind to understand what happened. She's human through and through, huh? Also, I noticed something when I was checking her memories. The makeup of Labrys's memory field is slightly different from Igus's. Besides the memory area that she normally accesses, there seems to be a sub-network of some sort. She has two memory networks? I think it was probably used to incorporate the feedback from her sibling units, but I still don't know for sure. That's why I believe it's safer to tell her in person. All right, I'll let you tell her however you see fit. Regarding Yakutsuki, I'm pressuring staff to hurry and review the information, including the newly discovered quarantine server at Ergo Research. We never knew about the server in question before now because it had been cut off from the group's network. It most likely has information that normally would have never left Ergo research, such as data on top-secret experiments. By the way, what was the logic behind that whole Midnight Channel thing? It's still unknown, but we'll have to send people to Inaba again. We're going to hold a meeting at headquarters tomorrow to discuss countermeasures. What's going on? The surveillance system detected a rise in shadow readings. It's currently stabilizing around a level three alert, located in that town of Inaba. What? Looks like he's shown up already. <laughs> that saves us the trouble of having to puzzle this out. Yusan and his friends are in danger. Mitsuru-san, please give the order to dispatch us. All right, we'll leave at once. Yamagishi, leave Labras to Kikuno and accompany us. I, I understand. Well then, I leave the rest to you, Kikuno-san. Understood. Lady Mitsuru, everyone, please be careful. Oh, 
Hold on, I guess. What is it? If we can put Labyrinth aside for a moment, are you going to be all right without having any maintenance done on you, I guess? What do you mean? I read the documents on your new equipment. At first, I assumed it was referring to that large gun, but it's actually... Ah, that. True. There have been no tests confirming that it is capable of being used in an actual combat situation. But we face a powerful foe this time. Is it even possible? If even one thing were to go wrong... Milady, a change of clothes has been laid out in your car. I see. Thank you. I've also prepared Akihiko-san's favorite protein drink, and Fuka-san has been preparing a playlist suitable for a road trip in her room. Huh? That will be all, Kikuno. Very well. Pardon me. Let's start this over, shall we? Shadow operatives, let's mobilize! Why are we taking this car again, Mitsuru? Don't question it, Akihiko. There was no time to prepare a vehicle with the same equipment. Speaking of appearances, are you gonna wear that again? Sure. There's a chance that we'll have to fight after all. These clothes give me the flexibility I need. Impressive, Akihiko-san. You never change. Still, to think that the culprit would make a move so soon. We've completely lost the initiative. Indeed. We need to begin taking measures right now. I only hope no danger comes to Narakami and his friends. Mitsuru-san, why don't we just ask them to cooperate with us? I agree. They seem pretty strong. No, they're still young. If I asked for their assistance, it would waste time better spent in school. Worse yet, it would put them in danger. I don't want anyone else to have to go through that anymore. I understand how you feel, but they don't seem like the kind who'd listen. We were the same way back then. <laughs> We have new information. Kikuno sent me a message. I tasked Kikuno with reviewing Ergo Research's quarantine server, but it seems new evidence has come to light regarding Ikutsuki, who we discussed in our earlier conversation. According to the report, it seems Ikutsuki was performing an experiment on his own in the lab directly after the explosion. It's unknown if this is related to our current mission, but there was a record of a plume of dusk being used in the experiment. A plume of dusk? So, what are the details of this experiment? Nothing good, I bet. Hmm. Ikutsuki was... Hmm. Yamagishi, tell me our current location. One moment. I'm looking it up now. We're currently in Inaba Pass. We're almost at the target coordinates. What is this? <gasps> Was that? What's wrong? <laughs> An ambush? What's happening? Driver, what's going on? Answer me! <laughs> this... It's just like during the hijacking! On it! A barrier! Are we trapped? Here we go!
one. I've had enough of this. Ultimate arrow. It's over. And cut. Perfect. That what a take. Thank you very much. Hey, well done. It? That was really great. <laughs> she really Can somebody get a wardrobe, please? Okay, no, there was right something right 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 that's around. Let's take a 10 minute break. Didn't know you, Kari, was an actor. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> You're on a roll, Feather Pink. Huh? Do you think so? The directors had nothing but good things to say, too. Looks like this will have a positive effect on your main job. Speaking of your next shoot. <sighs> What's wrong? Something troubling you? Oh, not really. Is it really that hard to just send back a reply? It's Golden Week, for God's sake. Hmm? What's this? Don't tell me you've got some boyfriend trouble. Oh, no, no. It's nothing like that. What? What's this helicopter doing here? Is there a helicopter in this shooting script? Huh? She came, but she's making too big of a scene. Man, you were amazing. <laughs> Thanks for cheering for me. You're a real hit with the ladies. <sighs> I'm gonna get going for today. Okay, you better be this good next time, too. Leave it to me. It's nothing, Koromaro. Even if she gave me this, I know it's just for show. I bet everyone else is working hard right now. I'm a member too, you know. I'm just for show, too. Making my life my own is actually pretty hard. Sometimes I lose sight of what I'm supposed to be doing. It's completely dark now. We should head back home, Koromaru.
Where am I? What am I doing here? Wasn't I going through maintenance at Mitsuru-san's place? Oh, this must be a dream then. <laughs> I'm dressed like this again. Guess there's no use doing something like that in a dream. It's so beautiful. If this really is a dream, maybe I can keep going. Now, where could this be? It seems I have an odd guest. Oh, you're that misrepresent. No, press stand? Ah, yes, Miss President. We met the other day. Oh, uh, hi. Thanks a bunch for back then. I didn't get to thank you properly at the time. Hmm? You faced yourself and overcame the ordeal through your strength alone. And the feelings of those at the scene certainly helped as well. Still, my assistance was merely the cake under the ice. Uh, under the ice? I don't know what that means, but... This place is beautiful. Where am I? This is a world within people's hearts. Since you are here, it's most likely that you are at rest in the real world. Now that you have gained a heart of your own and are nurturing it, I wouldn't be surprised if you were to wander here at times. That all sounds pretty complicated. What are you doing here, Elizabeth? To put it as Frank would, it is a secret. But if there was something I could say about it, I am yearning for an unseen power. Huh? You want power, too? Even though you're insanely strong already? Oh, all this talk of power has reminded me of something. It seems you have obtained a new power through that battle earlier. I do not mean to be rude, but my adorable personality cannot restrain my infinite curiosity for such things. Would you show it to me? Huh? Wait. Hey, hold on now. Uh, are you saying you want to fight me right this minute? <gasps> my, how could I have forgotten? A boisterous brawl in this place would certainly not be elegant. Uh, I'm not talking about where we are. Worry not. I will prepare a worthy stage at once. Wait, you'll what? Huh? This place... Oh, are you a bit shaken? My apologies, but it seems we're being pressed for time. Without further ado, here I come. Your fate is in the cards. <sighs> well done. I have indeed witnessed the power you have acquired. Have I? Have I gotten stronger? Whether you can accomplish your wish and your heartfelt promise is up to you. If you can't do it, no one else will be able to do it for you. <sighs> but from a different perspective, that means that anything is possible depending on you. Don't you think it could be perceived that way? <sighs> if I do it... That is correct. Though, it would be most important to prioritize overcoming the ordeal that is coming your way. Huh? What ordeal? Isn't this just a dream? The ordeal that has made itself known quite close by. I bid you good luck. Wait, hold on! What's this ordeal you're talking about? What do you mean? Wait! You have to tell me more! Good, you're finally up and running. Seriously, I am terrible with machines. So how about it? Can you move? Who are you? I'm Kurosawa, a police detective. Oh, do you know what a police detective is? Oh, 
Are you with Mitsuru-san and them? Something like that. I'll make this quick. There's an emergency. The car that the lady that Mitsuru Kurijo was in has gone missing. Mitsuru-san? <gasps> what do you mean? We'll talk later. We need to get to the roof. Quietly. We've got to hurry here. We were being pursued, too. Enemies? H hey, I could... Don't. The ones coming after us are human. On top of that, they're from public safety. Uh... I know it has to be tough, but bear with it. That's how you live, by fighting. Thanks, Kurosawa-san. Say, wanna take a shortcut to the roof? Hey, what are you... Some nerve. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> it's fine. Looks like I can trust you to get things done. Well, from here on, this is a battle that only you can fight. I'm putting their lives in your hands. to get away we got out in time it's nice to meet you labrys i'm yukari takiba oh yes i'm kanamata wow so it's true that you're like igus son <laughs> oh and this is koromaru huh a dog he's not just a pet koromaru might not look like it but he can fight as well <laughs> um takiba san you're dressed in a kind of interesting way. Huh? Oh, this? Uh, yeah, I got picked up suddenly for my job, and I didn't have any time to change. <laughs> I bet I'm never going to hear the end of this. Also, you can just call me Yukari. I hope we get along, Labrys. But to think that organization would come after us now at such an important time. If Kurosawa-san hadn't gotten that tip, we'd be doomed. Hey, right. What's going on with those guys? Who are they again? Public safety? Oh, that's right. You don't know. Um... They say Mitsuru-san set everything up. She would never. I can't understand it either. All this about honor and adult circumstances is foolish. Yeah, but there are some people in public safety who don't agree with that. Or else Kurosawa-san wouldn't have gotten that anonymous tip. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if Kurosawa-san's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kuromaru says that he's all right. Huh? Can you understand dogs too, Yukari-san? Well, no, but I've known Kuromaru for a while, and that just seems like what he's saying. I'm sure Kurosawa-san will be just fine. So where are we going now, anyway? We're gonna go look for Mitsuru-san and them, right? Right. It looks like there was an increased shadow reading someplace called Inaba, and they were headed there. We'll go that way for now. Inaba. 
Don't look so gloomy. I'm sure Mitsuru Senpai's fine. She's got Akihiko Senpai, Fuka, and even Aigis with her after all. Oh, right. You're Aigis' sister, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I was made just before her, though. <laughs> you seem so stiff. You don't need to be so polite with us. I heard that you were an earlier model than Aigis' son, but you don't seem less advanced at all. You seem perfectly normal. Do you fight with that axe you're carrying? Um, could I touch it? Yukari-san, have you been able to make contact with Yori-san? <gasps> I completely forgot! Hold on a sec. Um, Saikawa-san, you're not a Persona user, are you? Please call me Kikuno. And no, I only have the potential towards the Dark Hour. Oh, I didn't know you had that. Even the maids in the Kirijo family are amazing. So that means you can't fight shadows, right? Then ain't it dangerous for you to come along? There are more ways to deal with shadows than the direct method. We've never met in person, but I was involved in the operation to rescue you last time. We all do whatever we can to the best of our abilities to fulfill the roles we've been given. That is what it means to fight. Oh. Wow, she's a true professional. I'd see. It's no use, he's not picking up. This is so important. Why now? Oh well, we'll just have to begin our search on our own. You know, Kikuno-san, I'm surprised you knew where we were without having to contact us at all. I traced the GPS signals from your cell phones. We're still partners with the police force, so it's no problem to do that in an emergency. Then again, we've just seen how even that doesn't always help. <laughs> you mean about Junpei-san? It's like he's going out of his way to inconvenience us. Oh dear, I almost forgot. Labra-san, please review these documents until we arrive at our destination. Fuka-san asked me to tell you about this. But under the circumstances, would you please look through the material on your own? It's a summary of the activities that took place three years ago. Three years ago? You must mean... I see. Whoever's behind what's going on is definitely connected to those events. I think it looks good on you. A proper appearance is important when going out on a grand stage. Thanks! Yukari-san, Ken-san, I have acquired evokers and suitable weapons for you. Wow, thank you! This would be the best for me! Kikuno-san, what is this? It's the ultimate arrow! <gasps> it's so pink! I acquired reference material from the publisher and had it made. Don't worry, it's more functional than the prop on your show. Uh, I'm pretty sure that makes it the best bow ever created, but... In actual combat, I thought that using a form factor you're comfortable with would be best. Oh. I wasn't expecting you to have a logical explanation like that. Was my arrangement unnecessary? Yeah, it was unnecessary. <sighs> no, it's fine. Um, I like it. Can I see it for a moment? We're circling around. Please hang on to something. Think about it. But does this mean that they've been captured? <gasps> Let us be optimistic and assume that they're still alive. 
If they were captured, then the enemy values their lives and will do no harm. We do have a chance. It's amazing that you know how to pilot a helicopter, Kikuno-san. I heard that it's hard to hover in the mountains. Did you train for that? Only a couple of years ago. But I have taken part in an assault operation involving a helicopter. You were in an assault with a helicopter? Where? Just a high school dormitory. Huh? Oh, yeah. I remember that. I decided to learn how to pilot in the event that if someone attempted the same move, I would be able to respond properly. Oh, damn! Well, I finally got in touch with Junpei. I don't know why, but he's already at Yasuo Inaba Station, so I told him to stay there. In any case, we should head to Inaba too. We might find some kind of clue there. Whoever did this must be the same person who kidnapped Labrasan. It's unthinkable anyone else would be able to do that. Mm. The question is what he intends to accomplish by kidnapping them. Strong win, while the weak disappear. Tonight, we will witness the- Hey, what was that just now? Weren't those the Persona users in Inaba? It showed Mitsuru-senpai and the others, too. I read the case records. If I recall correctly, was that the Midnight Channel that was being broadcast in Inaba? I was on it, too. But... It wasn't like that last time. Yoo-hoo! Have you been well, Lobby Chan? G General Teddy? But, but I thought I already... <laughs> There's no way I'd go away so easily. I mean, a P1 without me is like a tuna sandwich without the tuna! He can hear us? Isn't he that weird Persona user named Teddy? No, he must be the General Teddy who hosted the fighting tournament last time. The record said he'd been eliminated, though. General Teddy, where did you take Mitsuru-san and the others? If you don't give us a good answer, you're gonna pay! <laughs> it's past your bedtime, Cubby. If you're gonna keep giving me lip, I'm not going to explain anything. Explain? That's right. I mean... The three of you are very important guest stars in the P1 Climax, after all. So you'll participate, of course. Right? What? What are you after? <laughs> if you value the lives of the hostages, you yapping pup, you, you don't, don't have, have any, any choice, choice but, but to participate. participate. Huh? <laughs> the P1 Climax! It's the end of the world! One-on-one -on -one death match that's worthy of the name Climax! And best of all, if you don't win the one-on-one -on -one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end! No punches pulled this time! I'll, I'll make, make myself, myself clear so, so that no one misunderstands. misunderstands. This, this will, will not be taking place within the TV world. world. It, it will, will, in fact, take, take place in the reality, reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. Alrighty then. Time to show off how that special stage is going. Was that... Mitsuru-senpai? Sonata-san. Aiga-san and Fuka-san, too! <laughs> what will be the fate of our captured queen and her loyal minions? Oh, and this is a no-fly zone. We don't have any room in the parking lot for that thing, so you'd better start walking to the battleground. As a little incentive... Bersona! Kintoki Doji! Throw him a tomahawk! An alarm? No. The 
There really is a missile coming our way. Evasive maneuvers. Brace yourselves. A missile? We hit? It barely missed, but there's a good chance that it will still detonate. It exploded! Wait, it's a firework? Uh, he obviously missed on purpose. It was most likely fired from the direction of Inaba. That is not funny at all! Is he trying to start a war or something? Wait. What is that? There's something in the distance. It's huge! I'll zoom in. No way. This is just like Tartarus. I'm sorry to do this. But I have to withdraw before we're shot down. But we've come so far! If they fire another one at us, I won't be able to dodge again. Even if it's only a firework, a direct hit can still bring us down. Hold on, Kikuno-san. Can you drop low enough somewhere so we can get out? There's no way. If we land, we'll be sitting ducks. No, once we're out, you'll get out of here. You don't need to land. What are you saying? Please, do it. Don't worry. Remember, General Teddy asked us to come on foot. We'll manage somehow. Understood. I'm looking for a landing site. There appears to be a large shopping center nearby. Labrasan, please take this. It may be of use. It contains the data that was taken from the Ergonomics Research Laboratory's top secret files. The creator's name is Shuji Ikutsuki. The file name was Project Puppet Master. I'm not entirely sure if that's a code or a description of the project. Puppet Master? Would that be something to do with me and I guess? I was only able to decrypt a portion of it, but it seems to be data on an experiment involving a plume of dusk. An experiment with a plume of dusk? So, why are you giving this to me? It may assist you in determining the enemy's identity, actually. I found traces of an unauthorized attempt to access this file from outside of the Ergo Research Network. I investigated this and found that the requests made to break in originated from this vicinity, likely from within Inaba itself. Huh? So someone in Inaba knew about that research before all this started and was looking for it? The firewall prevented the intruder from accessing the file. But the attempted hacker didn't even try to cover their tracks. What? Who would do this? It was only in fragments, but the name Sho Minazuki appears many times in those files. Who is he? I'll contact you once we crack the encryption. But in case it becomes difficult to transfer the data to you, I'll give you a copy. Then I'll download that data into myself and take a look at the parts that you've managed to decrypt. That would be for the best. Gotcha. Thanks. We'll be over at Juness Shopping Center in a moment. Everyone, prepare to disembark. Hold on, over there. Isn't there someone on the rooftop? It's impossible! Huh? What's wrong? It's... Ikutsuki. Huh? No way! Another attack! Incoming! You little... Persona! Huh? What? I 
Didn't even use my evoker yet. I'll make myself clear so that no one misunderstands. This will not be taking place within the TV world. It will, in fact, take place in the reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> this is really fun. What? What was that? Yukari-san, he's winding up for another one! We're getting off, Koromaru! <laughs> it seems you're always taking on the responsibility of saving others, Yukari-san. Seriously! It's like, again? Really? But I'll take this one! After all, I save the world on a weekly basis. Yukari-san, everyone, please, save Lady Mitsuru. Where did he go? Hey, Kenkun. Did you really see Ikutsuki here a moment ago? Yes. I didn't see him clearly, but there's no way I could have mistaken him. That's impossible. I mean, Shuji Ikutsuki is... At the very least, it looks like he's not nearby. We can't let our guard down yet, though. Koromaro and I are going to continue looking for him. If that really was Ikutsuki, there's no doubt that he's involved in this case. That's true. Can you and Koro-chan go after that guy from earlier? But that person seemed to be using a persona. Won't it be dangerous for you two going off on your own? Don't you worry about me and Koromaru. Even if we run into something we can't defeat, we'll find a way out of it. And honestly, it's faster for us to split up. I am a bit worried, but I'm gonna believe in you guys. So I'll head to the station to get Junpei. It didn't seem like he'd figured out the situation yet. Huh? Weren't you talking to him on the phone earlier? I was, but that idiot's phone ran out of batteries or something while we were still talking. But even if I can't rely on him to keep his phone charged, he's still good in a fight. So I have to meet up with him. Uh, I see. He seems like kind of a goofball. Right? He's always been so useless. <laughs> huh? Did I say something funny? Nah, not really. It just sounded like you were actually kind of fond of him. Oh, <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I think you're right. What about you, Labrus? What'll you do? Huh? I hope Mitsuru-san and the others are okay. Could you please go right to that tower? We'll head over there, too, as soon as we can. Right! It's decided, then. Labrus, you head to that tower. Oh, also, hmm? something fell off when I summoned my persona earlier. You might want to be careful. You felt it, too? It was like, well, it felt like the evoker wasn't working, didn't it? Yeah, it might be that we can summon our personas without our evokers. <gasps> In any case, we should get moving. If what General Teddy said is true, we don't have much time to spare. Mm-hmm. Got it. If anything happens, let's meet at the bottom of the tower. Be careful, both of you. Wait for us, Mitsuru-san. Now's the time you've all been waiting for. It's obvious who the game's MVP will be. The man whose Grand Slam won it in the ninth, yeah, Junpei Iori! Yeah, right, First off, I'd like to congratulate your team on winning the WBC. Thank you. 
very much. What was going through your mind as you entered that batter's box for that last at-bat? My only thought was how I would lead my team to victory. Ah, so it's your great focus that led to this result. Still, that was an amazing home run. All I can say is I got lucky with that hit. That swing at the critical moment, I got so excited I almost forgot to give the play-by-play. -play. The ball went a lot farther than I thought it would. I'm very pleased with the result. Wow! You're so modest. No wonder they call you the ace slugger, Junpei. By the way, is there anyone you'd like to dedicate this victory to? Well... Um... <clears throat> I'd like to dedicate that Grand Slam to my precious girl who's always supported me through thick and thin. I know that I can be a burden on you. I'm not the greatest, but... Will you marry me? Yasuo Inaba, huh? end of the line. Yasuo Inaba. Uh, sorry, sir, but this is the end of the line. Oh, uh, oh, I was dreaming. <sighs> If you get a hit, you'll be a hero. Are you gonna try for a home run? Of course I am. You made me the cleanup hitter after all. I'm making this a home run, no matter what. Watch your mouth, kid, or you'll scare the ball away. Now listen up, don't try to act cool. Just play like you normally would. The team's counting on you. Goro, keep your eye on the ball. You can hit it. The pitcher's totally freaked out! See, a hero doesn't just hit homers all the time. Even if you mess up, there's guys behind you waiting to help. Now loosen up and do your best. Gotcha! Thanks, Junpei. Hey, you're supposed to call me coach, a screwball. Make sure you stay loose. was so close, guys. You almost won! All right, let's start practicing again tomorrow. Now, I want you all to remember this at least. If you all work together, you'll never be beat. Okay, we're done for today. Yeah, I'm such an awesome coach. It's really worthwhile volunteering for a kid's team even after working the night shift. <sighs> Man, it's like I'm finally starting to enjoy my youth after all this time. Oh, crap, I'm starting to feel sleepy. <sighs>
Don't tell me they're closed. What kind of convenience store isn't open 24-7 these days? What the hell? Oh, there you are, Junpei! Hey, Yukatan! Uh, I'm making an effort at least, so... But hey, Mitsuru-senpai's gone missing? What's going on? <sighs> so, uh, you look great, huh? <laughs> Is that your, uh, feather pink outfit? Are you doing an autograph tour out here? Come meet the feather men! <laughs> You never shut up, do you? You're nothing but a minor character. A mook, a minion, a loser! Just die and let the world have your body back? Hey, hey, what? Aren't you being crueler than usual? Ugh! It's time for your punishment! Bring, Bring on, on the, the ring! ring! You're a member of the Shadow Operatives. Well, who the hell are you? I don't know what's going on, so you better explain yourself. If this is some prank show, it's not funny. You really are a yappy idiot. Now let's begin Operation World Destruction. I mean, the one-on-one -on -one P1 Climax. P1 Climax? I'm not in the mood to drag this out so I'll just give a short rundown. The rules are simple. Win and you get to move on, lose and you're stuck here. Huh? You mean I have to fight Yucatan? Oh, you, you really, really are a pain in the ass. ass. If, if you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna do this, this then hurry up and die. die. Here, here we, we go, Persona! Whoa, 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 hold on, Feather Pink. We... We can talk this out. I mean, you shouldn't be pointing that at people. Ah! Stop moving around, around Junpei. Just, Just give, give up, up now, now and let me kill, kill you. you. Ow! What the heck? That's what I said. Only the victor can leave the area. Now hurry up and get this fight started. I hope you're prepared. Face me, evildoer. You're no match for Feather Pink. Strike out better. Yeah. Desperate times call for desperate measures. How dare you, Feather Man? I, Lord Junpei, will strike you down. The Mook wins. Keep that up and keep winning. Who are you calling a Mook? Wait, ah, you can turn. Oh, what was that just now? It wasn't a dream, right? I I slept a ton on the train after all. Was that a a shadow? Is this... Did the dark hour come back? But wait a sec. How'd I use my persona without an evoker? Is that General Teddy guy behind this? We'd better step barefully. <laughs> Let's see here. Which way was it? <laughs> oh, hey, I know that store. Every day is great. <laughs> Hang on, 
everyone, I'm coming! Shadow Operative Junpei Iori is on the scene! There appears to be quite a commotion. Um, sister, I've been wondering since yesterday, but what is going on in the outside world? <laughs> I believe you could say that those kids' ordeal is still continuing. An ordeal, you say? Yes. In other words, mankind's potential is being tested. Potential? Sister, where might Elizabeth be right now? Abandoning the duties given to us by our master and going out into the outside world is normally forbidden to us. Why did Elizabeth go through all that just to head out into the outside world? <sighs> I'm sorry. It was presumptuous of me to ask. I suddenly feel thirsty. Do you feel like drinking a cola? Uh, a cola, you say? My, don't tell me that you don't know what that is. Uh, of course I do. Elizabeth told me about it. An ebon monster compressed into a metal cylinder, waiting for the moment its prison is released to spring into the eyes of the unwary spewing foam. Uh, quite. Well then... I task you with the acquisition of about a hundred of these colas. You want m me to do this? B but cola only exists in the outside world. I merely ask for the cola. How and where you perform your task is at your discretion, even if it takes you into the outside world. <sighs> um, sister. Yes, what is it? While I'm out, may I go see what's going on outside? That would be none of my business. All I asked you to do is go on an errand for me. Shouldn't you hurry? Our master will be returning soon. Y yes! I'll go at once! <sighs> I guess it can't be helped that he's drawn to the outside world right now. This current aberrance in the outside world is centered on that red-haired guest, and Persona users have gathered to it, as if caught up in that fate. Even my heart races, just thinking about it. It's troublesome having siblings so brimming with curiosity. <laughs> like I thought, there's something wrong with the entire town. This is just like the dark hour. Anyway, I've got to meet up with Junpei so we can look for Mitsuru-senpai and the others. Oh, I wonder if everyone's okay. I'm worried about Kikuno-san, too. If only Fuka was here. That's quite a bizarre look you have there, Yukari. Ah! Mitsuru-senpai? Oh, thank goodness you're okay! Are Fuka and Akihiko-senpai with you too? Where's Aegis? <laughs> Who knows? Most likely disgracing herself in some unsightly way somewhere. She's capable of getting herself killed on her own. Huh? Mitsuru-senpai? Don't you think so? You came to this place to do battle to begin with. Isn't that so, Yukari Takeba? Mitsuru-senpai, are you all right? Are you really hearing what I'm saying? Ah, oh, forgive me. We're both under the same circumstances, so let's get along. We were both released from those foolish restraints of our fathers, after all. <laughs> Don't play games with me! You promised me that we'd fulfill our dad's wishes! That we'd have them watch over us as we work together! Hold it right there! Please stop fighting over me! Huh? What the? Wowza! I was drawn to the smell of beauties, but here's a couple that are dressed kinda weird. But this isn't Michon! It's a complete fake trying to mimic Michon's beautiful bod! Michon? You mean Mitsuru-senpai? Uh, hold on a sec. A fake? That's right! This Michon is made of shadows and pull! Oh! 
shut up, you rubber ball. Now bring on the ring. Are you really a fake Mitsudu Senpai? Yes. I didn't intend to hide that fact from you. I am a duplicate, recreated from exact knowledge of who Mitsudu Kirinjo is. What? You took Mitsuru Senpai's form and mocked my dad! I will not forgive this! You're a shadow, right? I won't show you any mercy! She really was a shadow. Are you okay? Are you hurt at all? Nah, but thanks. I'm just a bit ashamed of myself. I knew that was a trap, but I couldn't keep myself from getting worked up. And that wasn't even the real Mitsuru, but a shadow. It's not even funny. Don't feel bad. I mean, I have a keen nose, but I have to get up close and personal to sniff out the difference. Really? Well, thanks. I survived thanks to you. One must be kind to the ladies. That's the family motto of the Teddy Clan. I, uh, if you say so. But you're a Persona user from this town, right? I'm Yukari Takiba, a member of the Shadow Operatives. Does that mean anything to you? Oh! Oh, you must be a friend of Michan then, Yuka-chan. So, are those clothes a uniform or something? Yuka-chan, huh? Actually, there's a good reason why I'm dressed like this. I can sense at least two reasons right around here. Hey, what are you... Hey! Feather smash! <laughs> How cruel! I was just saying hello. Ooh, no wonder you're a hero of Justice Featherman victory. Even the cold female boss Michon didn't stand a chance against you. Grrr. I know you're here, you imposter. Stop hiding and show yourself. Hm. All you did was roll on the ground, but you've got quite a cheeky mouth. But whatever, the real Michon's execution show is gonna start soon, you know? E execution? <laughs> you can't miss this event. The execution queen is going to be executed herself. If you don't want that to happen, maybe you should stop dallying around like this and hurry to the tower where I am, Yuka-chan! Hey, hold it right there! Give Michan and the others back! <laughs> Oh no, we have to hurry and save her. Teddy, didn't you say that you have a keen nose? Uh, yep. You want me to find Michan with my nose, right? Uh, well, I can't stop sneezing in this red fog, though. Oh, so that's why you were sneezing when you got here. So, um, it would be helpful if you could search for her. Hmm. I'll do it. If Michan's in trouble, I can't rest until she's safe. Thanks. Having you come along is really reassuring. Wowza bo bowza! I've been recognized for my skills. I, Teddy, swear to be your knight from this moment forth. Well then, shall we get going, Sir Knight? You can tell me more about your friends, too. But the next time you try something funny, I'll blast you with a hyper feather shot. Got it? Ah! You're so cruel, Yuka-chan! Another dead end. Careful, Koromaru. At this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if we ran into shadows.
Why didn't anyone tell me anything? I'm definitely strong enough to fight beside everyone else. Being removed from the unit just because of my age isn't fair. Right? Who's there? And you're irritated about it. Is that... me? What's the meaning of this? Even if you try to deceive us with those appearances, it's no use! Being a child only on the surface, peaceful only on the surface, friends only on the surface. Aren't such things only nuisances? Just shut up! I know how you feel because I'm you. Or to be more precise, I'm a perfect copy based on everything there is to you. That's why I can tell what you're thinking, what dissatisfies you, and how much you desire to fight. So what? What does what I'm thinking have anything to do with you? It does involve me. I mean, you want to fight, don't you? Then we have the same objective. Uh, what? Persona. Persona. <laughs> uh, crap! Look out, kid! Oh. <laughs> Hey, kid, what are you walking your dog around here for? And such a goddamn adorable dog, too. Huh? That wasn't what I meant to say. Hurry up and find somewhere safe. Things are dangerous here right now. Y you're... kanji -kun, here comes another. Sukuna Hikuna, go! kanji -kun. You were being reckless again. Are you all right? <clears throat> Naoto, grab the kid and get out of here. I'll take care of this. Bravery and recklessness are not the same thing. We'll do something about this. You're Kenamata, a member of the Shadow Operative's Emergency Special Suppression Unit, correct? And you're Koromaru-san. Please lend us your help. We want to return this town to its normal state. Huh? Shadow Operatives? Are you a Persona user too? <gasps> Wait. Does that mean the dog's got a persona too? Ugh. Looks, Looks like, like we have some more shitty guests. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Just, Just hurry up and make a decision. decision. Which, Which of you is fighting, fighting me? Oh, you, you don't, don't have, have to fight. fight. But, but your captured companions are having their powers drained. And, and things may become irreversible if you don't hurry. What? What are you doing to them? Who knows? Why don't you find out for yourselves? In any case, bring on the ring. A barrier! Indeed. It must mean that unless we fight and win, we won't be able to proceed any further. Oh, oh good, you understand. That, that makes, makes things easier. easier. This will be a one-on-one -on -one battle. Can we start fighting already? I can't wait any longer. Cut the bullshit, you fake! You just said it was one-on-one, -on -one, so what's with the dog? What, this? The mud hardly counts. He's, He's just, just a, a weapon, weapon after all. all. I had been too conceited. I didn't understand anything at all. Ken-kun? Naoto, don't butt into this. Comes a time when a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Ken, huh? I got your back, so settle this for yourself! Thank you. I will win this. Let's go, Koromaru! <laughs> Is this... a shadow? Huh? I thought somebody's shadow was supposed to turn into a persona when you beat it. Kanji-kun, didn't you notice that wasn't a shadow that came out of Ken-kun? It must have been a fake created to bear his likeness. The most obvious evidence of that is how both fighters were able to summon personas in battle. Defeating your own shadow makes them into your persona? I see. So that's how you acquired the power of personas. Huh? That's not how it went for you guys? Yes, we do things a little differently. In any case, thank you. <laughs> it's fine. <coughs> oh. 
Kanji-kun, are you all right? I'm sorry. It's my fault that you got hurt. Hey, it's nothing. But, uh, to make up for it... Yes, what is it? You think maybe I could, like, pat you on the back or something? Wh what Oh, wow. This is amazing! Oh my god, he's an albino Shiva! This is totes adorbs. <laughs> Shiva! Oh, you meant Koromaru. Huh? Who else? <laughs> Who's a good dog? Who's got himself a persona? Is it you? Is it you? We don't have time for this, Kanji-kun. Perhaps later. Uh, right. Sorry about that, Koro-chan. There's something I'd like to ask you, Ken-kun. Did you see the Midnight Channel broadcast that came on earlier? The one where Mitsuru-san and her friends were crucified, right? Was that for real? I saw it while we were in the helicopter. We were searching for them after they went missing. I see. Then it's quite possible that what was shown on the Midnight Channel was true. I have no conclusive evidence that the video was real, but we ought to consider that it was. If that fake me wasn't lying, then they're in danger. We have to hurry and rescue them. Indeed. Please allow me to get a better grasp of the situation first. Are there any other members of the Shadow Operatives here? There are three of us, including me. Oh, and if we managed to meet up with another one who might be here, that would make four. I came with Yukari-san and Labra-san. It seems that Junpei-san got here on his own as well. We split up at Juness, and we're now on the move separately. Labra-san headed to the tower, and Yukari-san went to find Junpei-san. Koromaru and I are... Um... We're pursuing someone in particular. Someone in particular? Is this person related to the case? I don't know yet. But I'm positive that he attacked our helicopter. I see. All right, then. Is there anything you know about what's happening in this town and that tower that suddenly appeared? Is this reminiscent of the dark hour that you have experience with? <gasps> That's... You do know something, but it's difficult to explain. Is that accurate? Yes, I'm sorry. I can understand well why you're keeping your lips tight, but... <laughs> hey, stop playing hard to get and just spill the beans already. You know you can count on us. Kanji-kun's right. Mitsuru-san and the others are close to us, too. They must be saved as quickly as possible. Don't we have the same objective here? And there's no reason that we shouldn't be cooperating with each other. Close to you. I see. So that's what happened. But even the document I read reported that Shuji Akutsuki had died. What is going on here? All right. If that's the case, then it'd be fastest if we just charge straight into that tower. Oh! Hold on. We should head to Juness for now. It's possible that the others have gathered there. And your injuries are considerable, Kanji-kun. I'll accompany you. Huh? Don't I have any say in? Kanji-kun? Uh, fine. What will you do, Ken-kun? Coming to Juness with us is one idea. I... Hey, what's the hold up? This should be a no-brainer for you. Huh? Your buddies are in danger, so you want to go save them, right? And stop wasting your time thinking about it and go. Kanji-san. There's no need to be concerned about us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone resembling Akutsuki on our way to Juness. There's no time. You need to hurry. Once we've met up with our friends, we'll find you again. Thank you. Koromaru and I will head to that tower. Ha! <laughs> That's all you had to say from the start. Careful, though. Another fake might try to jump you like the one here did. Yes, I know. I won't let my guard down anymore. Good! Now get going! Right. Please be careful, you two. Man, there's something about being in an empty department store that just makes me want to run around.
Holy whoa! Rizet? The real Rizet? Seriously? And who are you? I'm the guy who's gonna save you. Don't you fear, now I'm here. And you are? After what you've done to the town and how you've been protecting a fake, you must be the culprit. The what now? Don't play dumb. You did such horrible things to Labrys, and now you've gotten Matsuro-san and the others. Put this town back to normal, at once! Wait, there's a misunderstanding. Something's not right here. We need to talk this over. Please, won't you help me? That scary girl is picking on me. She's so mean. Huh? Uh, okay, she looks scary, but she doesn't look like a bad person. Actually, she's kind of cute. If you won't come, then I'll make the first move. Go Konohana Sakia! Persona! Like I was saying, can you wait a sec? Why are you doing this? Violence isn't the answer, you know. Don't waste your breath! I will protect my friends and my town! <gasps> Whoa! Ugh, what a pain! What are you, stupid or something? How long are you gonna keep up this stupid charade? Cheap sob stories don't bring in the ratings these days. What use are friends, anyway? What? That's not true. I try harder because of my friends. They make me stronger. They give me people to live up to and people to protect. And if you deny that strength, then I cannot lose against you. <laughs> you make me sick. Hey, aren't you supposed to be on my side? Hurry up and deal with her. Uh, um... <sighs> no. Hey! Say something, you baseball freak! Sorry. Huh? I can't do anything on my own. And people have been helping me all the time until now, too. But because I can't do anything by myself, I want to stay strong for someone else. That's why, even if you're the real Rosette, I can't side with you. What's with these cheap cliches? Take a look in the mirror before you say stuff like that. Oh well, I guess it's fine. It would have been more fun if the two of you actually went at it. But I'll, I'll invite you both, both to my last concert, concert before, before the world, world ends. ends. Now, bring on the ring! Um, you're not the culprit? I'm Junpei Iori, the nuclear warhead of the Shadow Operative Missile. I'm sorry I doubted you. The Shadow Operatives? You mean Mitsuru-san? Yep, that's right. Can you stand back a little? It hardly counts as an apology, but I'll take care of this for you. Holy crap. Man, that was tough. Oh, thank you, Junpei-san. I'm Yukiko Imagi. Yukiko-san, huh? Are you a high schooler from around here? Uh, can I ask you something? Huh? Are you hitting on me? What? C come on, really? I, I just want to know what's going on in this town. I'm sorry. I, I get caught up with weird people too often. I mean... You've got a beard and a baseball bat. Come on, you're treating me more like a criminal suspect than a dude who's hitting on you. I'm not a bad guy, okay? But I can see how you get caught up in situations like that. I mean, you are cute. When it happens, use the Junpei-style stranger danger technique. Junpei-style? Oh, is that like Hanayagi-style? Uh, something like that. I teach kids baseball, and I also teach them basic self-defense from suspicious people. Stranger danger technique number one. First, you have to yell really loud. Always start by yelling for help. Huh, okay. Pervert! 
Uh, what? Like that? Y yeah, that was pretty promising. Huh? Yukiko-senpai, get away from him! Himiko! Get away from her, you perv! Holy crap, that was close. This is a misunderstanding, Reset. A misunderstanding. Hold on, Risei-chan. He has a beard, but he's not a creep. Huh? I'm so sorry. I thought Yukiko-senpai was screaming because she was being assaulted. But I'm glad you're okay. I figured that if I came to the food court, there'd be someone else here. I'm glad you're okay too, Risei-chan. And it looks like you can use your persona to fight now? That's amazing! So, this is Junpei Iori. He's supposedly a nuclear landmine for the Shadow Operatives. Oh, so you're one of Mitsuru-san's team. I'm Risei Kujikawa. It's nice to meet you. You too. Just call me Junpei. And that's supposed to be nuclear warhead, okay? So, um, why are you here, Junpei-san? Are you on duty? Well, I, uh, kind of overslept. And then I found out that Mitsuru-senpai and the others are missing, and this town's been turned into this... Huh? Mitsuru-san and the others are missing? Are they okay? Well, the Midnight Channel came on again, and General Teddy said there'd be another tournament. It seems that's where they're being held. Huh? What's the Midnight Channel? It sounds kind of like an adult-rated cable show. They've already been captured? We've got to hurry and save them! Hold on, I'll try searching for them. Oh, but I think I know where they are. They're probably over where our school is on the hill. Tartarus? Junpei-san, is anybody else from the Shadow Operatives here too? Huh? Oh, yeah, I, I think so. Maybe, uh... Hmm? Are you really a member of the Shadow Operatives? You seem fishy. Maybe he's a fake after all. No, 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 I'm, I'm real. Look, all of us have a badge, like this. Huh. Um, well, give me a sec. Himiko, search mode! I have four readings heading towards Yasugami High and that tower. I think one of them is Labrys, but I don't know about the other three. Huh? Labrys is here too? Mm-hmm. I can't communicate with her because the interference is so bad, but I'm pretty sure. And those other readings aren't shadows, right? They feel like Persona users. One of them is strangely small, though. Uh, it's probably Koromaru. He's a dog. A dog? A dog can use a Persona? How? Uh, I don't know. He just can. Junpei-san, you seem... pretty vague... about everything. Oh, there's someone near here! Naoto-kun! And Kanji? Kanji's reading is pretty weak, though. He might be injured. You can't communicate with them, right? If they're close, then should we go directly there to help them out? Yeah, but then we're putting a hold on rescuing Mitsuru-san and her team, aren't we? Right. So you two should hurry to where this Kanji-kun is. I'll keep heading to that tower. Based on what you said before, it sounds like my comrades are going that way after all. Okay. Oh, but... Oh, right. That would leave you two girls alone. Do you want me to go with you? I mean, if you really want me, I'll do it. Junpei-san, are you going to be okay on your own? Are you sure you won't get lost? The town's turned into something like a maze. Ha! I'll be fine. Maybe I don't look it, but I've got experience with stuff like this. Oh, okay. We'll go meet up with the others before heading to that tower. Please be careful, Junpei-san. I keep telling you not to do. They're a real pain, you know. 
cripes, you cripes. never shut up, do you? Do you? Just shut Just up, you little shit. shit. Shut up before I cut you down shut right down now. Right now. I, thought I thought you called me because you needed me. You needed me. You're the one who's You're getting impatient. impatient. Well, well, I'm going I'm for a walk. For a walk. Son of a bitch, I really am gonna kill him sooner or later. Hey, switch with me! Looks like you're awake. What have you done with the others? Let them go, at once. So those are your first words after regaining consciousness. I don't think you understand your situation. I understand that I've been captured by some boorish people at the very least. Who are you? Is this all you're doing? That was a pointless question. Even if it is, what are you going to do about it? Jump down off that cross and kill me? Shuji Kutsuki, is this revenge for him? Revenge? A pointless word. What do you think of the previous performance? It must have seemed like something from Ikutsuki's own mind. Performance? Don't worry. He's dead. Not just dead, but killed. <laughs> you must understand. You're a Kirijo. Are you trying to say that we killed him? But he was... Ikutsuki doesn't matter. You're nothing but bait, after all. What? I've shown them how you've been captured. How touching. Your comrades are gathering one after another. What are you after? What do you intend to do to my comrades? <laughs> Even your calm, collected facade cracks when your little friends are involved. Don't worry. You'll all die together eventually. Not just you, but all life itself. <sighs> I will destroy this world. Everything will die. And this place will be reborn into a new world. His world. Where only one life remains. His world? Preposterous. I don't know how you intend to bring this about. But I won't let you create a world like that. I don't need your understanding. All I will do is grant a boy his wish. A boy? That's right. Doesn't it ring a bell, Kirijo? Your desires created that boy, and gave birth to me. What? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Minazuki. Sho Minazuki. I am the embodiment of your sins. Just take your time and wait. Uh, wait! There's nobody around. I hope everyone's okay. I found you. Yukun? Oh, thank goodness you're here! Yeah, I was waiting for you. I knew you'd be coming here. Huh? You ain't Yukun. You're a shadow. Not, Not bad, bad anti-shadow anti -shadow suppression, suppression weapon. weapon. Then, then again... again I never, I never intended, intended to deceive, deceive you by taking this form. Showing up looking like Yukun. What's your game, buddy? I came to warn you. Where, where you are is not where you should be. Well, what are you saying? Don't, Don't get, get so worked up. up. Don't you know it? Deep down, you know that you're nothing but trouble to them. <gasps> if you'd never shown up, this town would have been peaceful. They don't think of you as a friend. You're just a nuisance that brought them to score. Well, but they all accepted me for who I am! No matter what excuse you give, you're still just a weapon. A tool can never befriend a human, 
and you will never be accepted by them either. That ain't true! That can't be! I... What about you, Labras? What'll you do? What'll you do? I hope Mitsuru-san and the others are okay. Could you please go right to that tower? We'll head over there too, as soon as we can. I... I am a weapon. My body is mechanical and my heart was given to me. No matter what I wish I was, I can never be human. Oh? But you, Kun, and them, Mitsuru-san and Yukari-san, and even Ken-kun all think of me as someone precious. I'm the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. I'm Labrus, a member of the Shadow Operatives. I see. Since you were just awakened to your persona, I thought you could be shaken up again. But circumstances have changed. Allowed to change you by force. Now bring on the ring! You really want to do this, huh? Sorry, but I ain't about to hold back. <laughs> Don't, Don't underestimate me. I may be artificial, but I'm a complete copy. Based on everything there is to know about the real person, I'll prove it to you. Persona! Huh? No way! That can't be! <laughs> now, show the true power of an anti-shadow weapon! <laughs> A good fight. That was sufficient. My objective has been accomplished. I really was a shadow. <laughs> Labrasan! Kenkun! Kurumaru-san! I'm so glad you're safe! Is something wrong? Nah, I'm okay. If anything comes up, please feel free to talk to me about it. That is, if you're okay with sharing it with me. I see. That must have been tough. Yeah. I got to wondering what I would do if the real Yukun thought the same way. And that got me all scared. <sighs> it's difficult to truly believe in other people. ken -kun? It would be easy for me to say that he'd never think that way about you. But people are weak. They can't help but believe in things that make life easier for them. That's only deceiving yourself, though. You need to have resolve if you want to learn the truth. Even if that means getting hurt yourself. Resolve. If you're worried about the truth, then I believe you should go to him directly and find out how he feels. Otherwise, you'll never be true friends. Cancun. Oh, I'm sorry for being so impolite. It's easy to tell others to learn unpleasant truths, but it's more like I'm trying to convince myself. I see. A relationship between two people cannot be formed until they speak their minds to one another. Doing so requires this... resolve. Who's that? Who are you? Ah, how truly rude of me. My name is Theodore. I didn't intend to eavesdrop on you. But, as I wandered in search of Cola, I found myself here. That blue costume... Are you connected to Elizabeth? My! So you know of my sister. Um, Labrasan, is this person an enemy? Mm, probably not. Elizabeth helped me realize a ton of stuff, but... Well, she came on a little strong sometimes. Oh? Was she rude to you? She once forced me to eat a large quantity of cinnamon. And I thought my mouth was going to be desiccated forever. C cinnamon? Uh, please, don't worry about it. 
It is merely a bittersweet page from our youths. Uh, I see. Oh, right. My name's Labrys. This is Kenkun and Karamaru-san. Um, they're my... Well, it's nice to meet you, Theodore. We're Labrys-san's comrades. <laughs> comrades. Thank you for the polite introductions. It is a pleasure to meet you. By the way, on a different subject, has anyone seen my sister Elizabeth anywhere? Elizabeth? Nah. The last time I saw her was in a dream. I haven't seen her around here. Is that so? There's something I was meaning to ask her, and if I managed to find her, I saw traces of cinnamon along the road here. So I thought that she might have come this way. Ah, please forgive me. It seems I've detained you for too long. Please, do not be alarmed. I have no intention of getting in your way. Oh, that's right. We need to hurry. Labrasan, shall we get going? Huh? But don't we have to wait for you, Kabi-san? Do you remember what that General Teddy said when he showed up on the monitor? Oh, if we don't fight and win the P1 Climax within an hour, the world will end. Yes, that's why I think it's important we rescue Mitsuru-san and the others. Strong, too, after all. All right, let's go. See you, Theodore. Please. Take care. Still, where am I to obtain this cola? Koromaru-san, it would seem there's someone inside this classroom. Son, we'll get you down at once. Who? Oh. Ken? <sighs> Thanks for saving me, Ken. Labrys. And Koromaru, too? Sorry to barge in on you. I couldn't wait to hear your story, so I came here. <laughs> I'm glad you're so impatient. Sorry about this. I'm glad you're safe now. Where are the others? Ah, am I late again? Sorry, guys. My bad. Oh, hey! Ken and Koromaru! And, um, are you Labrys? Junpei-san, it's been a long time! I'm glad you made it here. Did you run into Yukari-san along the way? Glad? You're glad about stealing the limelight from me? Me already, huh? Oh well, I wasn't, wasn't gonna, gonna try, try to hide it anyway. <laughs> I've never faced Junpei-san before. Hey, Kenkun, are you okay with fighting somebody who looks just like one of your buddies? I mean, aren't you afraid? Like, what if that's the real one? That's a silly question, Labrys-san. Even if it did turn out to be the real Junpei-san, if I'm truly being challenged, then I can never back down. Truly challenged? Yes. When it comes down to it, I will stand up and fight for anything I truly believe in. Even if I must do so against my own companions. <laughs> Looks like you're finally learning to talk like that, Ken. <gasps> Akihiko-san! Labrys, let me tell you something. Even if the enemy you face is someone you once counted as a friend, in a battle for your beliefs, the bonds formed between true comrades will never break. Uh, are, are you trying, trying to bore, bore me to submission? submission? Let's, Let's get, get this, this over with already. already. Bring, Bring on, on the rain! <sighs> Selfish rules as always. Now, normally I'd take him on, but let me take a quick break from the fighting for now. Yes, please rest, Sonata-san. We can handle this. I can do it too.
Are you all right, Tsunada-san? Yeah, I wish I could say I was, but I'm pretty exhausted. I won't be able to call on my persona for a while. I guess that cross drains the spiritual energy from whoever's stuck on it. Weird. This thing happened to the fake Yukum, too. It's flowing up. Does that mean it's being... ...something else that I've noticed. Everyone in Inaba, aside from us Persona users, has vanished. Doesn't that remind you of the Dark Hour and Tartarus? That's ominous. If I remember right from last time we were here, the enemy was trying to turn Personas into shadows and collect their power. And we know all too well what happens when shadows gather in Tartarus. sonata son, immediately after we reached Inaba, we were attacked by someone who looked very similar to Ikutsuki. Ikutsuki? That's impossible. We saw him. Yes. Though I don't know if it was really him. But one of the Persona users from Inaba, Naoto-san, knew about Ikutsuki. The detective, huh? <laughs> running around out there, too. Indeed. I wanted to find an explanation to this situation as soon as possible, so we shared what we knew with each other. This is their town. No matter how much we might try to stop them, they have the right to protect this place. Mitsuru knows that, at least. Though it seems like she was trying to bear the entire burden herself again. And they're all incredibly skilled, too. If we can meet up with them, we'll be able to solve this case that much quicker. You made the right call, Ken. Thank you. <sighs> Ikutsuki, huh? If he's really behind this, then we're at even more of a disadvantage. Sorry, Ken, but... ...captured. I hadn't seen her in a long time till I... Don't worry, she hasn't changed at all. If anything, she seemed even more dreadful. <laughs> I see. I don't know if I should feel relieved or worried. What? Does Mitsuru-san scare you two? She's always really nice to me. You just don't know how frightening she can be. Try getting hit with that kick of hers. He won't eat normally for a week. She's very intense. And that's coming from me. Now that I think about it, I can't believe she was just a high school student when we met. Huh. If that's the case, then I'll try asking her to start being nicer to you two. You can't. Don't. You don't have to get so flustered, you know? <laughs> ah! Is this really Sensei's school? It looks even weirder than it did before! Yikes, this is really bad. I haven't seen anything like this since three years ago. There's a bunch of posters up. It kind of reminds me of a school festival. The Sister Complex Kingpin of Steel? That's Sensei! Sensei is so strong, kind, and a reliable leader. And over here is Chie-chan. She trains a ton every day, and she eats a ton, too. Huh? There's a poster of Mitsuru Senpai, too? The, the Imperious Queen of Executions. What's wrong, Yuka-chan? What about Mitchan? Oh, it's nothing. I just remembered something that happened during our school trip. Oh, an execution, huh? Well, I know what that's like. Huh? Have you done that to someone before? Nah, it was done to me. And I see Hammer to repay me for my innocent curiosity. Just remembering it gives me the chilly willies. Oh, I can imagine that. Talking to you reminds me of someone I know. There's an idiot in our group, too. Oh, lucky me! I found Yucatan! Junpei? Hold it right there! I told Junpei to wait for me at the station. What are you doing here? Uh, hey, wait a second! That's no way to greet your old friend! You're supposed to get emotional! Oh, wait... Are you another monster, Yukari? Hmm? A monster? Me? Wait, so are you the real Junpei? Ugh! He reeks of sweat! Seriously, can't you have some consideration for the people who have to smell you? He's real! 
Huh? Whoa, aren't you the guy who was on TV earlier? Why are you with Yucatan? Why? Because I'm Yuka-chan's knight in fuzzy armor, obviously. In other words, we share a pledge of eternal love. E eternal love? Yuka-chan, do you know this weirdo with a beardo? Whoever he is, I don't think he's a fake. Yeah, I know him. You seem energetic as always, Junpei. Oh, is that what's going on here? Wait, don't be ridiculous. I'm obviously the real me. Well, I'm glad you're safe, and sorry, I told you to wait at the station. But then I heard that Mitsudu-senpai and the others are in danger. Nah, it's cool, I was kind of wandering around too. But wait, they've been captured? Seriously? Yeah, about that. What? Junpei, you ran into Risei-chan and Yuki-chan? Were they all right? Yep, totally fine. Man, school chicks these days are really tough. By what? the way, uh, who are you anyway? Aren't you that, what was it, General Teddy? How bear you? It's outrageous that you treat me the same as that faker. I'm the one, the only, the adorable Teddy. The General Teddy from the broadcasts appears to be a copy of Teddy here. Teddy's a persona user from this town, and he's looking for his friends. Huh? You can use a persona? I figured you were nothing but a walking costume. Grr, how rude. I'm not just an empty suit. I have a persona, and I have something inside, too. Look! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Whoa, white guy! There really is something inside. I worked hard to grow this body because I wanted to score with a girl. Nice to meet you, Junpei. Oh, uh, your Japanese is a little off, though. You make a costume, not grow it. Do you understand? Make, not grow. Stop talking like an idiot, Junpei. But wow, I figured you were empty, too. Hmm? I'm sorry, did I surprise you, Yuka-chan? Ugh, oh, this is starting to break my brain. I'm sorry to ask you this once you took it off, but can you just keep your costume on for now? Aw, oh, but I just came out. Ooh, but this must mean that you like my bear skin better. Ta-da! Look, look, it's original flavor Teddy again. So don't hold back, ladies and... Other ladies, start your snugglings! Oh, come on, guys, enough playing around. Let's go. We have to hurry and find the others. Huh? Oh, right. Go, go, go! Huh? But I'm already picking up on someone. The rest are shadows. This is Kanji. He loves manly battles and is really good at grabbing people and stabbing things. Uh, this poster is giving me bad vibes. I don't want to charge in without a plan and run into this guy. Let's look for another way in, maybe. Don't be stupid. Someone's here, right? Come on, we're going in. Finally, you showed up. Hello, boys! I've been waiting forever and ever for you. Especially you, Slugger. Um, just to be clear, you don't know this guy, right? No! He's got no business calling me out like a designated hitter. Hey, hey, Teddy! That's your friend, right? Why don't you sniff him and see if he's one of those fakes? I don't have to! That's definitely a fake! If Kanji really liked you, he'd be stuttering and baking you treats instead of talking like that! Oh, I've got a treat for you. It's, it's in, in my fists, and I, I can't, can't wait, wait to show it to you. Bring on the ring! All right, you guys go in there and fight him. I'll uh, cheer you on from over here. Don't be a wuss. You're fighting too. Let's deal with this quickly. You're, You're not going, going to beat me down, down that easily. easily. Here, here we, we go, go damn it! So, just to be clear, I didn't even want to go in here, all right? So this is all on you guys.
Huh? I'm sensing that someone through there. Junpei, hurry and open this. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> huh? This is escapade. Fuka! Seriously? Whoa! Fuchan! I'll save you! I'm a coming! Fuchan! Are you okay? Wake up! I'd better give you the bareth of life! Feather drop kick! Ah! Yuka-chan, I was just joking! This isn't the time for jokes! Fuka, can you hear me? We've come to rescue you! Ah, uh, are you coming too? Yukari-chan and Junpei-kun, did you rescue me? Sorry we're late, but you're gonna be okay now. Hey, Fuka, it's been a while, huh? And now that we're here, there's nothing to worry about. Grr! Who would do such a thing to Fuchan? I'll never forgive them! <sighs> Thank you too, Teddy. But have you seen Mitsuru-senpai and... <sighs> She's really exhausted. You shouldn't try to move for a while. It doesn't look like the others are around here. We have to rescue them. I couldn't do anything. All right, well, let's let Fuka rest here while we go on. We just have to rescue Akihiko-san and Mitsuru-senpai, right? We can't leave Fuka alone here. What if another fake shows up like before? Oh, right, um, hmm. Alrighty, I'm volunteering to stay behind. You will? Leave it to me. I can use a persona, and I'm the best at escorting ladies. Well, if you're that confident, maybe we should leave this to him. I'm counting on you, Sir Teddy. Be her knight. Teddy, are you Kun and the others here too? Huh. From what Junpei told us, Risei-chan and Yuki-chan left Juness to look for Kanji and Nao-chan. But if they notice what's happened to the school, I'm sure they'll end up here. I see. If Risei-chan's with them, then there's no need to worry. Yukari-chan, Junpei-kun, please go on ahead and save the others. I'll remain here with Teddy. I'll contact you all with my persona once I've recovered a little. Please, just give me a little time. Hey, Junpei, stop going so far ahead. It's bad enough that I can't really see that far. Seriously, this hallway goes on forever. You think it's time for a nostalgic replay of Junpei's Believe It or Don't? What? Uh, hey! There are many strange things in this world. Imagine, if you will, a boys' baseball team led by the handsome coach Junpei. What you'll hear next is a true story, a tale of mystery and fear. Better pass! Knock it off, you know I hate that ghost story stuff. And when did you start coaching kids? Ow, will you stop hitting me? Didn't I tell you, I coach a kids team, and I'm surprisingly good at it. Is that why you reek of sweat? Do you ever wash that shirt? What kind of slob do you take me for? And you're one to talk. You're wearing some pretty funky clothes yourself. I have a reason for this, jeez. I knew I should have changed. Dead end, huh? Well, I guess we better go on in through here. This is creepy. But maybe this is where General Teddy is making his broadcast from. The Moonlight Bridge. Yucatan, is that? I guess we have to save her. But how? Are we gonna head all the way back to Iwatodai? There's no reason to worry about things like that. After all, this place is your final destination. Doesn't it bring back memories? 
You fought those artificial persona users on that bridge. It was a conflict of burning passion. There was one simple rule. Power decides all. Now, try and fulfill my innermost desire. Bring on the ring! Hey, Yucatan. I know this is a fake Akihiko-san, but isn't that the kind of thing he's normally ranting about? Maybe, but this isn't the time to talk about stuff like that. We can't lose no matter who we're up against. Oh, are you on fire, Yucatan? All right, I'm getting pumped too. Let's go for a grand slam. Whew, that was a really good copy of Akihiko-san, huh? What a fight! Wait a second. Hey, Junpei, is that really the Moonlight Bridge in Iwatodai? It's not like there's any other Moonlight Bridge, is there? But remember how we found Club Escapade in this school earlier? That might mean... Junpei, open that door! Huh? This, uh, gotcha! I'll save you, Agus. Yucatan, do me a favor and catch her. Got it. Persona! Agus, are you okay? Junpei-san and Yukari-san? Where am I? I'm sorry. If I'd been better prepared, I would have been able to keep everyone safe. Come on, it's okay. We still need to hurry and rescue everyone else, though. Considering the situation, it would appear we were used as bait to lure you all here. I immediately lost consciousness after falling off the cliff, but I do remember something. What's that? I sensed that someone was close by. That must have been the person who's behind this entire case. The culprit? I guess, did you see what he looked like? No, Yukari-san. But I did sense something odd about that person. I'm sure that it was a resonance of a plume of dusk. Huh? What? What's a plume of dusk thing again? Simply put, a plume of dusk is what can grant a heart to machines such as myself. Does that mean the culprit has a plume of dusk with him? Ah, oh, right. Machines don't work in the dark hour. So you have to stick these plumes of dusk into them, right? Then is the perpetrator using a motorcycle or something like Mitsuru Senpai's? No. That was not the reaction of a plume of dusk being loaded into an electronic device. It was obviously the wavelength of a heart like mine. So w what does that mean? Is the kidnapper a robot like you, I guess? That is what I cannot figure out. The reading itself was definitely that of a human, after all. I'm starting to get confused. What's going on here? Thinking about it now won't do us any good. Let's make sure everyone's rescued before we discuss it anymore. Don't worry. There's no way we can lose against most enemies as long as we stick together. Yukari-san. Thank you. You're absolutely correct. All right, let's go then. But, uh, which way? You hear me? Yukari-chan, Junpei-kun, can you hear me? Fuka, are you okay now? Yukari-chan, thank goodness. Teddy is helping me to strengthen my search ability. I had a vague idea of where you're all located, but I didn't have the strength to communicate with you on my own. Fuchan, my nose is at its limit. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep this short. I sense Lavras near you, Yukari-chan. I think Yukun and his friends are with her too. But I sense something large there too. It's possible that they're in combat. My sister is here? Where is she? Directly ahead of where you are. You should be able to reach them in no time. We'll head there immediately as well. 
Please, please, please. There's a door on the other side. That must be it. Okay, let's go. Will you be all right, Igus? My systems are not all at standard parameters, but they are steadily recovering. <laughs> this kind of brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? Kind of like reliving a page from our youth, isn't it? Don't be ridiculous. There's no way it would all fit on a single page. I agree. This place is deeply important to me. It's also where everything started. I cannot let my feelings from that time go to waste. That is why we cannot yield, no matter what. I'll be sure to return the favor with my fists. What the? What is this place? Doesn't feel like anywhere else. Sonata-san, this... Talk about having bad taste. Whoever's doing this really wants this to be the entrance to hell. Mitsuru-san! <coughs> Mitsuru-san, we'll get you down at once! <laughs> Look out! Confirming the presence of additional targets for elimination. Seriously, you keep coming one after another. I guess. Oh, there should be no problem. You can stay here and watch while I deal with them. It should take no time at all. Yokun! Akihiko-san! Labrys! Uh, master? Labrys is here too? Going on. You did this, didn't you? Of course I did, sister. I am a weapon. It is my mission to follow orders and eliminate all targets. Now, sister, why are you getting in my way? Get in your way? As you may have guessed, I am a duplicate of Igis. But I am such an exact copy of her specifications that I may as well be the real thing. I will carry out my master's orders. I cannot comprehend why you, a fellow machine, are trying to prevent me from carrying out my task. You're a tool, just as I am, sister. Unfortunately, you were stolen in the previous battle. And now, we must be enemies. The Shadow Operatives control you, while I take my orders from my master. Isn't that the only real difference between us? That ain't true. I'm doing this to my own free will! Free will? Is that what you base your argument on? Our memories are nothing but data. Ones and zeros in our minds. How can you prove that what you know is true? That your mind wasn't written over? Hey, Labra! Sonata-san, let's leave this to her. I'm sure she'll be fine. Sorry about that. You're right. I should trust in her. Sister, friendship and trust means nothing to the likes of us. Yet you still attempt to fight me. You're wrong. <clears throat> I'm an anti-shadow weapon, too. I... I can understand what you're saying, but there's something I'm even more sure of. 
Igis told me that going through the joy and pain of different things made her into who she is now. I remember that. And now I remember that the reason why I can stand here and fight you was thanks to all our sisters who died to make me who I am. Those are painful memories. But if I forgot them, I wouldn't exist. That's what I'll fight for. This pain ain't made up. These memories are my own that I formed with everybody else. They aren't fake. They're my heart. Labrys. Labrys. Understood. Master, I have a request to make. Testing, testing. What's this? A dumb old machine calling me up? What nerve? I'm a busy bear. Forgive me, but I have a favor I must ask of you. Please lift the barriers on this battlefield and allow these people to come inside. Huh? You want to let us in? I want to fight them. I wish to crush all their bonds before my sister's very eyes. What? Oh, for Pete's... When you make a copy of a real person, the copy gets all the quirks of their personality, too! Ah! Well, rather than getting persona fragments from those dried-up old husks, you might get fresher ones from those guys. Persona fragments? Oh, did I say too much? Anyway, let's have a ring change! <laughs> You! Are you all right? Yosuke-kun! Chie! Thank you for inviting us in before your battle concluded. But we're not gonna show you any mercy. There is no need to thank me. I am about to eliminate all of you right now, after all. Time for me to make a comeback as well. This is a grudge match now! You guys seem a little different from what I was expecting you to be. But I won't be fooled. I'll protect everyone with all my strength. <sighs> Looks like we won. You, you don't, don't need, need to, to look, look at, at me like that. that. Either way, we only have a limited lifespan. What do you mean? We were created for the sole purpose of fighting you. Once that duty has been carried out, all we have left to do is expire. Fighting is your duty. I will not bid you good luck. I wish for my master to emerge victorious, if possible. Thank you, Akihiko-san. That was too close. Huh? What's a dog doing here? I mean, he's adorable, but... Sorry for causing you such trouble. It seemed like you were facing quite a difficult fight. Ooh, I'm ashamed to call myself your student. No, I should be thanking you. I'm sorry if you were all worried. Nah, that's not it. When we got to this weird room, we found Mitsuru-san up on a cross. So Chie and I rushed over to get her down, but there was somebody there. It wasn't the fake Igis? No, I don't think so. I didn't see a face, but the voice sounded like a guy. You didn't see his face? How far away could he have been? Well, he was kind of standing in the shadows. And the moment I saw his red eyes, my whole body froze up like I was petrified or something. That's right. When I went in to save them, I was attacked by a persona I've never seen before. Red eyes. And a persona? This thing's not coming apart. What gives? It was easy enough to get Akihiko-san off of his. I'm not having any luck either. Damn it, why? Mitsuru-san, please wake up! What's wrong, Koromaru? Is someone there? Someone's coming this way. It can't be. You're... 
So I wasn't seeing things. Shuji Ikotsuki. Ah, Akihiko and Ken. It's been a while. Are you enjoying this? You... So you were the one behind this after all. Now don't glare at me like that. This is the perfect place for our reunion. It was quite troublesome to prepare. The one you're taking great pains to find will be the one giving you great pains. Or something like that. <laughs> We're finally reunited, and I don't even rate a hello. Or do you not want to speak to someone you killed? Is that it? Huh? Killed? Ah, you must be the fifth generation weapon Labrys. Poor thing. Didn't they tell you? That's right. They killed me. Of course, since I'm standing right here, I guess... They almost killed me would be more precise. That's ridiculous! You're the one who lied to us and tried to kill us! Calm down, Ken. He destroyed himself. He can't possibly still be alive. Who are you, really? Oh, how cruel. Here I am, talking right before your eyes, and you still won't believe it. Why don't we ask the three who just arrived what they think of this? How are you? Don't be fooled, everyone. I can feel it. What's standing there is... Indeed. That is not Ikutsuki-san. He's a fake, created by a shadow. <laughs> Just a foolish trick. That's what I thought. <sighs> ah, well. You're a piece of junk, but you have a good nose, huh? You could have let me play around for a little while longer. You. So everybody connected to Kurijo's here, huh? The looks on your faces are hilarious! You talk the big talk, but deep down, you were totally freaking out over Oli Kutsuki chan <laughs> I couldn't see your faces in person last time, though. You remember, don't you? It was when I took control of that scrap like the puppet it is! <gasps> you were behind the abduction of Labrys then. Yeah. It was a crazy performance, huh? That weapon took a lot of whipping. <laughs> uh, you need an introduction or something? My name's Sho. Sho Minazuki, and I'm behind all this. Welcome to my world, Kirijo lackeys. Sho... Minazuki? What is the meaning of this? What are you setting us all up like this for? Huh? What are you whining about, you little shit? I was letting you have some fun. It's a little entertainment. Oh, then I guess I do have a score to settle with you. Ikutsuki was my dad, after all. Dad? That's impossible. You're lying. He didn't have any kids. Doesn't matter. I'm still gonna kill you all. <laughs> Toying with people and hurting them like this. What are you trying to accomplish? Huh? I've had enough. If you're hurting from your dad being killed, I get that. But is this the only way you can deal with it? Labrys, Mitsuru-san's people are risking their lives to try to end this tragedy themselves. They're doing their best to take responsibility for what happened. And I already know that your Ikutsuki guy lied to Mitsuru-san, betrayed them, and... Shut up, you goddamn puppet! <gasps> you never even met him, so enough with your shit! Or what? Are you gonna lecture me like you're a real person? What a joke. You bastard! But don't get the wrong idea now. I already told you that I don't give two shits about Akutsuki. He used me and threw me away, that asshole. <sighs> it doesn't matter. See, all you bastards are in my way. Every single living thing is in my way. Every goddamn thing! What? What are you talking about? That's just insane! <laughs> I'm insane? It's this world that's insane. All this bullshit about the power of friendship and close bonds and whatever. It's a pile of garbage. 
Trash! Bastards, die! Just go away forever, goddammit! I'll get rid of every last one of you! I'll annihilate you along with this entire world! What? We know this emotion. Labrys? It's... He doesn't truly hate the world. What he really feels is... Labrison, look out! Don't say another word, you failure. <gasps> Ugh, what a drag. I'm tired of this. Well, I've already got enough persona fragments anyway. Persona fragments? Wait, do you mean... So, it's time to get the real show started. Here's a question for you. What do you think this is? That's... Is that the remote Akutsuki was using when he controlled Igis? No. Stop him! Too late. Activating the anti-shadow suppression weapon. Labrys! <laughs> Labrys! Labrys! <laughs> this is fun! Oh, by the way... I didn't stick a device in it or anything to do this. <laughs> a weapon is there to be controlled. So, of course, there's a remote control. It's been built into that thing from the very beginning. <laughs> I told you I'd destroy everything, right? Friendship, what a joke. One push of a button and it all means nothing. Sister, please pull yourself together. <gasps> Now! <laughs> you just won't die, will you? That's not good enough! Damn it! <laughs> not one of you's coming to help, huh? You couldn't anyway! My remote controller's more of a remote control her! <laughs> Kidding! Now, Labrys, kill the scion of Kirijo first! <laughs> you specialize in tearing apart your companions, right? No! No, I'm not your puppet! I have a heart of my own! <laughs> a heart? Like I give a crap. You want me to erase all that too, then? Stop! 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 Please! No! Uh, Labrys! Damn it, you son of a bitch! If it's tough for you to hurt your companions, then I'll blast your consciousness into nothing! So hurry up and tell them! Labrys, don't, don't give up! Don't Believe give up. in yourself! Believe in yourself! <laughs> Bonds? A heart? What a lame ass! Just, Just like, like always. always. You're... the other me. That's, That's right. right. I am you. I'm, I'm the you within, within yourself that you keep a lid on. on. <laughs> I don't think you really understand. Well, I'm in a good mood, so I'll make an exception and tell you. Your body is special. You have two memory banks. One for yourself, another, a black box that would allow you to absorb the memories of the other Labrys units when you killed them and took their name. It was such a surprise. Thanks to that, even after I became one with you, my personality was preserved in it. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. It is pounding with the resonations of the plume of dust. I've been waiting all this time for your will to weaken. And now? Now this body is finally mine! What? It's about time you ended this. Believe in your friends? Look where that got you. Am I right? Don't you hate him? Don't you wanna... 
destroy him? Enough of this bullshit about bonds and camaraderie. All you have to do is destroy everything. Put that gigantic axe on your back to use. <laughs> Huh? What? Labrys! Hey, you piece of junk! Can't you follow the simplest order properly? How broken are you? <laughs> <laughs> follow orders? <laughs> that voice... <laughs> Kiss my skinny little ass, you punk kid! As, As if, if I, I listen to whatever crap you ordered me to do. Labrys? I can destroy whatever I want. That includes whiny rats like you who try to get in my way and order me around. You piece of junk. You call me a brat, but you're no different. I mean, what the hell are you? <laughs> Can it, brat? Labrys has turned into a really bad girl. That's Labrys' shadow. I thought she had disappeared. Ah, crap. So wiping out the rational mind made its true self show up? Goddamn shitty robot, it's completely useless! Not the crap, brat! Come, Come at me! me. Come, Persona! I'm serious! What? Seriously? She can even summon that cow monster from before? Wait, did she just call it her Persona? You little... What the hell's going on here? What do you expect, Ariadne? <laughs> that little, little thing isn't worthy of being my partner. You better watch out. I know ordinary shadow. I'm finally free. Free to wreak as much havoc as I want. <laughs> Damn remote! What the hell are you, damn it? Oh, what's, what's wrong, wrong, little boy? Don't, don't tell me you're done already. I am not even close to being satisfied. Is that the real Labrys? No. That's her suppressed emotions running wild. That show guy brought this on himself. He couldn't have known something like this would happen with Labrys' memories. But this is bad. Yeah. She was already a handful when we all went up against her. This is gonna be even worse now. Damn it. I guess I should put an end to you now. <laughs> How do you want it? Ah, uh, yes. You wanted me to tear you apart, didn't you? You monster. Try it if you can. You're not worth my time, but I don't care anymore. I'll do everything in my power to destroy you! Stop, Labrys! You've done enough! Don't do it! He's not worth it! Out of my way, you bastards. I don't need more of your friendship games from last time. No! If you're seriously gonna do this, then you've gotta get past us! What are you doing? It's too dangerous! Get away from her! I'm sorry, Akihiko-san, but we can't back down from this. We're Labrys' friends! We could never let her accept this fate! Huh. <laughs> We're not sticking up for this guy, but we'll never let one of our friends become a murderer! <laughs> she... she put her weapon down! This, this is, is more garbage. garbage. Do whatever, whatever you, you want, want, you idiots. idiots. This place... What's happened to me? <laughs> you. I've had enough of this shit. I'm, I'm not, not dealing, dealing with it anymore. anymore. Huh? You're... You're giving control of my body back to me? <laughs> You're, You're the, the one who, who likes, likes playing house. You were actually... <sighs> you did that to help me. Thank you. Shut up. Just, Just take, take over, over for me already. already. Oh, and... <sighs> Labrys! Labrys! Labrys, are you alright? Yukun? Everyone... She's back to herself? You're actually lonely deep down, aren't you? You don't like being alone. Uh, Labrys? Now what? Are you even more broken now? 
You think I'm lonely? If you're that mixed up, maybe destroying you would be doing you a favor. I was like you once. You just haven't realized what's in your heart. It's because no one ever accepted you for who you are. Pa, Labrys, what are you saying? That guy... I know, I know, but I understand his feelings, too. He was raised by this Akutsuki guy, but when Akutsuki died, he was just thrown out into the world. You can't bear to live in this world, so you want to tear it down around you. But isn't that just something you're telling yourself? Even I found a home with Mitsuru-san and them. If you just opened up your heart, you could live in this world. You could have friends. Shut up. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! What the hell are you yapping about, you stupid puppet? I... I... What is this? My legs! I can't... Not this power again! Damn it! This can't be... This power... Stop putting useless ideas in his head. Do you intend to destroy him? You're... Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. I am the one who will grant this boy his wish. What happened to this guy? He seems completely different now. Wait, I sense the plume of dusk. Who are you? I have no need to explain. This boy yearned for me, and I awakened within him. That is all. <sighs> Whatever you're doing to us, is this another of your powers? Oh, don't get me wrong. This power doesn't belong to me. I'm only borrowing it. Borrowing? The place is shaking. This isn't good. The building's creaking. It's about time everything was ready. This is all thanks to you, so thank you. I have gathered enough Persona fragments. What was all this fighting for? What are you going to do? It's simple. I borrowed power to envelop this town in red fog and make you fight against your fakes. It was all to carve off of your personas. Huh? Carving our personas? That's right. Our bait truly came in handy. All that's left is to awaken that thing. So it's like we thought. This town feels like it's in the dark hour. And there's a tower similar to Tartarus. You're going to try to awaken death. Just like Ikutsuki! Ah, uh, not precisely. What I'm trying to awaken is not the same thing you fought against. I will grant this boy his wish and create his world. <clears throat> Damn it. If only I could move. I'll be going now. There were still some finishing touches that must be made. You are free to come after me, but your missing friends are in danger. It would be wiser to go and rescue them. Wait! <laughs> Yukiko? No, that's a fake Yukiko-san. Hey, yeah, it's not just her. What have Risei and Naoto been up to? Minazuki just said that they're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Before you worry about that, you have to deal with me. Labrys, everyone. I'm sorry, my judgment was flawed. I'm responsible for all of this. Jeez, there you go again with that stuff. Still, I'm really glad you're okay. Thank you. It's all thanks to you. 
Oh, Fuka's safe too. She's headed this way from somewhere else right now, though. I see you managed to find Yukari-san, Junpei-san. Hey, Ken? Man, you've grown. I mean, of course I did. It's all going according to plan. But I heard that you fell asleep on your train and ended up here by accident. You never change, do you? Labrys! I'm so glad you came. I thought we were done for. I thought you turned into your shadow for a moment back there. What was that all about? I don't know. But I guess my shadow's been within me all this time, watching everything I've seen. And I think she's changing, too, even if only little by little. And it was all of you who brought me back. You really did help us. Thank you. Labichon! Thank goodness! I was so worried about you! Labrys, you came to save us, right? Thank you. Whoa, he really is a talking costume. Um, you're not General Teddy, right? Gah, of course I'm not. Look at my fur. It's completely different. It's 100% genuine Teddy fur. <laughs> Koromaru-san says that his is 100% genuine dog fur. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a dog. Hey, what kind of fur is your coat made of, Mitsuru-san? This? Kikuno bought this coat, so... No, let us save the discussion of fur for later. Narukami, I must thank you. It seems we're once again indebted to you. No, I have to apologize for breaking my promise to you. Your people have helped us out, too. <sighs> That's fine. You helped me remember something important. We did? That's right. Trying to keep danger and death at a distance only results in putting life at a remove as well. I knew this when I established the Shadow Operatives, but it seems that I became too focused on thinking only about the present. <laughs> Mitsuru-san. Allow me to ask for your help now, Narukami. I'd like you and your friends to cooperate with us. We need your assistance to solve this case. Do I really need to answer that? Of course we'll protect Inaba. By the way, why don't we all compare what we know about the situation? Oh, you're on the ball, Ken. I was just about to suggest that myself. Uh, yep. Yeah, right. You're just trying to claim his idea. I mean, seriously. How lame do you have to be to try and steal credit from someone so much younger? Who in the world is that show kid? Didn't he say something about Akutsuki being his dad? Well, presumably he had a life before he was the chairman of Gekukan High. Couldn't he have had a child during that time? No. Ikutsuki had no family, let alone a child. The only things on his mind were his experiments and the fall. Yeesh, so he was a mad scientist? Oh, don't tell me he was doing human experiments, too. Yes, he gathered orphans from different areas and performed inhumane research on them to try to artificially induce their personas. Whoa, seriously? That's messed up. Even after Ergo research was disbanded, it seems Ikutsuki stole the research data and continued performing such experiments personally. One of those test subjects was named Sho Minazuki. The records state that he was the youngest of the test subjects. An orphan, huh? Did Ikutsuki adopt him? No, Sho Minazuki was nothing more than a favorite subject to Ikutsuki. Test subject? But he's a person! How could he do such a horrible thing? The Kirijo group of the time was an evil place, suffused with his arrogance. It isn't hard to imagine how he was treated with Akutsuki in charge. Minazuki was raised in a solitary environment, never interacting with anyone. I suspect his experiences from that time greatly affected the development of Minazuki's current personality. So that's why he said Akutsuki was his dad. And he told bad jokes like Akutsuki, too. Hey, that reminds me. In the middle there, he suddenly seemed like a different person. What was that all about? Mitsuru-san, when he reintroduced himself as Minazuki, I sensed some kind of resonation with my plume of dusk. What could that mean? There is no information on that. The same goes for the power he had when his eyes turned red. 
Perhaps they are a result of Ikutsky's experimentation. The entirety of the report has not been deciphered, but Ikutsky's data does mention Minazuki's name and the Plume of Dusk. Kikuno's decoding it now. Oh, I, I have it too. Kikuno-san entrusted me with it because it was an emergency. Ah, that's fine. Either way, I was intending to share it with all of you once the report had been completely deciphered. Hey, when he got all cold and called himself Minazuki, he said that he was an after-revenge for Ikutsuki, right? Correct. Based on what he said, it seems this Minazuki set this situation in motion to grant the hot-headed boy his wish for immense solitude. And then he was talking about persona fragments. Yeah, that's right. He said that he covered the town in this red fog and was carving our personas by making us fight in it. The sense of fatigue we felt when we were on those crosses is most likely part of that same plan. Looks like we completely fell for it. But he said that he'd gathered enough fragments of our personas, didn't he? Then... Yes, he's most likely completed that step of the plan. What was that part about awakening something? I mean, I can guess that it's going to be pretty dangerous, but what's he trying to call down? I know nothing about that. But if it's similar to what we encountered at Tartarus, it's nothing welcome. Persona fragments, huh? What in the world is he planning on using them for? Oh, that reminds me. Yukiko and the others! That's right! That Minazuki guy said that Yuki-chan and the people with her are in danger! Naoto-san and Kanji-san said that they were going to Juness. According to Junpei-san, supposedly Yukiko-san and Risei-san were at the same location. Huh? Oh, right. But those two said they were gonna go look for Kanji and the others, so I don't think they're still there. They could miss each other. Yes, I'm concerned about them as well. Let's split into two teams. One heads to the top of the tower while the other searches for Narukami's friends. Yamagishi, perform a search and try to locate them as best you can. Understood. I don't know how well it'll go, but I'll try searching for everyone. We're counting on you. Persona. There's so much interference. The fog might be getting thicker. Oh, I have two readings near Juness. That may be Kanji-kun and Naoto-kun. They seem to be moving towards Juness. And I found another two readings in town on the move together. Do you think that's Yukiko and Risei? Oh, I'm so worried. Oh, what the? We must hurry. Yukari, Iori, Amada, and Koromaru. You're the least wounded. You pursue Minazuki. Got yes. it. I will go with Akihiko and Aigis to rescue Narukami's friends. Got Understood. It. Yamagishi, you remain here and back us up. Narukami's group, you're all too exhausted. I ask that you remain here and regain your strength. I'll do everything I can to assist you. Whoa, seriously? Will- No, we should stay here. Fukusan needs someone to protect her as well. Hey, what about me? I'm perfect! Mitsuda-san, Teddy's got a great nose, so I think he'll at least be of some use. Please let him help you find our friends. Some use? How rude! I'm totally useful! My babe dar is up and running! Uh, I see. That's promising. Well then, you can assist us, Teddy. Mitsuru-san, the school and this town have both turned into labyrinths. It would be unproductive for us to search the town all in one group. Yeah, I guess is right. If we're all caught together again, things will get worse. Let's split into two teams to search faster. All right, I can provide some guidance as well. I guess and Teddy, you partner up. Akihiko and I will go together. Once you meet with Narukami's friends, head for Juness. We'll regroup there and secure the area. Woo! I get to be alone with Aichan? Their bodies were artificial, but their love was real. Okay, I'm in. Labrys, I should ask you this now. What do you think about that young man, Sho Minazuki? Well, I know we can't let him destroy the world and all, but... But... I think he's the same as me. I want to see him one more time and try to talk to him. Just like you all saved me, I want to save Sho. Very well. I want you to pursue Minazuki as well. I'm counting on you, Labrys. Okay.
Are you all okay? I don't sense any enemies nearby, so please concentrate on regaining your strength. Right. Ow. Are you okay, Fukasan? You were only rescued a little while ago. Is it okay for you to use your persona so soon? Thank you. I'm all right. I'm sorry we dragged you into this. Oh, we just screwed up. We're really thankful you guys came. In any case, let's recover as quickly as possible so we can go after Labrys and the others. Yeah, I agree. We're the ones you freaked out! Oh, I apologize. I was caught in the moment. Those clothes. They're very similar to the dresses Margaret and Elizabeth wear. Ah, so you are acquainted with my sisters. I am their younger brother, Theodore. Elizabeth? That really strong girl with the book? What's her family doing here? Well, my sister has given me a task. So I've come to the world outside, but along the way, I sensed the presence of Elizabeth nearby. And that's how you came out of this coffin? What kind of horror flick did we walk into? Um, Elizabeth is close by? She's tremendously powerful, but I don't sense her at all. Oh, she is most likely hiding her presence, so as to not hinder your journey. But I am certain that she will be watching over a battle around here. As evidence of this, please look here. There are potato chip crumbs in the bottom of this coffin, and in her favorite flavor at that. Well, if anyone was going to eat potato chips in a coffin, it'd be her. These guys are putting kind of a damper on the urgency of this situation. I like the local variety with the beef flavor. Oh, I can't get enough. Can we stop talking about potato chips? Um, Theodore, right? We haven't run into Elizabeth. Yes, it seems I was just a tad too late. It's all right. There was merely a little something I wished to ask her. What's that? Upon closer inspection, it seems you're all quite wounded. Forgive me for asking so brazenly, but why is it you continue to fight even when you have been hurt to this extent? Why? Um... Are you asking why we're fighting? <gasps> oh! Oh! Um... Uh, one moment, please. Hearing it from you would be too easy. I see. Could my sister have given me this opportunity to see the outside world to broaden my horizons? Um, are you all right? Ah, please forgive me. It seems I have a great deal to learn for myself. I guess he's kind of reached a conclusion. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. It seems this is a question I must answer on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be taking my leave. Huh? You mean you're going back? Yes. This conversation with you has been highly significant. Please, excuse me. What the hell was that just now? I've got no idea, but... Uh... Wait, what now? I'd almost forgotten. If you truly are in a great hurry to reach the top of this tower, then please make use of this door here. Well then... What door? That is a coffin! That was mysterious. Um, I'm detecting a set of stairs just up ahead. Would you please try going down a floor? Got it. Let us know if anything else comes up. This maze is rather troublesome. We must hurry on. Are you still upset at how you and his friends got caught up in this? I am. But what truly bothers me is how I cannot get a full grasp on the Shominazuki character, who has been behind everything. Are we sure he's a Persona user? When he fought against Labrys, he didn't use a Persona. When I spoke directly with Minazuki, I saw his persona myself. This matches with what Narukami and his friends attested. Could he have an accomplice? An accomplice? Huh. Akihiko, 
This is only a hypothesis, but what if there were two Minazukis to begin with? Two? You mean the one who called himself Sho and the one who called himself Minazuki are two different people? No. His personalities changed before our very eyes. There's no doubt that they're the same body. But what if this isn't a case of multiple identity disorder? What if the two truly are completely separate personalities existing in the same body? Completely separate? What do you mean? Mitsuru-senpai! I'm detecting a shadow just up ahead of you! It'd be too much trouble to try to head back. Let's break through here, Mitsuru. It seems there's no other way. The situation is growing more and more dire by the moment. We must deal with this as quickly as possible. It's been a while. You two seem to have made it out of your predicament. How does it feel to have been rounded up like that? Enough idle conversation. Let's get this over with. We don't have a lot of time. Wait, Akihiko. There's something I want you to tell me before I slay you. What is it? You, you can, can ask, ask that it doesn't, doesn't mean I'll answer. answer. Who created you fake people? Who is Minazuki? <laughs> That's, That's an odd, odd thing to ask. Didn't, Didn't you meet him yourself only a few moments ago? ago? You, you should, should ask him yourself. Then again, you won't be given that chance as you'll never leave here. <laughs> that, that was enjoyable. Please sit back and enjoy the spectacle of extinction. Well, Yeah, no problems on our end. The shadow disappeared before we could get any information out of it, though. We can't waste any time. Let's keep moving while we talk. Okay. okay. Please, Please head down, down those down stairs, stairs, then. then. That, should that should get you out, out of the, out tower. the tower. Mitsuru, back to what we were talking about earlier. It looked like Sho changed right in front of us. He switched personalities. What makes you think that it's not the ordinary form of split personality? Do you recall the conversation in the limo about Ikutsuki's personal experiments? I said there was an indication that a plume of dusk was used. You mean the human experimentation we were talking about? That's definitely something a guy like Ikutsuki would have come up with. What if Ikutsuki's experiments on Minazuki involved transplanting a plume of dusk into a living person? What? Why would he do something like that? Considering that it could have been part of Ergo Research's attempts to create artificial persona users, it makes sense. It's most likely that Ikutsuki implanted a plume of dusk into Minazuki in order to intentionally try to force a persona to appear. But Sho Minazuki didn't awaken to the persona ability. That much can be gathered from the fact that Ikutsuki labeled the experiment a failure. Contrary to Ikutsuki's expectations, though, the experiment had a different result. What? Don't tell me. Hmm. If a plume of dusk was implanted into the body of a person who already had a personality, what would happen? A plume of dusk stimulates the creation of an ego. So it's not out of the question that it would create a new personality in the same body. According to the records, after the operation, Minazuki entered a vegetative state after some time. Thus, Ikutsuki let go of Minazuki. He was then transported to a hospital in the suburbs of Inaba, and there are no records of Minazuki from there on. What happened from that point on, I can only speculate. But I wonder what sort of life Minazuki led after he regained consciousness. Labra said that she wanted to speak with Minazuki, and now, so do I. We'd better rescue Yukiko's group and get back here, then. Indeed. Let us accomplish our duties with haste. Fuka, what's Yukiko's position? Um, I sent something southeast of there. Please be careful.
I'm worried about Yuki-chan and Risei-chan. Hang in there, ladies. I'll come get you in no time. Still, this hallway has been going on forever. If this continues, we will be unable to make any progress. Aww. Just thinking that danger is closing in on those innocent ladies even as we speak is making my fur fall out. I'll be positively bare. Your fur is falling out. Perhaps it is merely your shedding season. Ah, uh, no! No, 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 no! I am extremely sensitive, and I lose fur when I'm stressed. Just the other day, Kanji lured me into a trap with some ice cream. He then kept nuzzling me over and over, and I ended up with a big old bald spot on my head. It was terrible. I see. Kanji-san's extreme expression of love put stress upon your fur. I will add that to my data file on you. By the way, are you tired at all, Ai-chan? If you do feel a little logy, feel free to snuggle up against me whenever you like. No, I'm more concerned for the others in town. Oh, completely ignored. But I'm sure they'll be okay. My friends are really strong, you know. You trust them, don't you? Of course. You believe in Michan and the others too, don't you? Yes, I do. They're all precious to me. We're the same after all. You're sparkling too. Sparkling? I love everyone who's nice to me. And the world where everyone that I love lives in really sparkles. And I want to protect that sparkle and help everyone out. Thinking about someone else strengthens your own powers. I... We know of that phenomenon. So why doesn't that Minazuki guy get that? Uh, does he not see the sparkling? Ah, Ugh. We can't get to the exit unless we go through here. By the way, won't you take a little break here? You still seem exhausted and I'm worried about you. Thank you. You're truly kind. Of course I am! It's basic bear etiquette! We're barreling in! Excuse us! Targets acquired. An anti-shadow anti weapon and a shadow. Commencing elimination. Of my sister. I was ordered to take part in the battle near here. But that don't matter anymore. I'm gonna do whatever I want starting now. I, John, run! Man, shadows persistent. Once I'm done with Igus, I'm gonna grind you down to fertilizer. Teddy! No! In other words, she knows of my special qualities as an upgraded version of her hardware and can precisely target my weaknesses. I already made a mistake in the limousine, and this will be my second blunder today. If only I had been better able to deal with things. I yearned for power so that I could protect my comrades, but... What are you moaning about? You're next, I guess. Come at me! I couldn't respond to a sudden ambush. Those close to me have been wounded. 
I can't save anyone like this. It seems I'll have to make use of that. I should have had maintenance done, like Fukasan said. Persona, rise up. Beginning frame coding. Stand by, EXO. What's this? Are you still gonna try something? Sounds, Sounds like you really wanna, wanna fight, fight that. That's cool with me. <laughs> it's no use. What? You stalked it just like that? How did you... I'll just slice you in half! Oh, my! <gasps> I chance shining! What are you doing? Teddy, please stay away. The probability of maintaining self-control in this mode is less than 1%. I'm sorry, but I can't guarantee that you'll be safe around me. It's ready. Releasing all limiters. Extreme Orgia mode. I am overheating. John, you were so cool. I regret nothing. Please take care of Yosuke. Uh... Teddy! What was that? I don't know. But it seems a great power is trying to awaken. Someone please respond! Reese chan You're okay! Oh, I'm so glad! Teddy? Teddy, is that you? Where are you right now? Are you hurt? I'm in the tower that appeared at school. I'm with Ai-chan, so I'm okay. I think. Ai-chan? You mean Aigisan? Aigisan, please listen. There's a ton of red fog swirling around the top of that tower right now. Where are you, Rise-san? Can you see this place from there? You can send Pai and I are in town searching for con, but we can't get out because there's a horde of shadows. We have to go at once! Rise chan we're coming for you! Ow! 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 <laughs> Please wait, Teddy. We've both been damaged quite badly. If we move now, we'll likely be in danger. Yeah, that's true. But I just can't sit here and wait. Yowie! My b -b -b back! That's... Mitsuru-san and Akihiko-san. Thank goodness. They managed to get out before us. I can understand why you want to hurry, but those two are attempting to rescue the others as well. Let's proceed with caution so that we can meet up with them quickly. Got it. Ah, um, ow. Anyway, let's move. <clears throat> ah, I'm getting fired up. Let's do this. Onward! As they say, yeah! The quakes are growing more and more frequent. I guess this means the time is running out. You know, that Minazuki guy talked about making his world, but how is he going to do that? If we presume he's following in Akutsuki's footsteps, then he's going to gather shadows, merge them, 
and summon some great power. You mean that thing Minazuki-kun was talking about? What do you think, Junpei? I mean, you've been surprisingly quiet. Are you not feeling well? Huh? Nah, I'm fine. Coaches are well-trained, you know. I guess it's just that I'm feeling all tense. All this end-of-the-world stuff isn't anything to joke about. I've got people waiting for me. Like the kids have a game coming up next week, so there's no way I can lose here. Stupe's being serious for once. Looks like he's grown up a bit. Well, I guess I should learn from his example. <laughs> Junpei has leveled up. You don't want the world to end either, do you, Labby-chan? You just woke up after all. Yeah. I don't want to lose this world after I've met everyone. I gotta do my best. Here it goes again. Wait, didn't we see this classroom earlier? I feel like the fog's getting thicker too. It won't be good if this keeps up. Since we can't get in communication with Fukasan, we don't even know what's around us. Come on, keep your cool. Getting all aggravated won't do us any good. You're so positive as always, Junpei-san. You think so? I think you've changed, though. You've gotten taller, too. Huh? <laughs> uh, why do you sound so relieved? Um, I'd been wondering if I hadn't changed at all. I made a promise to Mitsuru-san that I'd live life like a child. What's that supposed to mean? Is that hard to do or something? It's difficult. I don't know what it's like to be a child, so I wasn't sure if I should keep doing what I've been doing. Huh. I guess being an adolescent boy is difficult. You should just live your life the way you are. I mean, <laughs> you are a kid. That's right. You can't trust Mitsuru-senpai's idea of childhood. Can you even imagine what she was like when she was a kid? Whoa, you're right. I can't. It's impossible for common people like us. Speaking of children, that show dude is the perfect example of a spoiled brat. At one moment he's joking around, and the next he's incredibly pissed off. Yeah, what would someone have to go through in order to make them seriously consider destroying the world? What happened to him? What's up, Karomaru-san? Is there something bothering you about this classroom? Looks like you've made it all the way here. Now, what to do? <gasps> You're General Teddy! We finally found you! This is getting out of hand. So I, General Teddy, will face you myself! Now bring on the ring! Now, it's time to have some fun! Those who hinder the creation of my world shall all perish here. Whoa, someone's got a big mouth. My world? <laughs> this has been our world from the start. We're not just gonna let you destroy it that easily. Destroy? <laughs> I will not destroy it. This will be a new beginning. The beginning of a world of my own, where only I will live. Only you? What about Sho? This doesn't concern you. The vessel will soon be complete. Nothing you can do at this point serves any purpose. We won't know that unless we try. Konamaru! Like hell we're gonna let you start anything like that! Let's take this guy down and move on! No, no matter. matter. That, that was the limit of this temporary body. body. I've bought enough time. Huh? You're not gonna melt now? I knew it. You're different from the other fakes. Who are you? Who am I? I'm General Teddy. Who else? Well then, bye-bye, you pesky vermin! <laughs> hey! Get back here! 
Uh, hey, Yucatan. He said something about a vessel being completed. Wasn't that kind of suspicious? Yeah. It must mean that we don't have any time left, and when we defeated that General Teddy, he didn't disintegrate like the other fakes. There must be more to this case. Can you all hear me? You're very close. I'm getting a strong reading just up those stairs. No way. Is this place... It is this the moon viewing tower from Gekokan High? That's right. It's where you killed Ikutsuki. This time, it'll be the place where you all die. See? I've already written what's going on your tombstones. It's some real poetic obliterature. Just kidding. Shokun, please stop this! Even if you do do it, it'll change nothing! Is this all because you hate us? Because we stopped Akutsuki? You really don't ever shut up, do you? I already told you that I don't give a shit about some dead guy! I'm doing this because it's fun! Watching you all freak out is hilarious! You're nothing but goddamn pests that can't do anything on your own! So I can't stand you buzzing around! That's when he spoke to me and said, You should just destroy the world. <laughs> Isn't that the greatest suggestion ever? Let's stop this. You keep saying Ikutsuki doesn't matter to you, but he's all you've been talking about this whole time. What was that, bitch? Uh, Ikutsuki was a worthless ass who did whatever he wanted to me and still ended up dead. That's all. I don't give two shits about someone like him. That's not true, Shokun. You're only running from your problems. You shouldn't turn away from your true self. Shokun, come back with us. None of us hold any of this against you. Didn't you see what happened before? I'm a machine and I hurt everyone, but they still accept me. You're just like me. If you have somewhere you can go back to, then you don't have to do this. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Shut the hell up, goddammit! <gasps> That's enough. How far must you go in attempting to ruin this plan? You... you're Minazuki, huh? Unfortunately, the borrowed power has been exhausted. From here on, I have to deal with you myself. It, it's him again! Are we really sure that he doesn't have split personalities? Minazuki-kun, what I said goes for you, too. You're the same as me! What you are is... The plume of dusk itself! <sighs> That's right. Ikutsuki had a plume of dusk implanted in this boy during his experiments, resulting in my birth. I knew it! However, I still have no love for that man. After all, he tried to have me erased. Erase you? Yes. Ikutsuki was nothing more than a threat who was using this boy only to throw him away later. But this boy was something different. He suggested that we try to act exactly like Ikutsuki. He created fake Ikutsukis. He even went so far as to gain access to the Kirijo servers to try to gain more information about Ikutsuki. Then you were the hacker Kikuno-san told us about. But Ikutsuki, the only other person this boy knew, had already died by the time the boy awoke from his coma. All that was left to him was the truth. That man had tossed him aside like a piece of trash. Seriously? Since then, the boy did everything on his own. He had no help, met rejection at every turn. There was nowhere to go, and no one to turn to. <laughs> you all believe that everyone is surrounded by other people just like you. But that in itself is only the beginning this world's failures. The world holds no worth for this boy. Sho Minazuki was thrown into this world all alone, and he wished that everything besides himself would disappear. <laughs> 
Then all I must do is grant him that wish. No, that's not what Shokun really wishes for. What you're doing won't save him. Even if you don't know how, or if you end up hurting others, human interaction can change people. Labrys. Silence, puppet. What would a thing like you know of this boy? That's right, I ain't human. But neither are you. You're just using his body while you try to destroy the world. You don't care what he feels at all. I ain't like you. No matter how much it hurts, or how much suffering it causes, I love this world. Wow, well said. Great job, Labrys. Right. What he's saying just sounds like he's running from his problems. It doesn't matter if you're fully human or not. We're all standing here because of how we clashed with others and gained acceptance. Very well. There is nothing more to say to you. Persona, you have gone too far. Sit in shame of your own ignorance as you await the moment of your destruction. I will save Shokun, and to do that, we'll defeat you! world. Manazuki-kun, so you do understand. Not another word, Lout. I won't let anyone get in the way! Tsukiyomi! Isn't good! Labrys! Is that a horde of shadows? Kotomaru! <laughs> Labrys, go! Huh? Don't look back! There's no time! <laughs> go! We know what it's like to have to say goodbye, but you'd better come back to us. Everyone, thank you. I will protect this world. Mitsuru, how are Igis and Teddy Teddy doing? They must have gotten out into the town by now. You're right. Let me search for them. Mm. I found them in the town shopping district. We'll be able to catch up with them quickly. All right, let's hurry to join up with them. Then we can compare notes. My back still hurts. Getting old sucks. Do you age, Teddy? I don't. Oh, 
By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, Aichan. Is there anyone you like? What do you mean? Come on, you can't fool me. If you don't have anyone, then you and me should... I guess. Teddy Teddy. M -m Michon! Aki! Akihiko-san, Mitsuru-san, thank goodness you're both safe. Whoa, what happened? You're both beaten. I was careless. We were ambushed by an enemy and suffered severe damage. Is someone... Please respond! Risei-chan, I hear you! Talk to your lover bear! Is that you, Kujikawa? We can hear you. That voice! Mitsuru-san? Thank goodness! I heard you were captured! Yes, but we're fine now. I'm sorry to have worried you. Where are you right now? Yukiko-senpai and I went out to look for Kanji and the others, but the town's turned into a maze! I lost track of them while we were getting our bearings. We're thinking about heading back to Juness right now. All right, keep going to Juness. We'll head over too, so we'll meet you there. Tatsumi and Shiragani should have arrived already. Understood. Understood. Please, be careful. All right, now that that's decided, we need to hurry. I guess, Teddy Teddy, can you go on? Leave it to me to guide you to Juness. I'll use my nose and... It's fine, Teddy. Let it say whatever it wants. I've made some errors this time, but we have our comrades. Even if one of us was to fall, the rest of us can compliment each other. My standing here right now is a result of the trust we have for one another. I will carry out my duty, and you will be stopped. I... no. We will protect this world. We will not lose to the likes of you. We're the most powerful lineup ever! We'll prove that we've got the upper claw here! I was hoping for a chance to fight about now. I felt myself getting rusty. The rest of you can sit back and watch. This tournament is foolish, but I was given one of your insipid names. It's time I showed you the power of the Execution Queen. Our rendezvous point is on this building's rooftop. Everyone remain in contact while searching for Kujikawa and the rest. Stay alert. <laughs> Every day's great at your Juness. Hello? What the? You again, you phony bear. What do you want now? Thanks for coming all the way out to such a remote place. Did you enjoy the P1 Climax? There were so many touching battles this time. But, too bad for you. Unfortunately, you've all served your purposes already. What do you mean by that? Just what I said. When you fought, you released fragments of your personas, and I've gathered more than enough of them. Thus, there's, there's no, no reason, reason to keep you persona, persona users alive, alive any longer. Prepare to be swallowed by a surge of shadows! What is the shaking? Ah! What the? There are so many shadows. They're going to attack. Please, be careful. Cheeky bastards. Come! Persona! Artemisia! 
Persona! Initiating summon sequence, Athena. Ugh. If this keeps up... <laughs> Risa-chan! Yuki-chan! Nao-chan! I'll be... right... there! More shadows incoming! They're not stopping! <sighs> Where was he hiding this many shadows? Mitsuru! Hey! Hang in there! Nichan! Watch out! Mitsuru-san! <sighs> Come on, can't you pull it together? I really don't want to get involved here, you know? You are... Oh man, you guys look terrible. That's what you get for sticking your noses into places they don't belong. Are you... Toru Adachi? What? I thought Adachi was in police custody. Wow, I'm famous now. You're Mitsuru Kirijo, right? I guess the rest of these people are your subordinates. What? What's Adachi baby doing here? Wait, you must be a fake too. Huh? You too? A fake? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm a fake. Why did you save us? <laughs> It wasn't just for you. If you died here, it'd be trouble for me. I have to obey the rules. Rules? Never mind, I'm just rambling. Still, isn't this an impressive number of shadows? I bet you'd really be able to get up to something fun with this many. Like, oh, say, summoning up a god or something? Summoning a god? Is that what that show guy is doing? I'm just guessing. And if this many shadows were to head over to that tower and start wrecking shit, that building wouldn't stand a chance, would it? Plus, anyone inside would be in for some real trouble, wouldn't they? Well, it's not like it matters to me. I'm gonna be on my way now. Good luck or whatever. Aren't the rest of your friends in here at Juness? You kids love crowding together, after all. Don't you think you'll win with those numbers? Hey, stop! Where do you think you're going? Don't, Teddy Teddy. I know you want to go after him, but we're all exhausted right now. We need to prioritize meeting up with your friends. Toru Adachi. At the very least, he didn't seem to be a fake made from a shadow. <sighs> Is he scheming something after all? No matter what his aims were, it's true that we were saved in the end. Save thinking about it for later. We need to hurry. Getting more intense again. There's no end to this. You can't give up. Mitsuru-san and her people should arrive soon. Right. We can't lose somewhere like this. Risei-chan, Nao-chan, Yuki-chan! I'm so glad you're all okay. I'm coming over right now. Oh, Teddy. And Mitsuru-san, too. Ted! Hey! You intentionally left me out, didn't you? You're loud, as always. You still have a lot of energy left. You don't go down easy, but I see you're barely hanging on. <laughs> don't underestimate me. Half your stuffing's hanging out anyway, so you don't get to say anything. Sorry we're late. You did well in keeping him at bay. We'll join in the fight. We can do this! There's enough of us here now that I'm sure we can win! It's too early to be relieved yet. The shadows all over town are converging on that tower. At this rate, our senpai in there will be... But considering the sheer number of shadows, that would be too dangerous. Mitsuru-san, Ken-kun has given me the details. This case has many similarities with Shuji Yakutsuki's plan. I believe the culprit has the same intent. And considering the current situation with these hordes of shadows, the time is nigh. 
do we have no choice but to entrust this to the others here? Isn't there something we can do, Mitsuru-san? This isn't the time to argue, Mitsuru-san. We have to go. What's there to worry about, Mitsuru? There's only one option here. Everyone, listen up. The Shadows are likely gathering at that tower. Their goal is likely to bring about the coming of a god with the power to destroy the world. We must stop this at all costs. Kujikawa, will you lend me your strength? We'll combine our communication abilities to contact Yamagishi. They need to be told of the danger. Persona! Um, Fukasan is... Somewhere around the middle of the tower? Hold on, Kujikawa. There's something in the sky. Kikuno! That's you there, isn't it, Kikuno? Respond at once! Lady Mitsuru! Thank goodness you're safe. What are you doing there? This airspace is dangerous. You must withdraw at once to a safer area. You're all putting your lives at stake by fighting. I refuse to shame myself by withdrawing. And there's something I must tell you at once. We've decoded more of the records from Shuji Ikutsuki that I gave to Labrasan. We've reached a point where there is a description that seems to be hinting at the security code. If we can solve it, we may be able to fully unlock it. The clues to the password are my true form that I should take and the one written of in the prophecy. Prophecy and true form? Could this be about what happened back then? It's Suru to remember that insanity Yakutsuki was a slave to remember the speech he gave us he said he would become a king in the new world with that in mind what he strived to become his self-professed true form king of the fall king of the fall that's it the password was accepted and the file's been unlocked I'm opening the file now. There's no time to wait for an analysis. Kujikawa, let's try again. We need to get this information to Labras through Yamagishi. So that's why all these shadows have been flooding in. We'll stop them here as well. I'll tell Labras about that password at once. Please be careful, Mitsudo-senpai. We will now head to the tower to aid those who are still in there. We'll have to force our way in. We will combine the strength of our personas and fight our way through. As they say, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is starting to get interesting. I'm getting pumped up. All right. If that's the plan, then it's time to bust out all our skills. You better not fall behind, Ted. Roar! I'm getting fired up! Wait for us, Sensei! Wait for me, Labby-chan! There's no need to fear with my tremendous strength! Right! Labrys and Chia are fighting too, so I can't just stay here! Keikuno, you need to leave Inaba and stand by until we contact you again. No, my lady. This helicopter is loaded with two 7.62mm Gatling guns, 19 continuous rounds of 70mm rocket ammunition, as well as a 30mm chain gun. Though these cannot damage shadows, they will be useful in preventing their advancement and providing you with some measure of backup. Don't be ridiculous. It's too dangerous. Your Labrasan asked me why someone who couldn't use a persona would risk their life to go to a place where shadows appear. No matter how slight it may be, I can still provide some assistance to you all. I have been prepared to risk my life from the start. My lady, I have my own battles to fight. kikuno san Mitsuru, are you gonna repeat the same mistake? You're right. It doesn't matter how strong or weak you are. I've pushed Narukami and his friends away before, and now I'm doing the same to Kikuno. Kikuno, I accept your determination. Aid us from the helicopter. We must reach that tower at all costs. Understood. I will see you there safely, even if it costs me my life. Let us depart. Now! Right! All right! Come! Persona! Go! Persona! Here goes! 
Oh my! It seems we meet again, Labrys. You're... Theodore, right? Still looking for your sister? I don't think she's around here, though. No, I have stopped looking for her. Even had I found her, what I wish to know can no longer be learned from her. Mm -hmm. What I yearn for is something that I must discern for myself. You all have taught me that. Huh. I guess you've changed a little too, Theodore. Hmm. Do I seem so? Watching you has broadened my spectrum a bit. No, a great deal. <laughs> yeah. I figured something out during all this fighting, too. Oh? May I ask what that is? Oh, sure. It ain't anything mind-blowing, though. I just felt that the bonds you form with people get passed along and only keep spreading. I see. That is intriguing. Yukun and the others got hurt trying to save me. I want to save Shokun, even if it hurts me. We all keep button heads over and over, but the banner of friendship ain't just for show. It's what lets you go against someone while still trusting in them. My, how surprising. Your expression is completely different from the last time I met you. You, you think so? I can't tell for myself. There's no doubt. You've likely grown during these events. That must be it. Grown. While I watched you, I was thinking to myself as well. What is the reason you fight? What supports you? And what do you wish to protect through these battles? I have a feeling that I'm coming close to reaching the answer, even if I only have a faint idea for now. Huh? Doing something for someone else. All of you gathered here are connected by that common thread of emotion. You call them bonds. And those bonds guide you towards what you wish for. Our wishes. And... My sister must have left that room with a wish, just like you. That is how I understand it. Thanks, Theodore. You're awesome. Huh? I'm... awesome? Is that so? Hmm. It does have a nice ring to it, though. Oh! I shouldn't be keeping you here. You're going to go fulfill your wish, no? Please, proceed. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Theodore. I wish you luck. Ah! There it goes again! Lapras! Can you hear me? Focus on... These tremors are crazy! Are you all okay? Tons of shadows are pouring out and... Ah! Don't worry! I'm with the others! Anyway, I got in contact with Kikunusan earlier. There's something I need to tell you. We discovered the password to the file that I gave you before. It's King of the Fall! Thanks, Fukusan. I'll give it a try. She told me that Mitsuru-senpai figured it out. We're counting on you, Lavarus. <gasps> this... A strong reading is getting close. Lavarus, be careful! this place. You again, you goddamn robot? Damn you for coming all this way. This son of a bitch betrayed me too. All of you are completely useless. And I can't even get an answer from him either. Scrap for brains. What happened to him? Where the hell's Minazuki? I... I don't know. 
He fought us and... Huh? That you guys did something to him? Bullshit, that's impossible! He's strong. As strong as me! And there's no way in hell that he'd lose to some goddamn pest like you! Shokun, there's something I want you to hear. It's... about your father. <sighs> Shuji Akutsuki, your father, embedded a plume of dusk into your body for his own research. But because the Persona ability didn't awaken in you, you entered a vegetative state. And then Akutsuki threw you away. Is that right? Just when I was wondering what shit you were gonna spew after coming all this way. Did you come to rub salt in my wounds, you goddamn bastard? Yeah, that's right. That piece of shit tossed me aside. He was the only one. The only one in my world, and he did that to me. I already know that he was a goddamn bastard, so what? It doesn't matter. He was all that I had in the world. Shokun. This world's so fun, isn't it? Full of shitty bastards, always pressing in on you. It's so awesome. I'd rather be alone forever than spend another second having to deal with another dipshit ever again. So you can all just disappear! That ain't true. You... you don't really want to be alone at all! Huh? <laughs> you broken piece of junk. Have you finally lost it for good? I won't be totally alone. <laughs> I'll be beside myself, laughing at how stupid you are. <laughs> huh? It's a micro-memory card. Your father. Shuji Kutsuki recorded the experiments he did to you on it. <gasps> Listen to this, from a report on Project Puppet Master. Subject name, Sho Minazuki. Soon after beginning his training, his abilities have reached what one would call an astounding level. Muscle strength, agility. Physically, he surpasses normal specimens, Special mention must be made of his abnormally aggressive nature. For example, in combat training, Sho will attempt to utterly destroy his opponent until we force him to stop. The depth of his fury is unfathomable, but having no rational or mental breaks based on his rationality makes him an ideal weapon. Psychological analysis suggests that Sho is attempting to gain a connection to others by hurting them as a result of our teachings. If he continues to grow, he'll be extremely valuable to our research. Luckily, the boy seems to adore me as a father figure. That will be useful. You see? The reason you're hurting everyone is because you want a connection with them. It's because of the experiments he did on you. And because you weren't taught any other way to connect with people. That's incredibly sad. Is that all you have to say? Shokun! Yeah, he's right. So what? What do you want me to do? If I really want a connection with the world, and destroying it is the only way I know how, then what's wrong with me trying to destroy everything? The same goes for you, you piece of trash. You want a connection with me? You want a bond with me? Then I'll shred you to pieces! Yeah, it's okay. Thanks for leaving this to me. Shoku, if you don't know any other way, then I'll go head-to-head -head with you your way. And then, I'll make sure you hear me out. No, it's not over yet. I have nothing. No one at all. If this shitty world won't give me anything, that I'm gonna see it destroyed, no matter what! Shokun, do you really think you were alone? Of course I was! What do you know? I was always- No, Shokun. You were never alone. <clears throat> There's more in that file. Do you remember why you went into that coma? How should I know? I took the medicine Ikutsuki gave me, went into a machine, and... It was an experiment Ikutsuki set up to erase Minazuki-kun. Dad... tried to erase him? Why? After transplanting the Plume of Dusk, 
you didn't awaken to a persona. Akutsuki's plan was already a bust at that point, but after a while, Ikutsuki learned there was another personality in you, inside the Plume of Dusk. <gasps> that was the change in you. At first, it seems like Ikutsuki was interested in that other you, too. But the new you was different and wouldn't listen to what Ikutsuki said at all. That other you awakened to a persona, destroyed the test facility, and then tried to kill Ikutsuki. Huh? Bullshit! That's not true! Why would he try to kill my dad? You really can't figure it out? Manazuki was trying to protect you. <gasps> he was still unstable then and got captured. After that, Ikutsuki tried to erase Manazuki-kun while leaving the persona. Do you get it now, Shokun? It was Manazuki-kun and his... ...power of a bond that supported you. That's bullshit. That's... that's not... Ha! <laughs> What's this sob story going on over here? <gasps> Aha! Has the stupid brat been beaten? You're disqualified from the P1 Climax! Now hurry up and get out of here! Kagutsuchi. Kagutsuchi? General Teddy, so you really weren't... Oh, poor little shut-in Shochan. Was Labichan mean to you? Are you gonna have to go back to the hospital again? You don't have to worry. Guess what? I'll set you free. <laughs> General Teddy! Step away from Shokun. <laughs> You're the champion of the P1 Climax, Labichan. Congratulations! Your prize is death. Shokun! Who in the world are you? What are you gonna do with Shokun? <laughs> what am I going to do? Isn't, Isn't it, it obvious? obvious? I'm, I'm going, going to kill him. him. I'll grant this brat what he wants. A world of solitude. But I'll be the only one there. It will be a world all for myself. Where only I exist. Don't tell me. Are you... That's right. This red fog and the brat's power were on loan from me. At least you worked quite well for me. <laughs> Wait. So the thing Minazuki-kun was talking about waking at this tower is... <laughs> you finally figured it out. Fortunately, the horde of shadows to create a vessel and the persona fragments to control it have been gathered. All that's left is to fuse that brat with the shadows as a base, and then devour the persona fragments to inhabit my new corporeal form. <gasps> I pay no heed to others. I am the collective will of those who abandon all connections and strive to live only for themselves. I will incinerate everything. I will rob, murder, Tremble and cast you humans down into the depths of despair. My name is Hino Kagutsuchi, one who kills all who live in this world. Shokun! Don't worry. I won't let you die so quickly. You will live to witness my advent and will be the first sacrifice to my power. I'll never let you do that. Give Shokun back. <laughs> Your nerve astounds me, but I wouldn't be so sure. 
Your allies are about to be overwhelmed by the flood of shadows. You all fought so long within this red fog, just as I planned. And you are exhausted to your very souls. You have no hope of defeating me now. You were quite useful, Puppet. I had directed you with them with the aim of harvesting their personas at first, though. The other tournament... And this one too... So you were... The real ones behind these battles! Yes. I needed a vessel. Had I taken their shadows for my own, their own wills would have made them less obedient than I required. I learned that in the previous battles. Thus did I prepare this fog and my new scheme to carve away at your personas. Personas are the suppressed strength of heart. Nothing is better suited to suppress the will of shadows than that. So that's why you made us fight! <laughs> now is the time for despair. <laughs> this new form that you have given me. Behold it! Labrys, don't, don't give up! Give up. We're, We're all, all cheering, cheering you on. on! Labrys, leave this place to us. Once this is all over, we'll have a party and celebration. I'm positive you can do this, Labrys. We'll take care of all these shadows. Don't worry, Labrys. You're not alone. <laughs> this is all on you, Labrys. You promised that you'll come back no matter what. We won't lose. Labrys, please win this for us. We're counting on you, Labrasan. Please protect our world. <laughs> we'll make sure to hold them back here. You can win this, Labrys. Labrys, we're entrusting this to you. Our thoughts are with you. Let us handle things here. You have your own role to carry out. Don't you dare tell us that you're giving up on this now. We'll do our best to give you time. Labichan, your knight is on your side. Get a grip, Labrys. We're fighting with you, too! Please win this, Labrys! Sister, we're all waiting for your return. Let's fight this together! I'm not alone! Impossible! The will of a puppet like you! A single will was able to surpass mine! You can't hear the voices of everybody who's supporting me. You'll never win against us, Hino Kagutsuchi! Silence, pest! I will not lose! I am stronger than anything! was marvelous indeed. These events were truly an ordeal. A 
Elizabeth, what are you doing here? The what you just defeated now was different in form. It appeared to be another embodiment of man's consciousness that wishes for death. And suffice to say, I had my own reason to witness its end. A reason? To abolish others also means to abolish oneself. That great power was also an embodiment of a distorted will, given birth by dissatisfaction. If left alone, it would eventually have become a great stagnation, leading to the destruction of the world, even the world within people's hearts. The world within people's hearts? Um... You mean that place I met you the other time? Indeed. And if that were to happen, it would be a hindrance to my own wish as well. You have a wish. Maybe I'm out of my league here, but I hope your wish comes true soon. It honors me to hear those words. I wish to express my gratitude to you as well. Um, you mean thank me? <laughs> Why? In this turbulence, you showed me an unknown, miraculous power that cannot be attained alone. I firmly believe that that power will be a solid guide to the distant journey that I must take. And thus, I thank you from the depths of my heart. Oh no, I really didn't. This place will disappear momentarily. Well, until we meet again someday, Labrys. Actually, there is something I'd like to ask you before I go, just in case. Shall I transport your friends to somewhere safe? Th that would be wonderful! Please do! Very well. Then I shall... Hmm... Elizabeth? Now that I think of it, where would a safe place be? Um, this place is gonna crumble soon, so anywhere else is fine. Could you hurry, please? Ah, yes! That reminds me. There is one place where there would be no trouble if I were to send such a bizarre group of people there. I will now transport your companions. Well then. Oh, hold on, Elizabeth! Labrys, but not for the others. Is this inside the TV? Th that's right. Where's everyone else? Where's Shokun? Shokun! Shut up, Scrap. Enough yapping. I, I couldn't help it. Not when I knew you were safe. Hey, did you kill that thing? Huh? Did you destroy Hinokagutsuchi? Can't you understand words? Oh, yeah. You're strong. Huh? God damn it, do I have to say everything to you twice, you piece of junk? Never mind, you stupid toaster. Shokun, where are you going? <sighs> it's none of your business. If you don't shut the hell up, I'm gonna cut you. But everyone's waiting for you. I'm sure Mitsuru-san and her people are too. <gasps> shut the hell up. I'm not gonna start listening to what anyone wants now. Go back to where you belong. Uh, Shokun! Hey, Scrap. Oh, y y yes Yes. <laughs> Seriously? Now you can't even speak properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> you, you don't have to laugh that much. <sighs> oh, damn it. You really are broken, aren't you? <gasps> hey, do you think even now he might be? Huh? Never mind. See you later, robot. You'd better have your damn oil changed or something. Huh? Huh? What's going on? I thought the fog suddenly lifted, but, but where am I? Labrys, you're okay! 
Oh, I'm so relieved that I can't stand up. <laughs> Labrasan, thank you. I believed in you. I knew that you could do it. I wish you could have seen us, Labichan. Shadow operative Junpei Yori totally nailed it. <laughs> Whoa! What a soft yet stinky landing spot. Oh, oh my! This is inside the TV! Wow, we! Yukichan, Ken Ken, Kurumaru's here too! Is everyone okay? Are we? This is the normal TV entrance. Oh, it would seem everything has been settled. Sister, I'm so glad you're okay. Still, I knew you would be able to overcome this. I'm going to have to try harder to keep up with you. You definitely showed us your resolve back there, Labrys. You did splendidly. We would have been in danger had you not been with us. <laughs> you haven't been with the Shadow Operatives for very long, but you've already become our ace in the hole. I'll continue counting on you, Labrys. Labrys, I sensed everything! It was really amazing! Labrys! I was so impressed that you beat such an immense enemy all by yourself! No, it was thanks to all of you. I only beat him down because you were with me. Thanks, guys. Now that was suspenseful. You did an amazing job. We're definitely throwing a celebration party. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. We have quite the group here together, after all. Labrys, thank you for all your hard work. Are you okay, Labrys? Are you hurt anywhere? I mean, you were really amazing! Thanks, Labrys. The town should return to normal now. It's all thanks to you. Yukun. Labrys, I'm sorry, but I need to hear your report. Where is Minazuki? Were you able to speak with him? Oh, yes, but only for a little while. But before you all came here, he... Oh. Well, you know, Labrys, the Shadow Operatives are a formal organization. I am obligated to report about this case to the higher-ups. Right. That's why I was saying, before you all came here, Shokun... Uh! <sighs> You're even more naive than I am. You really are like a child when it comes to these things. There are just some things you don't want to be honest about at times like this. That's why you just gotta dodge the question and... Uh, ow! <laughs> Junpei, don't start teaching Labrys stuff like that. We don't want her becoming more like you. Ow, what was that for? You're scarier than the shadows. <clears throat> I didn't ask properly. Shadow Operative Labrys, do you know where Minazuki went? Um, I'm sorry, I don't know where he went. Oh. Phew. I see. Normally, we'd have to send someone to track him down, but if you don't know, then there's nothing to be done about it. I will report this case to our authorities, and the Shadow Operatives will take responsibility for it. All of us. Mitsuru-san! Hey, what are you guys doing? We're gonna leave you behind if you don't hurry up! Uh, are we really getting out from here? I'm feeling really anxious about this. Oh? Are you scared, Junpei? That's pretty lame for a big boy like you. Don't mind me for going on ahead. Please excuse us. All right, Koromaru. We should go, too. <sighs> well, I guess I'd better go for it. Here goes! Come on, Junpei! Hurry up! Come on, get going! Hey, oh, right already! This is my first time! Put me down! No! Memories places like this bring back. 
It's already been three years. <laughs> I know, right? Time goes by fast when you're living a fulfilling life. So you have a fulfilling life too, junpei -san? Can you teach me how to play baseball? Oh, now you're talking. Our team trains really damn hard. I won't go easy on you, got it? That's what I was hoping for. I like sports after all. By the way, Yukari, are you planning on going back looking like that? Uh, would everyone please stop talking about my clothes? I mean, you of all people shouldn't be talking, Akihiko-senpai. That costume's really cool, though. Wow, feather pink. I'm standing next to a real hero. There we go. Just be true to yourself, kid. Looking up to superheroes is what's truly childlike. Still, you're amazing, Yukari-san. You're actually wearing the costume and acting at the same time. Normally, even female ranger characters get played by male actors during the scenes while they're in their costumes. Huh? Is that for real? No, all those times I... But where did you hear that? Ken Kun's a big fan of those kinds of shows. But I guess he isn't all that childish anymore. I suppose it's because it's been three years. <laughs> it might be in poor taste to say this right after what happened here, but I'm still glad we were able to get together again like this. Yeah, like we were guided here by fate or something. The great hero Junpei and his pal saved the world again. Right. You probably wouldn't have even made it here if fate hadn't guided you. Seriously, the way he ended up here is just ridiculous. Maybe we were guided here by fate. We made some new friends too, after all. Most of all, I'm happy that I met my sister. I was able to meet you, son, and the others as well. Thank you, sister. Now, I'm thankful for everybody else. Without you, I'd have never woken up and stayed in that box forever. I'd just be a machine that hurts people. But you all accepted me for who I am and gave me a place to belong. It's me. Milady, the preparations have been made. But are you sure about this? Yes, I'll be right there. Huh? Where are you going, Mitsuru-san? Hey! Mitsuru-senpai, don't tell me you're going back before us. Well, I'm sorry, but there are many things that need to be taken care of. I knew it! I'll have you know that we all put aside our jobs and other affairs to come here. You're gonna spend some time with us, like it or not. I do feel bad about causing you all trouble, but... I guess, can't you persuade Yukari? No, I refuse that order. This is a situation with consequences that affect our team's morale. <laughs> Give it up, Mitsuru. Don't worry about figuring everything out right now. I'll make sure things with those public safety jerks get settled. What? There's some guys hassling you. Let me come with you. I'll tell him everything about how Mitsuru-san did her best to help. P please don't. Things will only get more complicated if you two get involved. <sighs> Very well. I suppose I can forget about my duties for one day and enjoy some time off. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you look so happy, Yukari-chan. It's been a while since I've seen you smile so much. Huh? You think so? Do I really not smile normally? Well, you always seem so angry, Yukatan. That's because you're always making me angry. That, hey, time out, Yukatan. You, you could really hurt me with that thing. Your pitching sucks. Stop throwing like that. My pitching doesn't suck. Your catching sucks. Don't think you're all cool just because you got a good hit the other day. What did you say? Hey, break it up. What's going on here? Stay out of this, Junpei. Coach Junpei, right? So, what's up? He blames me because he can't catch. It's because you got no control. Everybody knows it. Hey, listen up. The most important thing in baseball is teamwork. No matter how good you might be alone, you'll never win a game by yourself. 
You can't play baseball if you're the only one on the field, right? Of course not. Right, well, that's just common sense. But if you keep putting the blame on other people, you're gonna end up all alone eventually. <sighs> if you think the pitcher has no control, then you gotta try to work hard to catch anything, no matter what he throws your way. And if you think the catcher blows meaty chunks, try throwing balls that even the worst catcher can grab. <sighs> if you both practice together like that, then everyone gets better and the entire team gets stronger. Isn't that right? Hey, aren't you going home? Junpei, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I didn't think so. Hey, what's with the attitude? That's really rude, you know. There's a girl I like, but she's gonna move away. I didn't know, and we got in a fight. Fight? I thought we'd make up like we always do. Even when we get in fights, things always go back to normal in a few days. But when I heard she was transferring to another school, I got worried about what would happen if I couldn't make up with her. <laughs> well, the answer here is obvious. You have to nut up and apologize to her. It doesn't matter if it's your fault or not. That'll fix everything. That's so lame. I can't do that. Lame, not lame. Is that your problem here? This isn't the time to care about looking cool. Not when it involves something you care about. If you and her end up going separate ways without telling her how you really feel, you're gonna regret it for a long, long time. But what if we get in another fight? If you get a hit, you'll be a hero. Are you gonna try for a Grand Slam? A Grand Slam? All right, I'll go do it. All right. has it been since we were here? We were second years in high school, wasn't it? It would be three years ago. It was the summer of 2009. Only three years, huh? It feels more like 10. <laughs> A lot has happened since then. I see. Now that I think about it, you haven't returned to Yakushima since then either. You want to go to Yakushima? Yes. If possible, that is. I don't believe there's anything left there aside from warehouses, though. Yes, I understand that. I guess I have no intention of preventing you from going there. But may I ask why? I have wanted to go back for a while now. That was when my sister's case began. So I thought that now would be a good opportunity. I wanted to see for myself what led to my birth. Hmm. I think it's a good idea. Yukari-san. Isn't it normal to want to know about things like that? We're talking about your roots here. I see. Actually, I was just thinking about taking a vacation too. That battle from the other day was a lot more grueling than I imagined it would be. Hey, I guess, why don't we go together? And it'd be nice if we could stay at your summer house, like we went to before, Mitsuru Senpai. The last time we lived together was back when we were roommates during our third year of high school. You're right. That brings back memories. I told you to stop being so overly polite because it made you stick out in class. And yet, you never did. So this is the place. A dog? Snowy? Huh? Do you know this dog? No, not as such. He appears to be the dog my sister became attached to in the past. It seems he can tell that I'm like her. Huh? It would appear that this place and what happened here are part of my own roots after all. What do you mean? In the past, 
I thought that my ability to communicate with animals was just something that I could do. It didn't seem like the people at the lab had deciphered dog language, and even then, I doubted that such an ability was necessary for a weapon. I had thought it mysterious that I was capable of doing so, but it seems that my sister can do the same thing. Huh. So are you saying that you inherited that function from Labrys? It's not really a function, per se. It's probably something that was slowly nurtured among the fifth generation units that were housed here. Behavioral traits, like having interest in things besides missions, get passed on. And then, interest in animals. And then, the ability to communicate. I see. After a long line of inherited system feedback, my sister gained that ability, and I, in turn, gained it from her. The reason I have a special rapport with dogs out of all animals is most likely because of that process. Wow, that's pretty deep. If it goes that far, then you're right. It's not just some function that you were intended to have. It's more like a wish. Yes. Still, for the ones before Labyrinth who had hearts or wishes, it might be a bit sad that this place is left like this. Huh? What's that? Oh! <gasps> wow, it's super pretty here! What is this place? There are many plants here that only grow far to the south of this latitude. This building's windows seem to have coincidentally formed a greenhouse. The number 024 is stamped into this. It may have belonged to a unit that fought here. Oh, I see. It's kind of hard to believe that this place was once such a nightmare. Hey, I guess. Let's ask Mitsuru Senpai to keep this place like it is. Yukari san. And why don't we bring everyone else here from time to time? Let's bring Labras next time, too. I'm glad I came here. Everyone, thank you. We finally met. I'm sorry it took me so long to come. You know, there's a bunch of stuff I wanted to say, and I don't know where to start now. But thanks so much for giving me life. I have a younger sister, and I've got companions and friends too. Because you wished for it, I have a happy life now. But. There's nothing I can do to repay you. Mommy, there's someone here. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you, um, this girl's family? Oh no, it's just my boy has the same illness as the girl who's here. The girl here agreed to submit to a great many examinations when she was young. Because of that, the doctors learned a great deal about her disease. And it's thanks to her sacrifice that my little boy is still alive today. He can even go to school. I've found something I can do. Hey, can I call your mom? Miss Yamagishi, this is a spectacular feat. We've never had a second year student receive the award for best paper at this school. <laughs> um, thank you. You're already getting recruitment calls from labs and corporations, but I'd recommend that you devote yourself to studying abroad. 
abroad, you say? I just happen to be friends with a professor who's searching for an assistant. If you wish, I can write you a letter of recommendation at once. How about it, Miss Yamagishi? I'm sorry, but I'll have to decline for now. If the time comes when I feel a need to study abroad, I'd like to ask for your assistance then. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> then I'll contact them at once and... Uh, wait, you decline? Oh no! Classes are about to start. Please excuse me. Thank you for telling me about this. Miss Yamagishi, wait! Hey! I can study wherever I want, after all. Uh, not gonna happen. Whoa! Uh, sorry, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. It wasn't a foul. That was a great tackle, Ken. You've been on fire lately. Well, we do have a match coming up soon. Isn't our opponent supposed to be a strong team? Yeah, you're right. All right, let's all put some more effort into this. Once more! Keep our spirits up! Yeah! yeah! She's Ken Kun's girlfriend. What? No way. I'm so shocked. Doesn't she seem a little serious, though? Mitsuru san, thank you for coming all this way when you're so busy. Don't worry about it. I am currently on a mission, though, so I don't have a lot of time. I would like to speak with you for longer someday. Oh, it's all right. This won't take long. I called you here so I could give you this today. This? I'd like you to take it back for now. I don't need it. I promise I'll come get it again one day. Very well. I will keep this for you. Hey, Ken! Let's get going! Okay, race it a wild duck! Last one there pays! Well, I have to go. I hope you stay well until I see you again, Mitsuru-san. left. But wow, don't you think Ken Kun's changed a bit lately? Really? Like how? For reals. He used to be all, I don't know, cold. But lately he's been in high spirits. It's like he learned how to be normal, right? You're right. He does seem to act more naturally than before. I like it. Commencing capture now. I guess. It's time for your English 2 class. I, uh, I'm gonna be absent today. Absence without Mitsuru san's express permission will not be tolerated. Well, the class doesn't do roll call. If I pass the final exam, I'll get the credits I need. I've already mastered English anyway. I've heard that some college classes randomly take roll. One cannot discount the possibility. <laughs> With that, Professor? It'll never happen. You stand out, so your absence will immediately be apparent. How do I stand out? I'm not dressed for missions today. In any case, you must prioritize your studies. <sighs> Stop being so persistent, I guess. I told you, I have plans today. You are the same as always, aren't you? You both stand out a lot. <laughs> 
Kurosawa-san. I wasn't told that you had class today. Should we postpone? Oh, no, it's all right. <laughs> Let go, I guess. I see. So your plan was to meet with Kurosawa-san? <laughs> yeah. I have something important I need to consult with him on. That actually seems to be the case for once. I don't have much time to spare either, so why don't you hand him over to me for today, I guess. If that is the case, then I understand. I will await your report later. So, what did you want my help with? Well, this might be a bit late to ask. But I want to have enough power in the police to protect the others from the outside. So that's what this is about. Dealing with people from that side of the business is more trouble than fighting shadows sometimes, you know. Oh, I know. That's why I need power besides what I can do with my fists. I like the look on your face. That reminds me, you're old enough to drink now, aren't you? Well, yes. What's this? You don't like alcohol? No. Alcohol and protein shakes go surprisingly well together. Uh, drinking with you is going to be tiring for a different reason. I'm not comfortable in these clothes. Come on, you look good. And you know what they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. But doesn't such a frilly skirt interfere with how you walk? Huh? Senpai, I know you wore a skirt as part of the Gekko Khan high uniform. A uniform is fine, since it's like battle attire. Uh, battle attire, huh? Hey, ladies, how's it going? Are the two of you looking for a good time? Why don't you join us and have some fun? Would you mind getting out of the way? I'm trying to enjoy my day off with my friend. Well, if not today, how about another time? Can I get your phone number? Maybe we could go out sometime. Oh. Mitsuru Senpai, hold on! Ow! I'd prefer it if you kept your hands off my friend. I also believe it to be in your best interests if you left at once. I'm okay. Jeez, you guys better get going. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! We're sorry! Senpai, let's go over there. <sighs> that was fun. You're right. Senpai, you promised that you wouldn't think about the other day. Yukari... There are so many people here. See? It's Feather Pink! Wow, you're right! It's Reiko Kuchakuin! Hey, Feather Pink! We're Red and the others! Uh huh? N no uh, you're mistaken! You've got the wrong person! You're quite popular, Yukari. How does it feel to be a hero? Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess it's worth it since these kids are really into it. Death must not be needlessly feared, but it must not be needlessly desired as well. Face it and fight, Featherman. Or so the line goes. Senpai, why do you know that? I may be busy, but I still have time to watch a little television. What? But why would you watch Featherman of all things? Why wouldn't I? My best friend is one of the stars. Uh, I had never seen such a program before. But it's true. I did sense something from it. I feel that you were trying to help people, especially children, teaching them to avoid bringing harm into their lives. That's... well, I guess that's how it is. The same goes for Akihiko and Yamagishi, Aigis, Amada, and Iori as well. Every one of us is proceeding down their own path, in their own way. That's how I can concentrate on my own duties. The trust we formed will not easily be swayed. Isn't that right? Yukari, what's the matter? I guess I've been defeated today. Well, that's fine. Let's go to the next place. Next place? You want to continue shopping? 
Well, I don't have any idea when you'll be able to make time for me again, you know. What if I promise to contact you every once in a while? Would that do? It's a deal. But while we're here... Though we recognize your achievement in recovering Labrys, wasn't it your own blunder that led to you, the leader of your organization, being captured? There are also reports that you involved underage civilians in this matter as well. What do you think your organization is? If there were people there, then they must have acted on their own to protect their town and their companions. Also, with regard to the members of the auxiliary staff, the emergency suppression unit, they became concerned for me after my disappearance and came after me as individuals. That is all. It is absolutely unrelated to the Shadow Operatives. You're just playing semantics. Furthermore, when the second case occurred, the Shadow Operatives were forced to begin an investigation based on a lack of evidence. Since you were the ones who ordered the investigation, I believe you would know whether or not they were able to go on duty or not. <sighs> Also, even though it may have been merely an intimidation tactic, I received a report that my people were fired upon during the incident. I laughed it off at the time since it's impossible that this organization could have been so stupid as to send my people into danger unprepared. You little... But as you pointed out, it was due to my own lack of preparedness that I was captured by the enemy. I will accept any kind of punishment for that. The report says that your capture was nothing but a ruse, though? Excuse me. What is it? We're in the middle of an inquiry here. I was ordered to bring these documents the moment they arrived. What is this? As you can see, it's the report from our undercover investigation of the Kirijo group. You fool! These are not the kinds of details we asked for! This deliberation is temporarily suspended. You will be notified of our further decisions at a later date. Mitsuru-san! What the... what are you all doing here? Uh, these guys insisted on at least trying to testify in person, since they failed you on the mission. I had no choice but to come, too. Seeing that our friend, who had gone missing, was immediately summoned to the government office on her return, we were worried it was a conspiracy. Indeed, as your friends, it's only natural that we'd rush to your side, because we are your friends. Yeah, we were all worried about you. After all, we're all your friends. The best of friends. Yep, yes siree. You realize I won't be able to stick up for you if they come down on you because of this. It'll be fine. Look, I'm in the middle of a shoot right now. I'm just out walking Koromaru. I'm just going out for a run, you know? You're training, Junpei? You should have told me sooner. I'll come along. Uh, no, that's okay. I mean, can't you see what we're getting at here? Seriously, all of you? Let's go. Yes! Just a little piece, a moment of time, but not long at all. Just a touch of sky, planting a seed of hope in me. Curious how it seems.
sky forever free Open wide Here I come Setting my sights on the sky Cause I know there are great miracles waiting there for me On this weather road that I will tread Just a part of me I know Now I know There are crazy hazards ahead Yet I don't really feel the mass I should yeah. Unshakable faith that inside I'll be the sign Is shining bright just because Now I know I know now Just a little breeze A boat And a flea clear as As your skies Sold up of the sea Playing the part he Goat so deep I guess he'll clear his key Call on to his Setting my sights on the world Cause I know there are crazy things out there On the weather road that I will tread And this one is one, oh what will become Just the part of me I know Now I know there are crazy hazards ahead yet Really feel the mass I should I'll shake the faith that inside I'll be the smile It's shining bright just because now I know Waiting for me on the weather road that I will tread. And this one is gone, for what will become just the part of me I know. Now I know there are crazy hazards ahead, yet I don't really feel the as I should. Unshakable faith that inside I'll be the sign It's shining bright just because Now I know It's clear now Now I'm on the right track I know now I can see it's clear now I know I'm on the right track I know 